Happy Monday. Happy Monday to you. Happy Monday. Happy Monday to you. Happy Monday. Happy Monday to you. Happy Monday. Let's start this stream. There it is. Hey, everybody. Happy Monday to ya. Welcome back to the stream. Welcome back to twitch.tv slash Kyle Bossman. It's a Monday. Today we will be playing Baldur's Gate 3. But not the same Baldur's Gate 3 we played last week. No. No, this week we will be shifting the game down to easy. Could I beat this game on normal? Nobody's questioning that. Everybody knows I could beat this game on normal if I wanted to. <laughs> but we'll be shifting it down to easy. Just, you know what I mean? Just, just to maximize our content here. <laughs> We're just trying to maximize our, our minutes together, chat. You know? We, we only have so many. Uh... Shaq Soda, thank you for gifting that gift sub right here at the top of the stream. Looks like there are some late art submissions. Yeah, you don't get to chat. I see them. I saw it. You don't get you don't get to come into my chat. This like when when the uh, Happy Monday song is about to begin, you don't, you don't get to say, "I got I got something late coming in. Let's get it in. Throw it in the show. Come on." I got something hot and late coming on in. Get it in the show. You don't get to. <laughs> That's not in the rules. Hey, Kyle, can I get a late happy B-Day? Since it was Saturday and I wasn't around this weekend for any of the streams. Happy birthday, Peapod. You're saying you were too busy on your birthday to be watching the stream? Can I get an oh yeah for seeing Fallout Boy tonight? Yeah. Oh yeah. I was honestly, my first impulse was like, do I have a Fallout Boy drop? We don't have any. We're going down, down. You know what I mean? I should have a button for that. But we don't, we don't have a button for that. It's close as I got. Can you cast Oh No on me to cure me from being sick after a children's birthday party? I mean, Casey, I'll get you the Oh No. Oh no! You go to a children's birthday party, you're gonna get sick. You're gonna get sick. That's on you. The children will make you sick. Can I get an Oh Yeah for finishing a quarter of grad school? I got an A in all my classes? Sure. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Hey Kyle, my youngest turned nine last Wednesday. He's listening while playing Minecraft. Could you tell Jack happy birthday? No, we can't use creepy happy birthday on a nine-year-old. Well, I guess nine-year-olds like creepy shit too. Happy birthday, Jack. <laughs> I finished Red Dead Redemption 2 this morning and it's your true masterpiece. I'm sorry I never finished it when it first came out. True masterpiece. You're saying this morning, this morning you heard, Join us, John! Join us! And you're like, oh. You say, you say, you watch, you watch the last five minutes of that game and you said, Masterpiece. I'll never, I will never forgive it. I'll never forgive it. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. Fucking long blonde haired bad guy with a mustache saying, Join us, John, and you're saying masterpiece? Oh. All right. DJ slash M, thanks for being a 17 monther. Happy to see the difficulty bump down. I do think it helps the pace of the game a lot, especially in my first play, in the first playthrough. Uh, much more room for experimentation with adjusted health and whatnot. Yeah. We're doing what we have to do. Can I get an oh yeah for passing my driving exam? I'm 31 and finally decided to do it? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That's sweet. Kyle loving Last of Us 2 and hating Red Dead Redemption 2 will never make sense in my brain. 
All right, all right, all right, all right. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Prove me wrong. Find one clip of one moment where the bad guy of The Last of Us is looking at you, the playable character, and saying, join us. Find that shit. Look, give me the clip. Find the clip. You pretend, you pretend that shit is on the same level? Yeah, right. Red Dead Redemption 2's narrative meanders. <laughs> it's fucking, there's fucking no focus to that shit. You have to be shitting me. It makes me so angry you would compare those two. Oh my god. How's my mom feeling after mom, Jong? Uh, she actually went back and read chat for at least the first hour of the stream. Uh, firstly, oh, we forgot to say the name of her YouTube channel and then I forgot it again. Shit. I'll write it down next time. She, we wanted to call out the YouTube channel. Uh, and then I was like, oh yeah, we should have called her out. She's got, she's got a YouTube channel she really likes. We never like pulled it up and said what the channel's name is. Uh, and then the second thing. She said, Kyle, there are people who are asking what to call me, and you never asked me that question. I said, I didn't want to put you on the spot. She said, oh, okay. And then I said, what would you have wanted to be called? You ready for this? She wants to be, she said, I want to be known by my username. She wants to be referred to as Kelly Boz. Just like anyone else. Just like anyone else in this chat. <laughs> I thought that was really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She just wants to go by her, by her username. Uh, it's K-E-L-L-I-B-O-Z. Don't get it wrong. If you get it wrong, I will ban you. I was playing RDR2 before finals this week, and the antagonists do not impress me. Yeah, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Red Dead Redemption 2, a masterclass in visual world design, right? Probably still the best looking open world in any video game ever. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. If you want to say, you want to say it's a masterpiece in, in like an open world, sure. Absolutely. Go nuts. Uh, side quest design? No. Take a hike. Narrative? Take a... Take a dip in a sausage hot tub. You know what I mean? Grind up some sausages into absolute slosh, dump it into your hot tub, and then go, go into that hot tub with it. <laughs> Good games can have bad stories? Absolutely. Absolutely. Masterpieces cannot. <laughs> No, 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 I won't hear it. You know what? I, I won't hear it because everybody who says it's a masterpiece thinks secretly, secretly, they think it's a good story. That's, oh, I can't believe you're getting me worked up on Red Dead Redemption 2 at the top of a Monday. I can't believe you're doing this to me. Red Dead Redemption 2 is Paramount Plus level writing. <laughs> yeah, bro. Ugh. It makes me cranky. It makes me cranky. And then for somebody to be like, how can you, how, hold on, hold on, hold on. How can you like The Last of Us 2 and hate Red Dead Redemption 2? They're the same. It's like, what are you, are you kidding me? Oh. Last of Us 2 changes its character's personality to better manipulate its audience. What do you... <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? What do you mean it changes its characters' personalities to better manipulate its audience? I I feel like I feel like you're you're in step what you've started the book on screenwriting, but you didn't finish it. <laughs> oh, I'm getting cranky. Oh, you're cranking me up. You're cranking me up. I can't believe this character's personality was changed to manipulate the audience. Bad writing. I'm getting worked into a shoot. You're so right. You're so right. I'm getting worked into a shoot. How's this guy? Are you sweet? Okay. 
Yeah, he's sweet. Character growth is a plot hole. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. Gotcha. Gotcha. As Sandy Pot would say, gotcha. Um, I'm going to grab my coffee. Let's talk about what's going on in the Discord today. A lot of sports news today, but we don't need to cover it. Saquon Barkley will not be playing for the Giants next year. He'll be playing for the Philadelphia Eagles. And you know what? You just got to be happy for him. You know what I mean? He did everything he could for that poor Giants team. Couple of quarterback swapperoos. Snowcone guy, thank you for continuing the gift sub. You just got earlier this stream. I swear that I swear that you just got that gift sub earlier in this very stream. Um, I need more mucho. Give me it, just a little, a little. There we go. Thoughts on the Mario Day announcements? Oh, yeah. Excuse me. Release dates for Thousand Year Door in May. That We'll definitely be streaming that. Luigi's Mansion 2 will possibly be streaming that. Uh, I have played that game before on 3DS not too long ago. Um, well, shit. Probably 10 years ago now. But, um, yeah. I feel like that's better. It's like The thing is, it's coming in, this, in June. That's not Luigi season. I'm wondering, uh, sorry, just, I'm looking at the image of me. The image of me. And I feel like uh, it's all, like, flatly warm, you know what I mean? Like, the green guy is not really popping that much. Mucho's not really popping. The image of me. Um. What do you say about this? No, I'm, not, I'm trying not to do that anymore. Okay, then what do you say about this? I see. So then what do you say about this? That I'm cool with. All right. The image of me. Great. Whole image could be brighter. So here's what I noticed when I turned the lights down for my Huber stream when we were doing that horror game. Uh, is I can see my monitor is way better when the lights aren't so bright. <laughs> Like, I can see the game way better, right? So, like, you can see me better, but I can't see the game better. So we got to find the balance. Here, I can see the game the best. So where, where do we strike that balance? I think it's about here. Zemus has an oh yeah request. I've never asked for one before. Here we go. I generally have watched the YouTube VODs for years. I bought a Digimon game for the first time. No, I can't give you the... Unfortunately, welcome. Appreciate that you're asking for it. Uh, I can't give you an oh yeah until you tell us what Digimon game it is. You should know the rules, honestly. At this point, that should have been clear to you. Speaking of Digimon, looking at the uh, events happening this week on the Discord, uh, Digimon Card Club is happening this Thursday, 8 to 10 p.m. Eastern Time. What's happening here? <laughs> is there like a baby War Greymon version of the Blue Camo Agumon? Cyber Sleuth Collection. Oh, that's an oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's an, oh, that's an absolute oh yeah. Commandermon and High Commandermon. Very nice. I like it. I don't like that they're shooting super soakers at each other, obviously. They should be using guns and trying to kill. But uh, maybe this is just training. Yeah, uh, Cyber Sleuth 1 is a good spot to jump in. I actually agree with that, friend. I feel like you might find Cyber Sleuth 2 redundant, especially if you're playing it right after Cyber Sleuth 1. So I would do like Cyber Sleuth 1, you got the collection, play that game, 
enjoy that game and then um maybe take a break in the middle and then come in for cyber sleuth too i try to get a gun in there kyle I, hey <laughs> we try <laughs> uh one of you draw it next time then okay my apologies um Put panels around the monitor to block the light. Oh, I'm not going to like what this looks like. Chat, this is insane. This is, this is not a solution. You have to be shitting me. No. Kyle, put it like, dude, how much desk space do you, I, 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 Kyle, put a, put a little tent around your monitors. You got to be shitting me with this. Kyle, look at just here's what here's what you should do. You should peek into a little tunnel every time you're playing your games. This is what I do. I just I basically I put all my monitors deep into a tunnel. <laughs> so no light gets in. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> just a little monitor cave. The inside of that will reflect the light off the screen. And that's the other thing is I honestly don't believe even that would prevent, yeah, the glare that I get. Um, and then, of course, gunpla building, uh, 10 p.m. to 12 a.m. Eastern time. And please do note to anyone uh, who is not familiar with how daylight savings time works in the U.S. We're in it. The time right now where I am at, where I'm streaming from, is 4.28 p.m. Eastern Time. Which is why I always make, uh, try to be clear about that. It's one of Fixbane's works and, and progress picks. Yeah, this looks like it's like for a quadrupedal Gundam. Or is it just two Gundams at the same time? I see four legs here. Curved monitor helps. We talked about curved. Chat talked me out of curved monitors. We were looking at we. A chat basically bought my monitor for me, um, and, uh, and nobody likes them anymore. I feel like I was highly dissuaded from picking up a uh, curved monitor. Okay, I'm gonna try one more thing. Look at that now. Uh-huh. Adjust. Adjust. Still a little blown out. Still a little blown out. Okay. How's this? You're doing a great job, man. It's you see you see it slowly adjusting. It's like oh he's very pale, still too pale. All right, this is better than what it was. This is an improvement. We'll take this. Um, Denom, thanks for being a 40 monther. What's up, Kyle? Always a treat to catch your streams. Also, curved monitors are great. This sucks. I've seen at least three, maybe four comments in chat that people are now into curved monitors. I feel like I've been cheated. I Like, obviously, I'm not going to buy a new monitor now. We just got this thing like three years ago. Where were you three years ago, chat? Can I get no, yeah? After some shipping issues, my moonlight greatsword came in the mail. Um, full size? Oh, yeah. Great. 
Curved is good for widescreen and a second monitor. That's basically what it is, right? This monitor right here, this is where I read chat. This is where I handle OBS and everything. And then this monitor is always where I'm playing games slash editing. Um, yeah, I don't, yeah, you're right. I don't mind. I don't mind the monitor we ended up with. It's nice. Also got something up in the fighting game channel to try to pick a time for our Tekken event. So check that out if people are interested. Oh yeah, exclamation point Discord. Sorry, we're still talking about this right here. Not this. Not this thing. Uh, this information on the screen is all available to you on the Discord if you're interested in joining any of those events. Check out the Discord. Robot Party Discord. Um... Curved is great for ultra wides. For 16x9, it's kind of dumb and not needed. 16x9 is what I would want to keep it at, obviously. Uh, I would not do it ultra wide. And then also, um, I, I guess it would be kind of weird because, like, like even with chat, even when I'm like playing like a PS2 game, it's on that monitor, right? So I'd have a curved monitor just for playing like little 4x3 retro games. I guess it would still be nice, especially if it's bouncing off the uh, the glare. Would I get a curved Mucho? I got news for you. This Mucho has curves. <laughs> that cat is curvaceous. Uh, <laughs> can I get an Oya for beating a Radon two-player, one controller with my buddy? One more boss until we're ready for the DLC? Now, hold on a minute. Is this something you do online, or is this, like, side-by-side side on the couch? I hold this half the controller, you hold this half the controller. Yeah, I can't imagine exactly like that. Yeah, I'll give it the oh yeah. I can't imagine having that kind of relationship with anyone. Oh, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Do you know how dedicated you are to your friend? First, like, there's the physical comfort. Uh, but secondly, I, there's, like, that dedication of, like, we are doing this. I know that you will give up on this, and you know I won't give up on this. Both of us want to do this weird thing so much that I have complete faith that you won't... Uh, that you'll be here, right? That we'll set us out of time, and you're going to be there for that time, and we're going to do this silly thing. Yeah, that's a friendship goal. Isn't that called Jolly Co-op at Easy Allies? Yeah, imagine any of them doing that when the cameras are off. That's what I'm saying. Imagine them shutting the cameras off and, and still do that. Yeah, right. We lost to Radon for a total of 12 hours. Will is a special guy. Ethan! At hour three, you got to choose a new strategy. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean you grinded one boss for 12 hours? <laughs> oh, that is so wild. That's like, that's true friendship commitment, right? God, that's wild. 12 hours on one boss. At 11 hours? And at 11 and a half hours, we simply locked in. Okay. I, uh, I do, I feel like, uh... <laughs> Here's chat's next tip. I do feel like, uh... Kyle, you would have zero glare if you just did this. <laughs> uh, Radon was nerfed, right? It's only like it's not like you're gonna have harder bosses. Radon is no longer the toughest bad bad boy of that whole game. There are there's gonna be more twelve hour sequences to come. 
Deadly Zebra, thank you for gifting that gift sub. Let me go grab my coffee. Um, I'll just put this back up. Uh, I'm going to grab that coffee, and then we'll continue the art show. We did it without any summons. Well, uh, all right, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Put summons on. Put them on. Put them on. I don't like. I don't like. I don't like this sense of pride anymore. You did it without summons, but it was also twelve. Like it would have been. It would have been two hours if you just allowed yourself a summon. There's summons in that fight. They're there on the floor. You could just. Go, you could just go bring the pot guy in. Like what are you doing? Kyle, they are friends, and they like spending time together. All right. Had to ragefully blow my nose after that. You know what I mean? It's like punching a pillow. Sometimes you just gotta blow your nose. First chat gets me started on Red Dead Redemption 2. <laughs> Them to Radon after 12 hours. Gotcha. <laughs> Can I get Noya for getting 7th in my Pokemon TCG Temporal Forces pre-release blind build tourney on Sunday? Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. I always think that would be fun. I would, I would want it. I like, I want to do that against Dan, my Pokemon friend. You know what I mean? We're cracking packs. He's like, hey, are we gonna ever are we ever gonna build decks again and fight each other? And I'm like, Dan, probably not. But I would do it like a random, like, we each get a box and you gotta build a deck out of that box. But I had to be like, I don't I don't see myself ever building a deck again, bud. My wife and I just buy the pre-built MTG decks to play now. That's cool, too. I like that. Do a build... Do a build a battle box. It has two sets in it. Cool. So they actually... They, they make products that are for that specifically? Yeah, I think that'd be fun. Mobile game coming? The mobile game is like a simplified version of Pokemon. It's like a little like more Marvel snappy. I think we'll, I mean, I'll probably stream it. I'll probably hook up and stream it, but I don't think, I don't think that's going to satiate our strategic desires. Episode 14. I don't want to be just a grandmaster my whole life, you know. I'm saving up my money to become an actress in New York. Hey, that's where my accent used to live. Mine to AFK. Speaking of, can I get a big oh no for the local shops being out of the Fallout Magic Packs? The card store said they won't get any more ever because it's a small print. Uh, I'm, yeah, I mean, Fallout Magic cards? How bad do you really want those? Can I get an oh no for not being able to breach Anti-4 and Bellatro? Okay, all right, all right, all right. Mooted, yes. That game is not that hard. I feel like you're overthinking it. 
the way to win Bellatro is to min-max your decks. Uh, if you're just trying to play any good hand you have, you're probably going to lose. There's no way you can't get past anti-4. If you're like just like, okay, so let me just specialize in one hand. Flush build is great. Uh, I like uh, full house builds a lot. Those are easy. Yeah, we could help you. I, I, I want to be your coach. <laughs> I want to help you with this. You got your game dev professor into Bellatro. Yeah, it's definitely, it's worth uh, trying to understand. What's so crazy is like, I haven't been back. Uh, maybe we play some more at some point, but yeah, like I'm kind of like satisfied with my understanding of Bellatro at this point. Well, I, will I enjoy Bellatro if I don't understand poker. Yeah, it'll take a second to understand hand values for sure. Uh, but yeah, you'll still enjoy it. It's not really poker. That's the thing is I think a poker player is frustrated with Bellatro. Would I go for flush hands and Mahjong? Uh, that's something that playing Bellatro a lot helps, right? Is like, I feel like you got to play a lot of Mahjong to really get a sense of the odds. You know what I mean? You can look up the odds. Do I have a better shot at getting um, four seasons or four dragons, right? But uh, I feel like you only really get the sense through playing. Speaking of which, check this shit out. Hogru Hog to Hog playing Mahjong. He got Riichi. Which means Uno. Which means I'm one away from winning. <sighs> and then he got Ron? Yeah, then he got Ron. <laughs> I guess we should say Ron. We shouldn't say Ron! Good shit, hog, hog, dog. Uh, the little uh, crystal demon on the left with his nasty mouth truly actually makes me miss FF14. I loved that familiar. And I think somebody just gave it to me when I first started the game. I don't think I ever earned it. I really loved that guy. The Continued Adventures of Hog, Volume 9. Hog John. That's sweet. Yeah, sometimes I miss FF14. Sometimes I miss it. Just a little bit. Uh, but then I like... I, here's the thing. Like, the core of the game, the game of the game, is uh, battling, right? And if the battling is not compelling to you, you can't, you can't give that game your heart. You shouldn't, you shouldn't do it. Can I get an oh no for missing Happy Monday to you because of DST? Yeah. Oh no. It's confusing. Daylight savings time is confusing. Draw blood. Okay, so I'm going to start by putting my security officer just here. No! Cloud always gets to go first! Dave Cleland, that's great. That's excellent. Now, uh, to anybody who struggles with queen blood, uh, let me coach you again. I was up against a very cheap deck last night. And for the first time I realized, you can actually skip your first turn. Cloud always gets to go first, but sometimes he can choose to go second if he wants to. And that's the whole CPU. The CPU, the, here's the thing. CPU, CPU is like, here, player, you get to go first. And the whole time the CPU is thinking, ha ha ha, that means I get to react to every fucking thing you do. I'm going to take all your dots. So then I say, ha ha ha, CPU, you go ahead and go first. And so then basically, then we start taking our turns kind of like, 
hanging out in the back waiting for someone else to step forward because really the game is so leapfroggy that you're at a disadvantage to go first. Oh, it makes me so cranky, but you can actually abstain from moving first. I do recommend it if you're up against a super cheap deck. Can I get an oh no for being out of town the day Weezer Tour is coming? I'm afraid I can't do that. Dave, the artist right here, thanks for being a 45-monther. Impose the skip. Yeah, it, it works. Like, there's just some cheap decks out there that are absolutely like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna react to you. I'm gonna take your land. It's like, okay, try it. Try it. It's the bi-weekly bossman by Mimi Moonbeam. Rebirth wows! Final Fantasy VII Rebirth made a big splash this issue as Kyle fell in love and found himself content with FF7R only. After two full streams, Kyle has been playing in his personal time ever since, and this issue's delayed input was even focused how the game has caused Kyle to not be as excited for future games. Maybe this will help Kyle finally get Cloud Arms. Okay. Not sure what that's about. Back rubs horny. Yet again, this issue, the art show, has created controversy. An innocent drawing of Tifa and Aerith in bed giving relaxing back rubs was called horny by Kyle and disqualified. What is your opinion on this? It wasn't horny. Okay. All right. Mom Jong? Gotcha. Kyle's mother joined the stream this past Saturday, Kelly Boz, in order to teach Kyle and Chad how to play Mahjong. After a brief yet interesting history lesson, the games were on. Joined by Grandma Bossman, technically not true, uh, the tiles were flying left and right. A huge thank you from Kyle, this writer, and chat to Kyle's mom and grandmom. Uh, that, that, uh, that grandmother's from my mom's side. We'll just call her Sandy Pot. BG3 advice? Don't. Baldur's Gate 3 returned this issue, and whilst it was fun for the most part, full of fun, there was, whilst it was for the most part full of fun, there was a few teething problems between Kyle and chat. In response to this, chat has been given a new rule. Do not give advice during BG3 unless Kyle directly asks for it. Now, that's not a, this, is, this, tech, this issue is technically out of date already. Uh, you were absolutely allowed to give me advice because we're going back to easy mode. Well, we're going down it. We've never been there before. We're trailblazing into easy mode. After implementing this rule, the stream was made much better, and we can't wait for today's stream of BG3. All hail, all hail Gordius. Corrections. Art show pieces shouldn't be about me. Thank you. No more bad BG3 advice. Unfortunately, you're going to have to correct that correction. Uh, <laughs> Octo stream. Splatoon 3's big DLC came to Kyle's stream this bye week. After creating his own Octoling, Kyle has soon was soon splatting his way through each level. The stream also featured Kyle's introduction to the incredible Bellatro. Aided by chat, Bellatro proved to be a great time for all. Plus, we got to see Kyle in a park dressed as Batman. Huber returns. The powerful duo of Kyle and Huber returns this issue as they played Outlast Trials together. Jolly vibes and fun times were had by all, and I, for one, hope to see more Huber horror streams in the future. Spooky. Super fun stream. Uh, Outlast Trials is not my kind of game. I never want to play it again. There's not a lot of horror co-op. I mean, I guess there is like Dead by Daylight, right? It would be fun to do more of that, but I don't know what opportunities there will be. You know what I'm saying? No more bad BG3 advice might still be true. We're going to rally. All right, well, here's the thing. Talking about the feet, right? <laughs> I love the screenshot, by the way. I'm actually glad I got to see the feet. Those, the rat fight fucking sucked, but, like, I'm glad I got to see those feet, and I'm glad I actually, like, got that insight into what the scheme of Raphael was. 
So, you know, like uh, when I thought about it backwards, it was like, you know what? That wasn't intentionally bad advice. It was chat just didn't know I was so low level that the rats could de possibly defeat me. RE5 Remake? Whoa! You just reminded me I had a dream about RE5 Remake. That's so weird. They like canceled it. I was like playing it and then they canceled it. <laughs> I think it was because of like racial issues or something. <laughs> like the Stellar Blade demo. Yeah, I think it was. I think somebody talking about the like getting kicked out of the Stellar Blade demo, like kind of like seeded that in my mind of like, wow, you can do that. Lethal Company, I'm not too into. But maybe. Hey, I mean, maybe. It was, hey, look, I'm not too into Outlast Trials, and it was a fun stream. Cracking packs with Dan! Chat was treated an extra stream featuring Dan as he and Kyle cracked countless packs and let chat bet on it. Pokemon, Digimon, Lego, the stream truly had it all, X-Men. Uh, this writer will happily provide Dan with a ticket of approval for any future streams. Come back soon. All right, so now Mimi Moonbeam is saying that she's also a figure of authority. <laughs> this is she is guest art by Didgeridooist. Yeah, that was a uh, that was some fun pack cracking. I honestly like chat getting that holographic Wolverine. Like it makes me feel like I can die and. Like, that'd be like, I had a good life. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, hey, man, everybody everybody gets, like, some lucky moments, right? I, like, I feel like that was mine. I got that holographic Wolverine. I got mine. <laughs> Any plans for the remaining Digimon packs? Oh, I cracked them all. Uh, the, ones, the ones that are left in that box. Basically, because we got our alternate art and our like super secret uh there was nothing left in the box that was good or you know like that we could bet on that would be spectacular uh anything cool yeah there were some cool ones but yeah unfortunately yeah we opened half that box and then the the fir the good cards all happened in the first half and then i did i went to the website to see what i missed out on we did good we did good i don't i don't feel like i missed out on too much from that that uh set my favorite pg3 thing was kyle ignoring all the night song lore on purpose and then saying i don't know who she is no 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 no. you're talking about that blonde woman i never met that blonde woman i never met her no no no, no. that's not fair i didn't ignore her on purpose kyle bossman good son good streamer holographic wolverine yeah, we got to put that on my, uh, we got to frame it on my gravestone, bro. Hell yeah. Uh, art show continues, of course. <laughs> I was like, uh, and art show done. No, 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 no. Uh, <laughs> I'm here just here sipping my coffee. Hold on a moment. Uh, get it graded first. It will not grade well, chat. Green Dragon, Abercrombie and Fitch, 1922. This person paid attention. Red Dragon, Left Pig. <laughs> Wait, chat, I mean, let, let's get it clear to me. I'm honestly not positive when I say Left Pig that Left Pig is Left Pig. It seems to me that they would frame it so that, yeah, Left Pig like, looks into the words and Right Pig looks into the words. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Red Dragon is Left Pig. And then white dragon, just a sausage. <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's a good piece. <laughs> Sumo, just follow your instincts. Care for a kappa? Now we're talking. Uh, EGP noodles, excellent piece. We got to play a little bit of uh, Euphoria 2 on uh, Friday as well.
my mom, uh, she was still talking about Ichiban yesterday. She was like, I don't believe you that he's a nice guy. He like, he looks so mean. <laughs> oh, cause you know what? I explained to her, like I let her in on like what Kyle lover 96. She was like, so hold on. Did you, did you know who that was? And I'm like, no, but here's the thing. That person is usually Kyle lover 69. And she was like, oh. She said, you don't have to do that for me. <laughs> she said, you don't have to do that for me. Meaning to the mysterious Kyle Lover 69. You, you don't have to do that for her. You, you can stay 69 is what we're saying. But then, yeah, she thought I was like pranking her when I said that Ichiban was actually a nice guy. It's like, no, 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 no. This is a cool piece from Jocko. This is uh this is Outlast uh, Trials art. That's awesome. This is uh, you know what the last trial might actually stick to me. I actually liked it. We had like a forty five minute mission for our last one for the crunch, and it was heavily involved. At one point, uh, half the team gets trackers, and then half the team gets microwave beams, and so I was a tracker, and so I was tracking this guy and trying to tell Huber to come to me to like uh, microwave his brain. Really, really cool. And you know what I liked is um, I had the highest uh, uh, grade on the fi fi final mission too. It's like I finally got my shit together. I finally understood what the game wanted me to do. I got my A. Felt nice. A ritual circle? Color me intrigued. Shall we proceed, Gordius? Rats. Why did it have to be rats? <laughs> now, cool Kirby, I'm assuming this is the exact same framing from one of the many Indiana Jones movies. Do I have the urge to play more? I have the urge to delete that game and never look at it again. Talking about Outlast Trials? No urge. Zero urge. I'm not feeling the urge. Couldn't say that, no. Why did it have to be rats? I will find out all that you did to Mahjong. <laughs> AFB, this is, uh, this is nice. I love that this dragon's got a purple shirt on. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's just a nice AFB detail. The green dragon has a sleeveless purple shirt. I really, I love this piece too, yeah. And you're right, nice colors. Especially the details in the horn. Charleston Sinners, look out. Yeah, they had, they had to go and add the Charleston. Oh, I see. There actually is a name on this in the lower-hand corner. Mia? Right? Is the name of the character? At Akiriho, I think is what that says. It's my. It's my. It's just my, it's not Mia, it's my. Hell yeah. Is that my Yu Yu Hakusho shirt? Chat suggesting that maybe the dragon is wearing my good luck lilac shirt. Possible. I, th I think it's maybe like a deeper purple than lilac. But it is true. Yeah, also, to the person earlier who was having a hard time getting past Anti-4, wear some lilac. Red underwear, lilac on the outside. I 
I think it's a tribute. I think it's art still. <laughs> I think I think it's a good natured tribute. <laughs> and this is cool. This is uh this is the Euphoria characters playing Mahjong again. Actually, now I'm curious uh who is left out of the EGP noodles piece. So this is from Woojack. All four characters playing Mahjong. Who got cut? Jennifer. Jennifer got cut from the EGP noodles piece. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I, I, I like the uh, overlap there. I mean, four players, at, four players at Mahjong, four in Euphoria. Why not? <laughs> um and then I didn't vet this. We had some late art come in today. I haven't vetted this. I'm going to be adjusting audio levels as we go. Run. Where's that to pay? Oh, that is so cliché. You have the sex appeal of a Run. I look that much like Ron. Sacre bleu! I cannot believe it! I have been defeated in battle! So give me that map, take your ship and skedaddle! You win, you win, you'll get your map back! You were doomed from the start, you Ron! Alright, alright, I give up already! It's no wonder you lost with a sword so unsteady! Merci! I beg you! No more insults, please! Your smell and face remind me of Ron. Ah! So hold on. You think you can just screen cap some shitty flash cartoons, change one word, and call that art? You you think you, you think you can just pull up some fucking flash cartoon from two thousand two? You can, you can just you can just go to Newgrounds. You just go you can just go to the Wayback Machine. Pull up Newgrounds circa two thousand one. Pull up some fucking poorly animated Flash cartoon. <laughs> you th you, th you think you could call that art? Okay. Here here in the stream. <laughs> you, you think explain ron now ron is a victory in mahjong where you win because you're pulling somebody else's piece that they just discarded however ron was also the name of somebody who played with us in outlast trials i think who i call the piece of shit <laughs> that is so funny. Tatris is like, is Argy here? We need to ban Kyle. And then three comments later, Screaming Argonaut shows up. Just saying, afternoon, Chad, how's tricks? Is that right? It was Eternal Ron. Ron was from um, Outlast Trials. What did I do this time? No, 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 that's not what I did. Look at this. Yeah, you can't just well, repurpose some fucking flash animation that somebody oh, did in that high is school so cliche. and put that in the art show. You have the sex appeal of a run. Like it's cl it's clearly just like a couple of high school students doing the like voice Ron. acting. You have to credit these poor kids. Like you know, they didn't they didn't agree to your you Sorry, repurposing their I art. Believe it. I have been defeated in battle. So give me that map, take your ship and skedaddle. You win, you win. And look how like obviously back. unfunny it is too. From the start, you like won. obviously some high school kids all right, wrote this. Alright, alright, I give up already. It's no wonder you lost with a sword so unsteady. Merci, I beg you, no more insults, please. It's so fucked to put that in the art show. <laughs> Q 
can we run it again? I wasn't paying attention. It's still run. I mean, look, it's still going. Some poor kid. Some poor kid. They're probably 50 now. Made that in high school. Then some, some uh, art show artist digs up that old piece, changes one word to Ron, and throws it in the art show. Does Kyle not yet vet submissions anymore? That one came in late. That was a late submission, which is part of why I'm mocking it so relentlessly. Uh, Arctic, thanks for being a 45 monther. Have fond memories of playing Mahjong with my mom. So the Mahjong stream was super fun to watch. Appreciate you, Kyle, chat, mods, and mucho. Thank you, Arctic. That was a fun stream. Tim Schaefer is the poor kid. You, you looked him up. So there's like a Flash animator named Tim Schaefer. What's he do now? Whoever made that piece, I think, has to apologize to Tim Schaefer. Still animating in Flash. <laughs> it makes documentaries cool. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> Um, I'm actually, uh, we're streaming, we're streaming a really weird game on Friday. Uh, Llama Soft, the Jeff Minter story. And honestly, not my kind of game, uh, Z, and not my kind of stream, but I watched the trailer and it was so compelling that, uh, I really want to stream that. So basically, it's like... The story of a, like, creative game designer who was able to just, like, self-produce crazy out there games on the Atari, right? The game itself, what you buy, is, like, a collection of his games, but also the timeline and, like, context of each game. Um, so I think that might be really cool. The voiceover for Guybrush also worked as a food critic for an Arizona newspaper. Yeah, I believe that. It's the first believable Monkey Island thing you've ever told me, chat. Uh, can I get an oh yeah or oh no? Let's see. I just ate a million calorie Costco cookie. It was good in the moment, but now I feel sick. Oh yeah. You're all right. You're all right. Did Ben Hansen pay you to stream this game? Oh, the one on Friday? The Llama Soft? No. He's paid me to stream a couple of other games. I would have never started Barnyard, but Hansen insisted upon it. He gives me he gives me fifty thousand dollars every time we stream Barnyard. And that comes straight out of the MinMax Patreon. Every every time, every time I'm like, Ben, I like, I don't think we should keep doing this. And Like, I don't get it. Like, Ben, I, like, I feel like, I feel like, <laughs> I feel like this is detrimental to your Patreon. And he's like, look, I, <laughs> he says, I like what I like. So, uh, I mean, who's going to say no to 50k, right? Dochi, thanks for those bits. Has Ben asked you about your video game crushes? No. I, um, I watched the start of that video. Because that's such a fun idea for a video, right? Like, uh, what are they called? They're the panel, right? They're like the sexy gamer panel. And they, uh, they review your video game crushes. This is a min-max show. However, and you know how I feel about masks. Hanson's wearing a fucking freaky mask the whole time. <laughs> They're called the Thirst Council. Yeah, I love this. He's, you know, I fucking, you know, I hate freaky masks. I hate them. I can't look, I can't look at it. I can't look, like, I actually can't watch that stream because he's, or a show, I should say. Because he's wearing that fucking mask. It's too freaky, bro. What should be a fun, sexy program is disturbing. <laughs> 
I'm sorry, Chad. It actually looks like we do have an update for Baldur's Gate. Oh, that was fast. That was a, that was a quick one. That was a hot fix. Can't play We Happy Few? No. I can't play Bioshock. Not a bit. No, I actually, I actually like hate Freaky Masks. You tell him that, he'll be pleased? Here's the thing. Is I th I, here's the thing. All right, here's the thing. It's like a bit and then also not a bit. I tru truly believe Ben Hansen, the content creator, doesn't want his face seen talking about crushing about on video game characters. Like, the, in, in Ben Hansen's mind, wearing the freaky mask is a loophole. It looks like a bit. I, on the surface, it sure looks like a bit, but I know. I, that's no bit. I, mask off, Hansen. Own it, dude. If you're going to be on the Thirst console, you have to, you have to show your, yourself. Show yourself. The mask is his true self. He's Batman. He's afraid of what Dan Reichert would do with the footage. True enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. You won't see me talking about video game crushes because it would destroy the art show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. If you want to submit any art to the art show, send that to dearbossman at gmail.com. Put your name on it if you wanted it to be attributed to you. Don't if you don't, that's okay. Uh, if it's a video or a song, try to keep it like a minute or less. And don't like, here's the thing. Don't hop into the Wayback Machine and go to Newgrounds circa 2001 and just steal somebody's flash animation. Don't do stuff like that. Like if you like if you wanted to use a clip from a video game, that would be fine. But like just somebody's flash animation, I don't get why you would do that. Bugs Bunny was in the third episode of Thirst Council. Not a bit. Hold up, they got to three episodes already. <laughs> All right, so chat. This is one of my favorite things Min Max does. Is they have a, a basically a weekly slot called New Show Plus, and. Um, basically it's like, uh, we're going to do a brand new show every week. You, you can vote between four ideas and Ben Hansen's got, he's got a straight up list of like 50 ideas for quasi viable online videos, right? Uh, semi viable. And uh, so what you can do is like you vote on those four things. You're like, okay, I want to see Thirst Council, right? And so they do it. They, that's like the show they do that week. The next week, you can vote for more Thirst Council, more of the thing they did last week, or three new ideas, right? Um, the idea that they, like most shows they do die in one week. Sometimes it's like two. Getting to three weeks is not nothing. It's over now. It find Thirst Council finally died. You know what? If Hansen took off the mask, it would have lived. It would have lived. The ones that are straight up aren't viable are sometimes the best. Yeah, I, I agree with that too, though. All right, so last week, the council lost, and they revived Game Query, a podcast that was started by Game Informer interns originally. That's fun. Hansen was only in episode one. This man showed up for episode one in a freaky mask. And then skipped out on the next two? <laughs> What is, what's the theme of Game Query? What's the theme? He was ashamed of his words and deeds, no doubt, no doubt. Sounds like a Game Sleuth ripoff. There's no way it is. 
If he took the mask off, we'd all see him doing the Ted Avery wolf face the entire episode. <laughs> Now, here's the thing. I've talked about this slobbering wolf many times, and chat has no idea what I'm talking about. Um, and so it sounds like you have to say the Ted Avery wolf face to make it clear to people. Got it. Each host has a goofy question about game stuff. That's a, yeah, that's a good idea for a show. Uh, let me tell Twitch that we're swapping games. All right, I guess we're not swapping games. We're starting to play a game now. It's 5.17 on the East Coast. Time to start playing a game. Do you want to know what's fucking crazy? Uh, I was trying to start... I was trying to type uh, Baldur's Gate, right? So I typed B. Uh, and then I did BL, right? By accident. Fortnite is the first auto-suggested game. If you accidentally type in BL. Like, I feel like any two letters, Twitch is going to be like, did you mean Fortnite? Okay, I'm disproving my theory. But I wonder what BL has to do with Fortnite. Blocks? No, that would be Bloodborne. BLA? Okay, anyway, uh, Baldur's Gate. Blamato Town. Um, Queen B from Super Mario Galaxy was someone's crush. I mean, I get it, bro. <laughs> it's an alluring fluff. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Chad, she's not some, like, flat polygon. This was no mistake. You know what I mean? This isn't incidental. Miyamoto was hoping that people would crush on Queen Bee. <laughs> you know what I mean? Otherwise, her eyes wouldn't be half open. <laughs> Remember, there's nothing sexier than half open eyes. That's a design tip. Oh my god, here we go. I'm not quite ready for this shit. So here's what's going on right now. We're at the Moonrise Towers. We've returned because we have removed J.K. Simmons of his immortality. He is no longer... Invincible. However, upon stomping down his door, there were a lot of straight up nasty bad guys already waiting for us. Seems loud to me. How's that for you? Maybe I just have the volume loud on my end. Hold on. Stand by. Oh, I do. Don't forget you have enemies directly in front of you. Yeah, they're in there. They're hanging out here and here and here. We can't see them right now. But here's what we're doing. These fights make me miserable. They are so long. They are so draining. You have no resources by the end of them. Um, we're switching to easy mode. Difficult. Explora. God. 
It really feels bad to go down to explore. Is J.K. Simmons the lead? No, he's really just like a... Like, hey, I'm just here for this one part of the story. <laughs> they booked a crazy talent for just kind of a minor role, I would say. Um, Sam J. Conrad, thanks for being a 24-monther. Congrats on two years. Thank you, Kyle and Chat, for providing such a fun and welcoming reprieve over the last two years. Happy to reprieve. Uh, they make you feel bad. This looks like the story, bro. Look at this. These are all of our party members. <laughs> all of our beloved party members right on the box or right here. <laughs> you look you look like a badass if you choose this and you look like an absolute nerd if you choose custom. Here's your owl with wings and glasses. I'm not chat. This is not me. I'm not this. <laughs> I'm not in some sort of cat owl with glasses. It is a lot like Mama, honestly, yeah. <laughs> so I guess I'm this goofy group of bards. It's a whole party made up of bards, dude. Damn. All right. This is me. Accept my fate. Accept my role. All right, so now we got ridiculous HP. And now, now, like, we don't even, we don't ever have to save again. I'm just going to be able to waltz through this fight. Don't forget to loot the bodies. That's right. One of these bodies has really good shit for um, Gale. Gale's about to get some good shit. It's not these bodies, it's these bodies. Uh, this is super expensive, nice armor, but nobody can uh, carry this shit. Everybody's like over encumbered, bro. Actually, Lizelle, would that be nice for you? I think this is exactly what she's wearing. Yeah, she, exactly. Okay, okay. All right, so. The Quartermaster. Had some nice shit. She joined. The, I did not kill her. She joined the fight. Thumb blister. Thanks for being a 34 monther. Minthar is wearing the same shit too. Um. I mean, take it. We love supply packs. No, thank you. Oh, I think we made Gale wear that actually. Yeah, Gale, check this out. Magic. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is better for Gale. We're getting rid of Cat's Grace, which was nice. It was it was helpful a few times. Are we romancing Minthara? I wouldn't say romancing. Nobody said it's like love. And then we're going to give him the staff. Hell yeah. There you go, big guy. 800? Ooh! It's, it's kind of chat. Basically, I would just describe it as like, uh, we're trying to satisfy her physical needs. Can we discuss the fact that Gale breaks the overlay? I haven't seen the overlay. What, what does Gale do to it? Uh, Matt B, thanks for being a 22 monther. Who did you really play as in Tabletop Escapade Season 2? Villiant or Palvin? Thanks for the fantastic community you fostered. Shout out to chat. Yeah, I mean, if you were asking me, like, who I was rooting for, it was Palvin. I was, like, with Villian, I was trying to make, like, an unlikable hero. <laughs> but unfortunately, I, I find that most times if you try to make somebody unlikable, they're going to be likable. Procrastinating a slide deck. Thumb blister. Is this a slide deck like a presentation? We're procrastinating on a slide deck. Uh, F5 to save, I think, but I'll tr triple check with chat before I click that. This is my dog, Kyle. Thanks for being a 42 monther. Gordius, my beloved. Hell yeah. 
Yeah, slide deck's like a presentation. Um. Yeah, those are nerve-wracking, no doubt. Certainly. He looks good in this orange suit. It was really fun to keep him in that bone armor for so long, but I mean, like, he looks good. That's a good fit. I actually, I loved the lore of Palvin. He was cursed to never mature. So he's this character who absolutely cannot have character growth. <laughs> he can't grow older. So like he, he was like technically like over 100 years old or something. Uh, maybe it was like 50. Like he was technically like older. He was technically a full on grown ass adult. But um, he couldn't grow. He had the curse. Nightmare Rhino, thanks for being a 12 month. Or take notes, Neil Druckmann. <laughs> Congrats on the. Watching you play this is making me want to play it on my new PC rather than PS5. I will say, I hate PCs. I hate games that are like this. But I too would prefer to play this on a PC over a PS5. We, we tried the uh, console controls and I was not getting into it. Constitution plus two while raging. No one's going to rage here. We're not ragers. Um, I'm wondering who might like this breastplate plus two. That might be a nice weapon for someone else in the party. Nah, 16 doesn't mean anything to anybody else. So we'll take it to sell it. I mean, it's worth 600 gold, dude. It's so nice. Could be interesting. Lizelle's got some cool magic weapon right now. She's got the Sword of Justice. It gives her tears protection, which we have been using occasionally. I don't think we're swapping them. All right, so uh, these nasty enemies are the type to uh, do the hunger field. Yeah. Uh, basically, we're going to have like two turns before there's a hunger field right here in this tunnel. Um, I do wonder what the proper strategy for that is. This guy can block the hunger field. Get him in there. All right. Gail, you leave. Salutations. Salutations. The halberd is crazy good. Okay. So, this is why chat is allowed to give bad advice still. There we go. When you make an attack roll as a reaction, you can make it with advantage. Okay. Gain plus one bonus to initiative rolls and advantage on perception ability checks. Sure. And it's got that plus D4 force on top of your slashing damage. Okay. All right. We're going to miss that cool shield spell, but that's all right. Tier we're going to miss tears protection. Hey, Kyle, new to commenting. Remember to use hex first. It does more damage that way. You're right. I always use hex at the end of a turn. All right. Uh, we're gonna F5, and we're gonna just win this fight. We're gonna see what easy mode is like. Shall be done. We're gonna hex first, just as we were advised. I, but I never know which hex to use. The warden. Seems like the Take best way. Okay. Dola! Okay, the warden is gonna try to use Hellish Rebuke on Gordius. I don't think so. Nope. It's 
psionic backlash. All right, Gale. Oh, not Gale's turn yet. All right. Lazal's going to walk up here. No time to waste. She maybe can hit some shots. Let's see. Good. Uno mas. That's a miss. Alright. That was smarter than it looked. <laughs> okay. <laughs> With haste. Reminder counter spells use a spell slot. Yeah, that's why I don't use my spell slots. Good shit. That's why I don't even use my level threes. It's not worth it. Yeah, we see you back there. Game. Sorry, bro. <laughs> he got hit by the light. All right, the warden is dead, which feels great. Shield of faith. Guardian of faith. Yeah, right. Point. Nope. Chat's like that uses a slot. I know. I know. I'd rather I'd rather neutralize their slot than use my own slots. Yoo hoo! Ooh, we do cure wounds. Six HP. What a turn! All right, let's get you up here, brother. On my way. Give us the wisdom. And then give him the Dola, baby. Dola. Dola. Yoink. I will ascend. ascend. Yeah. Critical miss. And it, yeah. Critical hit. <laughs> Goes both ways, bub. All right, so now we tell this bad boy, don't use any more of your uh, slot. Ignis. Yeah, that fight is very different on easy. It's just very different, bro. Why is he panting, though? Are you okay? Gordius, why are you panting? Let's have a look. Minthara leveled up. Oh, good looking out, chat. Good looking out. Shit, I didn't mean to take all. He's encumbered. No, we don't want that shit. We do want that shit. We love camp supplies. We'll see what's in the pouch. You went to easy, but still have karmic dice off. Yeah, the, the luck rolls. We're not why we were dying. We were dying to the absolute ridiculous damage we were receiving. And that was not because of dice, like unlucky dice. You know what I mean? All right, so let's level up our dear Minthara. I hope this is important for your sake. Health increased to 112. You got a new level two spell slot. Relentless Avenger. If you hit an enemy with an opportunity attack, your movement speed increases by 4.5 meters on your next turn. I never use opportunity attacks, but all right. Congrats. Proper spells. Too damn late. 
I'm on easy mode. Out now. of my way. I'll take the egg. Any interest in multiclassing? Absolutely none. I never think that's cool in any video game. <laughs> Ooh, what is this? Spell slot restoration. You basically you could you could like take a, a short rest in the middle of a match. <laughs> is Kyle an owl cat now? I'm not an owl cat. It just restores one spell. Got it. I still think that's pretty good, especially because I'm so cheap with my spell slots. And then also we got to unencumber poor Gordius. He's he's holding on to too much weight right now. What's your heavy shit, bro? You don't need that armor. Give that to Lizelle. She can she can carry a lot. She can carry the load. And we should, uh, we should do some selling at our soonest opportunity. We have a lot to sell right now. Um, and then I did, th this is all nasty, no, not nasty. I did not actually equip that cool little necklace for Gale. Gale, we got a cool necklace for you, brother. Would you like to wear it? Put it on. Looks like you only get one slot. Ooh, and actually this shit's so good because we only use that cantrip that is fire. Gail, can you please wear two necklaces? Or they can't do that. Okay. So it looks like there's a necklace slot and then two ring slots if I'm reading this correctly. Okay. All right. <laughs> Fine. We'll deal. We'll just sell that shit. Thank you, Warden, for such a fancy necklace. Um, oh no. This is crazy. Do you know what killed these three? The Beholder. No, these are, they're alive still. Oh shit. Um, I think they will attack me if I go talk to them. down here while that leggy freak gets rewarded above his bollocks okay i guess they didn't want to talk oh you're right i killed these three drendar and racha you're right i killed them i took the oxygen right out of their lungs no you're right about that Kova League, thank you for gifting 10 gift subs. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, we're on a roll. <laughs> I have to say, we got some good momentum coming into the stream today. Switching to easy mode, we went, we went bam, bam, bam in that fight. Now, it is true. I do think that um, uh, we don't have many level 3 skill slots left for... Spell slots left for... Uh, Gale, so we might have to rest before we go fight J.K. Simmons. But we're doing okay. As if I wasn't going to already, I was. The Crackbam Dot stream on Saturday made me a lifetime sub. So beautiful, real, and lovely to see. Called my mom the next day to chat. Thank you. You are beyond appreciated. Kovalik, that's such a sweet thing to say. Hell yeah, call your moms. Give him a ring. <laughs> Sorry, it looked like I had to go offline to cry, but it was really just to blow my nose. Um, I did not know yesterday was Mother's Day in the UK, 
until the controversy, which we're not getting into. We're not getting into that controversy. <laughs> Had a nose cry. When is the 20 burger giveaway? You know what? I should figure that out this week. I should, I should get that set up. Okay, this scroll is too long for me to be interested in, but thank you, game. And thank you for, for providing background lore. Yeah, so we only have one level three slot left. Here's where chat would set up a little campfire. My chat would say, it would be advisable to take a long rest. Short rests do not refill skill slots. Spell slots, excuse me. Who goes there? We got a Golurk? Yeah, I saw a Golurk in there. Dead, though. Skill next to Grease restores spell slots. Okay, cool. Let's try that shit. Time to press ahead. Time to press ahead. Take exit. Hey, Ixik! Dala! Dala! Reach from beyond! Alright, there's three of them. Each of them presumably are gonna to try to do this spell. If I do counter spell to reach from beyond, we uh don't get to do any more level three spells. Unfortunately, I'm going to allow it to do Reach From Beyond to poor Gordius. Good miss. Do not react. Do not react. Oh, what's this? Impose disadvantage. Sure, do that. Do not react. Ah. <laughs> you will die my lord. Fireball? You will be <laughs> yeah, right, bro. All right. How many turns you get? This is a bonus action? Yeah, right, dude. This seems like something I should probably kill. Lila Lo. Great. Too far away. Shield of Faith! Which I think was already activated. It was. Victory is assured. Victory is assured. We cannot lose this. Striking distance. Can only be cast outside of combat. Got it. So this is what I would use to replenish skills spell slots when the time comes. Gracing y'all up. <laughs> Your turn, Gordius. What happened to Lizelle's turn? Where is she? Eager for battle. Can you join the fight? Proceeding. Oh my god. Alright. So, back to Gordius. Comes easy these days. Charmer. Oh, good charm. Hell yeah, that never hits. Psionic backlash for the kill. Yeah, psionic backlash for the kill. We love that. All right. Hammer this necromite. Oh, good damage. Yeah. Oh. Allow me to 
Yes. And then this, and then this, and then this. Good shit, team. Minthara can use a shield. I don't get shield vibes from her. We surely have a shield, right? I mean, you could tell me, right? You you have the overlay. I got the Justiciar's Great Shield. Darkness Cloak. And you get Shield Bash. Yeah, that might be the best shield we have on us right now. Any hot takes from the Oscars? Um, no, no. Oppenheimer is a good movie. I think it gets... A l I think Oppenheimer gets a little cheesy at the end. When young Han Solo is smirking and like... Guess you didn't think about that, did you? Guess the American way always prevails, huh? You know, it's like, okay. <laughs> Is this supposed to be a feel-good movie suddenly? Um, but yeah, I think, uh, hey. Hey, get that Oscar, hell yeah. Any interest in the Pokemon Infinite Fusion ROM hack? Legitimately the best Pokemon game I've played since Gen 5. I never, here's the thing, Ranger Nate. Chat is always telling me that ROM hacks are good, and I've never played a good one. You know what I, I really want to see now more than ever, though, is I think uh, I didn't see many awards. I, I like I, I got to watch for like two awards being handed out. I think it was best adapted screenplay went to American Fiction. I'm in for that. Um, sorry, I lost the shield. I, I found a shield and I was like, where did that go? Godzilla minus one winning for best special effects. That's awesome. I would love to see that movie. I will subscribe to any service it comes to. I'm scanning my little symbols. My little symbols. <laughs> Shit, what, what, it, was a, it was a great shield. I've lost, there it is. There you go, there you go, there you go. So we put that in your other hand. There we go. So sorry, what was, what's good about the new hot ROM hack? You gotta give me, you gotta give me, um, the pitch. You gotta give me the elevator pitch of, like, why that ROM hack is so good. Chat's saying, look, we could just search. I could just search for a shield right up here in this left-hand corner. I hear you now. Um, all right. Should we listen to chat? Good here. And should we take ourselves a nice little short rest before we walk into J.K. Simmons' office? Or, I mean, I guess a long rest, dude. You have to take a long rest. You gotta refill those spell slots. Shit. We got to. Um, <laughs> so I'm going, I have the monitors set up the same way I had them set up before, but as you can kind of actually see it, this is where I currently have the microphone installed. So it's coming all the way back up to here, all the way back through here. So I basically, like, I have it fully extended. Must exit tower to rest. Can I tell you something? I actually like that rule. So we'll do a short rest for the HP. We'll F5. And then we'll see if we can win this fight with zero uh, spell slots. Oh, here, let's do this. To do. To do. 
recover a level three spell slot. Do it. Great. Well, we got one at least. Here we go. Maybe we could take, talk our way out of this. You never even thought about that. You. What have you done? What have you done to me? Look at this. So surrender now and I'll let, con let consider letting you leave. All right, so here's what it is. It's a remake of Gen 1 with the big gimmick being able to fuse Pokemon together. I'm out. There are over 200,000 combinations and people are creating unique and interesting sprite art for the Pokemon all the time. But on top of that, it gives you Kanto new scenarios and maps in a good and unique way. Kind of like how Black 2 changes the things in Black 1. The second half I'm into. I'm into that second half. I'm not into the, the fusions. You were feeding off Night Song for a century, no longer. Add bonus, become my friend. There we go. Difficulty class 21. However, because we have such a bonus, we only need an 11 or higher. The odds are actually still technically against you here, but we can still win this. And we did. the price dude. it was worth it you've come this far you've stripped your enemy of his advantage why would you show mercy now i'm not like you catherine my only interest is what is right i may or i may not but if you try to attack me i will crush your skull a higher power wants you to live. Um, we have great bonuses on all of this shit. Intimidation is plus 10. Persuasion is plus 9. And then plus 14 on deception. I mean, we got to take that. We got to take that deception then, actually. Plus 14, dude? And we still get that advantage for some reason because we're friends. Holy shit. Difficulty class 30 though. Shit. <laughs> All right, so we need to roll a 16 or better. Damn. All right. All right. Close. We'll use a point of inspiration. We'll use it, we'll use it. A higher power wants you to live is such a funny thing to say to a guy. So close! God damn it! God damn it! One, I'll do another one. I'll do another one. I'll do another one. I'd rather they give me two threes than a 15. Oh, fuck! <laughs> You're teasing me, game. You're teasing me. You're teasing me. There we go. Yeah, we're going to add this guy to our party. Success! It doesn't make sense. I, I don't understand. I was given... I was... Hold the gods. We are so little before them. So small. This is a fucking great actor, bro. Seeing one's enemies cowed never gets old. I like 
these? I've discovered every Pokemon is better when you fuse it with Snorlax. Chat, I don't like the dirty science that you're doing. Heretic biology. It's not right, chat. I'm going to put this one up to you, chat. It seems like all four probably lead the same direction. It's a cool thing I saw on Twitter. Akira Toriyama might have been the one to popularize or even start the concept of super deformed chibi characters, which then directly led to SD Gundam because the creators were fans. <laughs> I mean, this is good shit. How do we vote? It should be the overlay. I think it's only desktop, so I think if you're on your phone, it won't work. Obviously, I think something like that probably would have found its way into mainstream, regardless of that one panel, but hell yeah. Visionary. And refresh if it's not showing, yep. All right, your story doesn't end here. This is what this is where my chat's compassion is leading them. Okay. Gail liked that. Oh shit. No, 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 I'm doing something. Aelin. Aelin, no, I'm doing something. Retribution has come and her sword is my sword. Oh shit. No, we got to try to save him. We got to try to save him now. This is this is so fucked. No, 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 no. We got to try to save him. If you stand back and watch that man gets his head chopped off. <laughs> Ketherick Thorne would sooner die than lay down his rank cause. Isn't that right, General? I was a fool to hesitate. Power like mine cannot be hidden, cannot be cowed. But Stop saying cowed. Like mine has a price. A price I am destined to pay. You have one last chance to bow. Once it's gone, I'll have no choice but to destroy you both. Do you hear? Bow! Things were going so good before this angel appeared. Oh shit! Was that Gordius? No, he's fine. The prism. You've had it all this time, you worm. You will bow before me. And if you will not bow, you will break. He will crumble at the power of your touch. Give him all you have. The gods fight at Fuck. our side. I won, I won that 30 toss for nothing. <laughs> oh, we're, the spider guy is still on our side. No longer on our side. What the fuck? What the fuck? You're about to attack Minthara? Yeah, right, Karnas. Shit. Huh, I, so I, I truly wonder what could have gone differently in that fight. This guy used to be cool. Uh, all right, so what do we have here? We got Sus Dara. We got a bunch of these nasty ants. Um, and then, of course, we have a dog, the squire, and a bear. With his aurora of hate. But we are friends. Gail's approval was worth the 30. <laughs> Gail was already ready to bone. With like a with like approval rating of like 15, he was like, hey. Why don't you lie beside me tonight? Best be on my way. Oh shit, I meant to do uh, Eldritch Blast. 
My bad. Alright, you're gonna kill this one. Yeah. Yeah, right? And yeah. Yeah, right? <laughs> That's why chat loves karmic dice. I got one counter spell left. I'm not going to use it on Bone Chill. Dude, 20 damage, though. Capcom showing Akuma teaser? Where? What do you mean they're showing it? Deadly orders. Did she just get mind controlled? Day two of the Capcom thing. Oh, uh, Capcom highlights. Reach from beyond. We don't react. Reach from beyond. Don't react. God, this sucks. Do not react. Yep. Do not react. <laughs> All right, Minthara and Gale. Gale's already fucking dead. Um. Minthara probably should attack these bone stacks. You will break. As we've seen, the orbs get nasty. You know what? I don't want to fuck around. Is my home. <laughs> All right. Fools, these and then be. Gale. Uh, let's have you slime it up. Don't slime it up. Don't slime it up. Yeah, watch this shit. I'm gonna slime it up. <laughs> Just making this big bad boss fall on his ass is so fun, bro. I'm gonna appreciate that every time. Yeah, I know. Reach from beyond. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's fucking eight of you. Go ahead. All of you reach from beyond. Yep. Yep. How'd you miss that shit? God damn it! Oh, all that for three damage? There you, you go. There's some damage. Hell yeah. Ooh. Oh, shit. So many legs. All right, so uh, let's get you to Baku. Hex on the big man. What the fuck? The big man, the big man, the big man. 20% disadvantage. There's no fucking way this man on the floor... I have only a 20% chance of hitting. There's absolutely no fucking way. You're in the smoke. Okay, okay, okay. Still, it's 45. Not good enough, chat. <laughs> it's harder to hit a ranged attack on the floor. Not true. High defense path is interrupted. By what? By what? All right, so we're going to have to, like, jump. Can't jump. All right, we're going to have to just kill a slime out here. Time to strike. Yeah. God, she can't hit this guy. Yeah. Can you hit him once? That was a hit, actually. Okay. Your second breath. Heal up. Ten. God damn it. Now nah, this game is real suck even on easy. <laughs> this game's just like you and once per long rest you can choose to heal as a bonus action. You heal ten HP. Like fuck. All right. <laughs> 
Thank you. <laughs> cool. Ah, good for you. You've healed 10 HP. Quit it. Quit that shit. God, there's so many of them. All right. I think she should attack the egg sack. Lila Lil. Okay. No longer blinded. Good hit Enough. there. My lord beckons me. You must return to your prison, and my daughter must be reclaimed. Your daughter? Isabel. Okay. Um. Sus Dara is still out there. But those two main characters are gone now. Fireball stuff there. That's a miss. Shove the spider. Too heavy to shove. Yeah, right, dude. At least jump away. Yeah, no attack about it. No counter spells from me. Sorry, Minthara. You're about to take some. Oh, Minthara's got plenty of HP, honestly. We basically want them to attack Minthara right now. She's the only one who's healthy. Huge misses! Huge misses! Excellent, excellent, excellent. So where's Sus Dara? Right there. Okay. So, you will be a recipient of my next hex. Uh-huh. And then you can take two of these. Bop and bop. Hello. Or fury and death, I agree. So don't miss this shit, okay? In fact, if you want to do something cooler, like lacerate, let's do some, let's do some shit. Huge hit! Huge hit, Lazel! Oh my god, I was so sure you were gonna miss that shit. Cool. That's our miss. Can't hit 65% every time, you know? Do the Sonic Backlash. Three targets, though? Actually, counterspell that shit. Very nice. God damn it. How many fucking spell slots do these critters have, dude? They've got a level three spell called Call of Death or whatever. They've done it three turns in a row. <laughs> and they all do it straight to Gordius. It's so insanely rude. All right, so I think we should kill Big Spider before we attack the uh, the Necromites. Suffer. Suffer. Uno mas. That's a miss. That's a one. Peter, destroyer. That's another miss. Mm 
Mm-hmm. Okay. So now you shall be the victim of my wisdom. Great. And now you shall take the day. Big spider finally dead. Path is interrupted. Can we reach the attack? No. I don't know where the other... Oh, they're all fucking up here, dude. Look at them all. All right, so let's get you out here On so the they can attack. How about one more? Dola. Entropic Ward! Oh, uh, unfortunately, Gordius is about to die. We're not going to revive him. Oh, missed. There we go. Now he's dead. Quit this shit! How many how many times do you want to do that one move? <laughs> shit. Alright, uh... Actually, there's nothing um, Minthara can do, but... Wake Gordius up. She doesn't have any cool ranged spells. Alright, uh, how about you doing some actual damage? What do you think, my friend? There's so many of them. God, this game's favorite thing is just to spawn a bunch of enemies. That's a kill. Good shit, Gil. Your turn, Gordius. Would you like to slurp some potions? Nay. Oh, you have to, dude. You can't do shit right now. Yay. I must heal. You've healed 15 HP. Like, okay, chat, chat. Talking like game design wise, right? Um, the idea of like this thing being precious, this potion being precious, and not even being able to heal one enemy's worth of attacks is stupid. It's actually, like, stupid. <laughs> and I won't stand for it any longer. Nice shot, lays out. Gail survived! Look at the survivor! I'm a survivor. Uh, shit. I mean, there's nothing really she can do this turn still. She could cure wounds. Yeah. Let's help our friend Gordius. Shield of Faith! I see, that undid my hunt though, chat. Chat's talking about the hunter's eye or whatever, the hunter's mark. I can't have it all. One for you, for you, for you. Hold on. Good shit, Gail. Pop, pop, pop. Scooch back. Can't hex for some reason. Dola! Dola! All right, look, we got one inspiration point back already. We need to find out where it took Catherick. So we're not too bummed that we burned two points of inspiration just to get to that 30 roll. Uh, mediocre Apple, thanks for being a 44 month. Or can I get an oh yeah for reaching credits in FF7 Rebirth? 120 hours, baby, with two unfinished missions I didn't care for. Oh yeah. In one month, we'll talk about I'm those exhausted. missions. <laughs> Better find somewhere to camp soon. We we will have a full on spoiler chat about that game, but not anytime soon. Anything of use? 
I'm at like 36 hours. Come on, open up. She says, come on, open up. 18. Ow. Hey, hey. <laughs> we had such a bonus on that. Look at these fingers, bro. Gordius is built for this shit. All right, what's inside? The Ring of Exalted Morrow. Marrow. Uh, Exhort the Risen. And Ghoulish Touch. Okay. I want Gordius to have a Ghoulish Touch, bro. Put that ring on. What do you do? You press tab? No, not that. There's a button you can press a T. T to inspect. There we go. Subjugate the undead with your commands. Great. Lash out with deadly claws and possibly paralyze the target. Berserker Barrage! Yeah. Alright, so chat says we can rest here. So I think we just rest here and then we go downstairs and we see if... Uh, Glory Hawk is still alive. What's in here? Yeah, we'll take the break. I've got so many bone keys on me right now. An abundance of bone keys. To be seen is to be known, and to be known by her is most perfect. One must rid one's mind of all veils. Nothing can escape her unseeing gaze. So to hold any secrets before her is folly. All you have, every little scrap of your being belongs to her. In return, you may be offered a fraction of her being. A shard of perfection lodged in your uncomprehending mind. We are true souls, after all. And the truth our souls hold is hers. We're not true souls anymore. Minthara's mind is open. I hold a candle. Who is Gloryhawk? Um, the winged warrior who was uh, flying about in the sky and got hit by a giant tentacle. Holy, I miss baseball. We're playing baseball tonight. Chat, I gotta tell you why we didn't do over like super overtime. We did we I mean we did do overtime on Saturday. We didn't do super overtime. Look at that egg. The bloodstone, dude. Cool. Honestly, I kinda want I don't think I have any bloodstones in my inventory. I kinda want one. Okay. Loot the spider. This spider was cool, dude. I don't know why he turned on us like that. That's that sucked. A drow elf wielding this weapon deals an additional one to four damage. That's nobody in this party. And he's got one of those fancy lamps, which are kind of useless now. Because we cleared out the gas. That's the lantern you can examine. Oh, that's the one that will talk to you. Got it. All right, so chat is informing me that Minthara is in fact a drow elf. <laughs> That's funny, bro. <laughs> Just a note to say that I was alarmed to learn that your strike teams have not yet recovered the artifact. The Githyanki appear to be well after, after it as well. I'll have more to say about this when time allows, but it's essential that your troops do not allow that object to slip between their fingers. Gee. No, I did not know Minthara's race. My apologies. Um, chat is saying that her current weapon is better than that, though. I am listening. God, look, she came through that shit unscathed, relatively.
Oh, I, we love this because it's got, it's got Sunbeam. The reason we like this thing so much is that it's, it's like basically her best spell. The Sunbeam kicks ass. So that's why we don't really want to get rid of it. And Lathander's Blessing is also really nice. I've just never seen it happen, I think. It did happen once. Yeah, I, I didn't realize it. Yeah, it also reses you once per long rest. Yeah, I, don't, I, I didn't realize that was what happening the time it happened. Oh, baseball OT on Saturday. We'll, we'll get to that after the break. We're about to take a break right now. It sounds like I should at least take the sword. But I think she's well equipped. All right. Um, quick break, chat. When we get back, we'll go find out if Storm Angel is alive. But then I'm like, I'm probably, I'm probably gonna like, uh, there. I think there's gonna be like a new story thing to go forward on. You know what I mean? Lazel, I'm fairly sure is Gith Yankee and not a Drow Dark Elf. Also, the target needs to be restrained for the poison to happen. So you're saying the poison stack build is kind of complicated to get going. Next to Fairy Fire, Minthara has a skill called Soul Branding. There it is. Yes, I did this once toward the end. I did this once on um, Lazelle, right? You can use this every turn as a bonus action. Cool. So movement speed increases by 1.5 meters, and the next attack does, does a bonus fire damage. Yeah. So yeah, basically she should be doing this to Lazelle every opportunity. Or anybody, dude. It says next attack. Doesn't have to be physical. Oh, okay. So she could do that on our boy Gale. And so he could be doing his little fire cantrip, and that'll be doing fire on top of that. Cool. Give her the crossbow. Yeah, there were several times where she was just worthless um, because of distance. So it wouldn't be a bad idea to just put a crossbow in her hands. Do we have a good one, chat? You can check. Do we have a decent crossbow that anybody's holding on to? You know what? This guy does not need a crossbow. In fact, it's just messing me up. So she can have his. I think that's the best we got. There's a perp? Oh, right. The, look at this shit. Hellfire. And you get Scorching Rage just for holding on to this thing? Hell yeah. Great. Good looking out, chat. Thank you. But, hey, do equip this. This is... No, 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 no. Put it back in your hand. God damn it. God damn it, Minthara. Put it back. There you go. Okay. Quick break, chat. We'll be right back. See you soon.
We're back, baby. Fuck, God damn it! All right. Um. Anybody not saying Gale is being disingenuous here? Yeah, there you go. That's more like it. Um. Okay, so Saturday was the uh, Mahjong stream with my mom. Oh, by the way, is is Capcom is that happening right now? We can watch that. Is the Capcom highlights live at this moment? We can give it a watch. It's already over. Oh, okay. <laughs> um she arrives with a lot of materials and things, right? There's the second section on the couches. Yeah, that's the skip. That's a skip for me. Where they're just like, they're kind of like slowly demoing a game. If it's a game I'm truly interested in, hell yeah. But I'm guessing it's like, uh, the 3DS Monster Hunter game or something. Um, my mom arrives with a bunch of stuff, right? She brings all her tiles and stuff. And then also an entire rotisserie chicken and potato wedges. And I said like, what? It why is you, what is this? And she says, I thought you might get hungry. So here's some chicken. And it's a, it's a whole ass chicken. And I said, I'm not, I said, mom, I just ate. She's like, oh, I, I'm in like throughout the stream. I thought at some point in the stream, you might be hungry for some chicken. And I'm like, I, mom, I stream all the time. I stream every day. I, I stream all the time. I never, I don't stop to eat chicken in the middle. And she's like, I thought, I'm sorry. I thought it would help. <laughs> So it's a thing where <laughs> my mom was being super nice and thoughtful, but like I absolutely was not going to stop the stream to eat some chicken, right? So on Saturday, when it was after midnight, when I am saying one more to Fortnite and all this, I'm thinking about that nearly cold chicken on the counter that I have to eat after the stream, right? <laughs> I was like, I was like, I gotta go eat, I gotta go eat that chicken. <laughs> and it was definitely, like, here's the thing, it was, like, kind of good, but then also, like, um, it had definitely been, like, sitting in its own juices for six and a half hours, you know what I mean? Like, it was good, but also, like, I felt really bad afterward. <laughs> <laughs> you have an oven yeah the oven one I don't think I would have saved it but uh yeah I did I, you know what I mean if your mom gives you a chicken you're gonna eat the chicken you gotta eat it you know what I mean that's your that's your the least you could do so I did I did indulge wouldn't recommend it Your mom is really good at explaining things, by the way. Oh, she would take that as a huge compliment. <laughs> I told her, yeah, I told her that, like, I told her afterward when chat was asking about Syracuse. I was, I told her that her, her uh, master's was in business education. And she was like, yeah, close enough. <laughs> I was like, all right. I was like, yeah, that's, that's basically it. I'm like, okay. She didn't tell me what it actually was, but she just said that I did a good enough job. Did I eat a whole chicken at midnight on Saturday? Well, technically we went from like, we went to like 1220 or 1230, but uh, I ate like half that chicken. I ate, I ate a lot of that chicken. Did I want to know about the sounds in the walls in this tower? Oh, I'm guessing that side quest is locked off, right? I don't know, probably what, like some little creature? Yeah, I was assuming it would not really lead into anything significant. Did she address the fact she said someone else was her favorite YouTuber? No. no. It was the tentacle. Oh, shit. So could you have killed the tentacle before this fight? And then Lutheric has no, he can't stop anybody? 
We could have we could have killed his ace in the hole before this fight. Chat says no. Okay. Yeah, I don't I don't know what we possibly could have done not to fight him too. It definitely seemed like we got railroaded there. We we got uh, that thirty check, and still uh, we were forced to fight. I'm sorry, I did want to see the Akuma tr teaser. Pulling that up now. You have my interest with this. And what, chat? You said the other big news was... Some Monster Hunter thing. I got so caught up in saying talking about that chicken, I missed the actual news that I was asking for. Monster Hunter's story is coming to PS4, PC, and Switch. Oh, yeah. I really do... Do not like that game. <laughs> I don't like it. I tried, man. Not a lot going on with that game. Can I be honest with you? This, pro this shit probably drives Harada nuts, and I shouldn't have stopped the trailer already. Tekken would never start a trailer with candles that look like that. Tekken would never. This is why Harada can't sleep. He's like, why do they keep getting away with this? You're gonna f this is your first shot of the trailer? This is what you're gonna focus on? GameCube candles? Yes, you're right, Shadow. They are GameCube candles. Here's the thing. As a background element, they're fine. But they that was extremely closed up. Hundreds of opponents, all felled by his hand. Ooh, this is nice though. Thousands of strikes exchanged. They forged his spirit. Oh, this is fucking nice, dude. Every moment engraved into his very being. This is so nice. With ambition so great, they seek to soar beyond the very heavens. Miss Spring 2024. Oh. Iconic, bro. This is the chat. This is what I this uh, this shit I love so much is like uh a character can be iconic without wearing the same costume in every game they appear in. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you can change a character's look, you can evolve a character's look, and that's still fucking Akuma. You know what I mean? That's, that looks so nice, dude. I honestly, I do think that Tekken takes a little far, right? Where sometimes you, I'm looking at it like a, a match and it, it'll take a second before I realize who that character is. Um, Yeah, man, he's not even going gray. He's going full white. Akuma's hitting his 90s. Looks sick as hell though, dude. Look at look at like look at the structure of this fighting game character's body. That look that is such a cool ass pose. That was nice. That was a nice trailer. And I feel like some sort of tease about like a new like skill or move set he's about to have with this like uh ogre thing. 
It is like holographic ogre powers. <laughs> He's got a stand now, basically, but it just kind of like overlaps his own body. Akuma arms went. So this is what I'm talking about, chat. No human being looks like this. And I'm into it. You know what I mean? Like, uh, when you're asking me for Marvel casting, I want absolute physical freaks to be Marvel superheroes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just stuff their bodies full of meat until they, they have this body structure. No. No human. No human looks like that. Chat says, I look like this. Okay, chat. That dude in Reacher. <laughs> you're getting closer. Yeah, you're not wrong. See you, T-Beaks. Um, yeah, that was, uh, that's cool. Here's the thing. I think, honestly, uh, Street Fighter also has to figure out, this is a cool, uh, camp spot. Street Fighter also has to figure out a way to, like, uh, get somebody excited about a new season. You know what I mean? Like, Akuma will be the end of season one, and then it's got to be, like, in season two, everybody gets a, uh, another Ultra. Kind of like what they did with uh, Ultra Street Fighter 4, you know? Everybody gets, like, a new impact or something make every character interesting and exciting. It might be bad for the game, but I feel like they just kind of need that second boost of uh, energy. I'm looking for a sleep. Oh, there they are. My bad. Task. Happy meter check? I'm so sorry. Here's the thing. If I go to happy meter right now, it will be full of... Oh, no, I don't think it is anymore. I think we fixed it. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Um... I want to say we're, like, firmly and pleasantly vibing today. I want to say we're right there. That's easy. Huge turnaround simply taking this game down to easy mode. Excuse me. We're not watching Exoprimal Cross Mega Man. No. No. That's what they're playing on the couch right, right now? I can't do it. Couldn't handle it. Seems so it just makes me sad. It actually looks cool, Yellow Devil boss. I dare chat. I dare you to play it. <laughs> oh, we're gonna eat all my sausages. Damn. All right. Actually, I feel like before we eat those sausages, we should uh, open up that this thing. More sausages. Okay. And then what's in here? Nothing. Okay. Time to eat those sausages. Uh, chat, do any of the other party members who are currently not in our party, uh, do they ever sleep on their sides? Everybody's sleeping on their back. You see, do you see how Minthara sleeps? She's basically meditating straight on her back. It's crazy. Inside. All right, I will. I will examine. Chad's been talking about examining this lantern for weeks now. Looks like a regular old moon lantern to me.
Elves canonically don't sleep. They just go into a trance. Oh. Okay. <laughs> well, fair enough. What's funny is there, we didn't we kind of just like came up here in a cutscene. We kind of just ended up up here. I actually don't know how to leave this place. We gotta like crawl down this wall. Glowing red tower. This shit. Ah, uh, okay. Chase tentacle into hole. Oh my god! All right. That's another thing Chad is asking me to do every week. You peered down the hole left by the tentacle that drew Catherine into the darkness. Will you leap after him? The hole yawns back at you, impossibly wide. A single tentacle burrowed through stone. Why was John Cena naked? I was thinking about that a lot. This is an illicit colony. Uh this must be the comedy of male nudity We're close to the source of the is delicate. It's on top of the gate infestation. But you know what I was thinking about? And this is funny. They were just playing this on the news last night. I was watching like 4 a.m. news last night. Um, and uh, John Cena was, he came out with an envelope, basically. He was basic, basic naked, like probably had a sock on, but like basic naked covering his dong with an envelope, an awards envelope, right? He comes out like bashfully, right? Like he's like hoping nobody notices. Like oh, I'm so embarrassed right now. Crawls out, and then it looks like the first word he says is costumes, and then probably goes on to say are so important, right? The the news clip ended before he finished that sentence, but the delivery on costumes was so strong. I was like, this guy's like a comedic mastermind. He didn't need to finish the sentence. He got the laugh before he finished the sentence because we all knew where he was going with that shit. He's an actor, but he's like a good actor. He's like, he's like a good actor is what I'm saying. <laughs> Chat, there's a lot of professional wrestlers who could not pull that shit off. I did watch Peacemaker. I should have known. I should have known. I, sh I, I can't doubt that man anymore. But yeah, like he's got like legitimate, excellent comedic instincts. The Rock does not have excellent comedic instincts. Rock's got charisma. I think I think like you know he's worth putting in movies because he's got, he's got off the charts charisma. But um, Cena's like a legit funny actor. Remember when the rock was actually funny? What and what, what and what? When what was a funny rock thing? You saying the rock won't show up butt naked? This is what I'm talking about, about how like male nudity being funny is such like a delicate thing to find. Uh no, I can't imagine the rock walking out doing that identical bit and it being remotely funny. Evacuate. I don't think, like, there's not a lot of people who could fucking pull that off at all. That was crazy. <laughs> this used to be a Baldur's Gate 3 stream. All right, I think we're going to have to hack the membrane. Time for some bloody Descend. work. Oh, 
It's never been that. This is. Tread carefully. <laughs> we are very close to the source of the absolute now. You fool. That telepathic storm has become a tempest. This has never been that. Ew. Seems Can I talk like to them? Moment to talk. Down, down. They're not attacking. Seems they think we're allies. Cool. Intellect devour. No, we're not in Act 3 yet. Flesh roll door. And to your left? More flesh rot doors. All right, let's take this first door. I'm assuming there's just like some collectibles in here. Oh, there. The stench. Fresh recruits for Catherick's army. Oh, there. To a necromancer. <laughs> no will sparks behind his eyes. His mind has been hollowed out to better echo the commands of the collective. A cake thrall. The only way to save it is to kill it. Shall we, we then? Kill it. End its miserable life of enslavement. Surely that would be the humane thing to do. You could take advantage of its vulnerability and plunder what's left of its hollow mind for anything that could serve you. Why did they have to offer me the alternative? <laughs> this is when the game is good, bro. This is when the game is good. Why they have to do that? Yeah, obviously we're going to try to enter that mine. Blind as well-worn boots, his mind turns to his work. Chop, cut, sort, shiver of impact, crack of bone. He removes the brains, digs free the squirming tadpoles. The unworthy ones given over to the illithids to become. Well done, Chop. Uh, help me find Catheric, would you? Monster. One down deep. One of three. One. One of three what, dear child? Part of one mind. Four little feet dancing to same song. With a lurch, you realize he means the intellect devourers. Here, the brains are harvested, made part of the hive mind. All right, I think I think we're not gonna kill him. We're not gonna take his mind. We're not gonna kill him. We're just gonna let chop keep chopping. Take brains out of bodies. Ooh, I do want to touch that though. Why don't you save before you touch that? Touch. An offering of so much blood. The Illithids take what's useful and discard the rest. Give me another. <laughs> another. <laughs> okay. Deeper still. Ooh, these are enemies. These do seem like they will attack us. Winged warrior. All right, let's, uh, well, let's not provoke anything we don't have to provoke. Butchered mind? I can just grab that shit? Cool. Anyone want a regal helm? Oh, look at these fucking helms. All right, let's see which one is an improvement. 
Constitution save it throws plus one. They all provide the same bonus, it looks like. Don't like that. Don't like that. Don't like that. They all cover her face. There we go. Yeah, she looks excellent. Salute, no. Just so. You were right. John Cena follows costumes with they are so important. Yeah. Objective noted. Nothing more needs to be said. Honestly, like, pretty funny bit. If we pitched that for the Game Awards... Assemble. We'd be fired. <laughs> a blur of noise and pain filtered through a newly born high mind staggered fresh from the spawning pool. The elder wakes, the elder births anew. But all is not right. Down in the darkness where the elder stirs, something else moves too. Three shining lights that taste the pain. Too many riddles for me, bro. This the tadpole's doing. Oh, good roll on. Still alive. So that's progress. Cool. I was wondering about that cage. So fun detail. On the ship in the tutorial, the very beginning of the game, you can convince an intellect devourer to be your buddy, but you lose him after the tutorial. But... If you do that, he's in that cage and becomes a summon for you from here on. That is really cool. I'm gonna touch this shit. Let's see what this does. Tell as on the we must not and the pod is empty. Traces of psychic right. energy still Along linger the about it. The memories of its former inhabitants Mission spill is into your mind. Oh. The device releases a stream, stream of fragmented memories the and emotions. The flaming fist all that remains of the pod inhabitants and courtly dances. Hello? Amusement. Mind players and civilians. The courage of a soldier who becomes a side. And the intelligence of a commander. The a lot of people talking right now. And transform those they kidnap. Everybody shut up. Brave. Brine pools. But those would have people in them, but you already killed them. Unusual. No, I didn't. Harvesting all the larvae indicates they are getting ready for something big. DJ Slash M. I hate turning off helmets and hats during cutscenes. I'm opposed to it. Can I get an Oya for finishing up 7 Rebirth and becoming spoiler proof? Yeah. But here's the other thing. Oh, yeah. Those of us who aren't spoiler proof are not actually happy for you until we are too. Because <laughs> here's a, you're a risk to us now. Now you're going to start playing a little loosey goosey. Look at me in the hag eye and say you didn't kill them. Like, who would they have been? Those dorky druids? Like, who would have been in there? Golden's Gate will know my design. One was the tiefling leader. Oh my gosh, that's really funny. It would have been them. <laughs> Some who worked here were not thralls or undead. They were loyal to Catherick and his grim cause. PC player here. I love having to dodge spoilers for 18 months, sure. And, uh... I do think... I mean, there's some times where it's like... PC version of this game is probably gonna be nice. Harry Henry's journal. Alright. I want to see it.
these slick innards, these fluid chambers. How long have we been here making thralls? I don't want it any longer. My crawl is drowned out in my head by my own spiral fears. The bone lord doesn't want a coward. None of this looks real. I am in a cracking belly. I am turned inside upside. I am dead. My crawl's gray waist always sounded peaceful. Not like this. Miracle. Excuse me. So, while these little roaming brains are not hostile to us now, it appears as though if I try to open this chest, suddenly they don't like me anymore. So I'm not going to fuck with them. Sir Mr. Bear, thanks for being a seven-mother. These are the berries. Who are these specters? All right, let's talk to these specters, bro. Bring death. General Thorne was attacked. The order to evacuate given. You should not be here. I conclude you are one of the attackers. We always win deception checks. Saw an ad for Rebirth that is a PS5 exclusive till at least 529 2024. Is the PC port closer than we think? No. No, I tried telling chat that that's the case, and they told me I was wrong. <laughs> Are crit fails off on easy? Uh, no. You can still crit fail. I was sent to support you with the eradication of these traitors. Total bonus plus 19, bro. But here's the thing, I think chat is super right. I mean, the rumors are about uh, Final Fantasy 16 coming to PC soon, right? Like, obviously 16's gotta happen first. I have no need for a throne. You would merely get in the way. Go on, make yourself useful somewhere. If you cannot manage that, just stay out of the way. Yes, my bone daughter. Gather yourselves. Soon we march to victory. Out for I wonder if I could fuck with them more. The chosen are my heart. Honestly, I think talking to her again hands. would instigate a fight. So I guess that is just what that was. How about Magthew, dude? I should speak up. May death claim you soon. Oh. Okay. Uh, won't fight me, but definitely did not have anything nice to say. Thank you, Matthew. Iron Figure, will you join me? Also, is there a reason to keep collecting these brains? The end is coming. Do you feel it? Do you feel it? Get the brains? Okay. What's crazy is breaking into this chest will uh, make Iron Finger mad at me. Looks like I could just take that brain. Loop. Um, all right. So it seems the barracks are mostly just like a dead spidery. Oh, that's Harry Henry. Hey, man, I, I read your diary. Heed the mistress. She is blessed. You saw a bit of nipple there? You saw areola, but no nipple. That's the important thing. Okay, so I actually think we can go through here. Never 
Yeah, we'll, we'll walk in here. Kyle streams aren't already marked mature. Honestly, it's just the game. I wonder if when we are just chatting, I should auto set it to mature. But like, yeah, because we're playing a game that's rated mature here. Uh, yeah, this is automatically a mature stream. A child who is turning nine today could not click on this. What a kind seashell you are. Thank you, seashell. Is anyone else's temple squirming around a lot more than usual? Aye. Feels like something down here has them excited. I am scared. Yeah, that's like a that's like a pre-boss thing, right? One more flesh rot door. And then it's time to fight. Bye. No longer a background murmur. The presence in your mind builds to a roar. We've found it. The absolute is behind this door. I feel like we should consult Minthara first. My memories of this place are grim. The reality is worse. I was the Absolute's dagger. I remember every throat that it held me to and every drop of blood it forced me to spill. I take no responsibility for the lives I took. I did nothing in the Absolute's name. I was merely a weapon that it wielded. Come now, Minthara. Really? You take no responsibility? Chat, how do I navigate this? Ooh, one is overtaking two here. Oh, it's close. I'm glad we all agree three is a bad choice. <laughs> all right, with just a tiny edge, we're going with number one. I remember the growth. You seem to enjoy taking all those lives. That bowl. The absolute. They work together like a drug. I did not feel I was compelled to act against my will. I felt ecstatic to serve. Every action seemed a deliberate choice. The best choice. Even though I could no more have resisted its commands than flesh can resist decay. Even rational minds like ours cannot reject such a powerful influence the absolute can make the impossible seem inevitable damn we are going to need to find her a new hat after this yeah i don't i don't like the uh the like character recovery of Minthari. You know what I mean? Now that she's in your party, they're like, she was never the, actually that bad. Um, there's no more helms that show a face. I do think we have like a cap though. 
Because I remember giving Lazel a cap, like a little leather cap. But then we lost that save because I died. I guess she can take the Cheryl Crow hat. Oh my god. That's gonna make Lazel so mad. That's Lazelle's iconic hat, bro. <laughs> Shit. Look how happy she is. <laughs> alright, alright. Search for a hat. Oh, we got a cold brim hat? What is this shit? Oh, no, no. That's the one that uh, Gale wears. Nobody wears that but Gale. Yeah, those are the only three hats I got. <laughs> it is kind of messed up. No, it's kind of messed up because this is Lazelle's iconic look. Even though Lazelle abandoned it, it's messed up to put that on anyone else. I agree. It doesn't feel right. Okay. Let's go, bubs. Into the unknown. Longer a background murmur, the presence in your It would be cool if there's a hat shop somewhere in this world. We found it. The absolute is behind this door. Enter. You said it was under control. It isn't you I answer to, Gortash. Gortash. Oh, the general voice. Is this where we salute? Salute, yes. With cleavers through his blood-starved flesh. How it crawls with failure. Like flies on lick-wet carrion. You forget yourself, Orin. I have played my part. You have built an army for our masters, true enough. But what of the astral prison? A rogue true soul flaunting it under your nose all this time, and you ran from him. Sure that they would follow and deliver it into my hands here. If you would cease these distractions. He was the right. The distractions have been yours, Ketherick. Perhaps we never should have dug your daughter up. <sighs> So you haven't lost your edge. That was a really good animation for somebody who was not going to do a punch. Wager. The Slayer against the Undying One. That'd be fun to see. His crypt breath sings to my sinews again, 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 again. But he must breath, leave the murder march to Baldur's grave. If the weapon is truly in your grasp, Ketherick, might I suggest closing your fist? Orin and I can wait for you no longer. The plan proceeds. We're going to the city, and we expect you to follow. Army and the weapon in tow. The Edict of Bane. The Lash of Bane. Looks like chat. The giant big brain. <laughs> the testament of Merkel. An elder brain. With a little crown on top. <laughs> One of the cruelest and most powerful creatures in existence. Enslaved by mere mortals. Look at that crown. It radiates with power unlike anything i've ever seen to have it to hold 
Oh, if only I could. But I can't. This is it. I must do as Mistra commands. Oh, he's gonna go some blob Gale. Fuck! I didn't realize the stakes are so high right now. Gil wants to blow up, chat. He wants to blow up. He's got a little bomb inside of his chest. But uh, he'll blow us all up if he does it. So yeah, right, Gil. What choice do I have? More than just a goddess counts with my courage. Whole worlds hang in the balance. Stand down. This is not your decision to make, Gail. To end it. To struggle on. It is a grave choice you're making for us both. But if it must be so... Very well. I'll stand down. To stand by you. I'll stand by you. There we are. It wouldn't do to fight in front of our guests. This is funny. I think we just Behold, ended the Grand Duke, Duke quest Gunn. somehow. The absolute. Oh, that's him right there. Shit. Us. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna rescue this man. <laughs> word flap in vain, Alderling. Once the worm holds the whip, your shredded flesh will serve us. <laughs> Shit. Welcome to the Worm Club. Now, it's really time we were going. We will empty this place and begin the march. You may catch up with the army once you've retrieved the weapon. And Ketherick, do try not to sulk. You're supposed to be the fearsome general come to conquer the city. And I am the hero who will save it. Do try. <laughs> it is time, faithful ones. March on Boulder's Gate. We go to prepare the way. Oh, this is a critical failure. I like that he's still got 61 HP. He wouldn't even go to that seashell that heals you. What else do we got out here? We got a Mind Flayer. We got a Angel Storm up here. She's alive still, which is good. We got Baby Brains, but I think they're going to become hostile. And then we got some of these things who do the Undead Touch attack that does 21 damage to you every time. Okay. Uh, there's a chance, once again, we can talk to him. You know what I mean? Like, maybe he's down to talk. We had some good rolls last time. Uh, as predicted. What is it, I wonder, that draws one toward death like a moth to light? You could have run away. Absconded with the prism. The one thing that could prevent me from fulfilling my destiny. But the lure of one's destiny is irresistible, isn't it? Perhaps you hope to learn your place in history before you are erased from it. A bright flash of clarity before the snuffing out. Chat says poke his eyes with a cursor. It didn't do anything, unfortunately. And what is my place, Ketherick? Your place is to die so that I might finally live. Let us speak plainly. My Lord Merkel gave me the one thing I desired, the one thing no other god could grant me. My daughter's life returned. It's always this shit. Her heart beating once more. For that, he asked that I serve as his chosen. Join Orin and Gortash to grow the cult of the Absolute, and then take control of it. He's never had a more devoted follower. I have fought great wars before, in the service of other gods and other powers, 
but for Merkel, I would condemn all of Faerun to death. You are all that stands between me and my destiny. And you have brought the prism here. I will kill you now. And then I will raise you as my servant. Here we go. I'm going to allow him to repent, bro. I do wonder if perhaps this goes in an interesting path. He's just going to say, yup, though. He's just going to say, yup. Yup. All right. Let's see if we can allow him to repent. Another fake choice, probably. 18 we can handle, though. Why can't we be friends? There we go. Repent, damn it. Repent? Repent. Would that even be possible? Perhaps. No. There is no repentance. <laughs> what? You're right. Why no, do I even roll? <laughs> my debt can never be repaid. He is here. He is watching. He is listening. He is... Oh, uh, chat says you skip phase one of the boss fight if you get him to repent. Oh, I see. He just took a dip. Here comes Merkel. I wonder if we can make Merkel repent. Imagine your DM saying all this shit. You'd be so stoked. That's so cool. Skvar. That was a swear word. So she said, um, I'm pretty sure you can just throw a phoenix down on him. He dies in one hit, right? Here's my legit question. Do we have any sort of dispel to release the soul cage? You can just interact with it. Okay, so we basically we're going to like uh, fancy feet, send somebody out there to do that as fast as possible. The spell is called Explode Gale. <laughs> um, and then I'm wondering if these things are enough of an, a threat to deal with, right? These bad boys definitely are. Like somebody's gonna have to fight all of them. They're going to. They're. This thing is going to hatch before any of us can fight it. Um, the brains definitely suck. Um, you know what would be good for those brains is this shit. Because I think the swarm does damage. Basically, remember, remember this spell that chat talked me out of? The hunger one? If I could just drop some hunger right here, all these things fucking die. Use AoE on the skeleton group. I have one AoE spell to my name. 
and Gale has it. Mind flares are very dangerous. Okay. Alright. You're not wrong. Let's get you up here. Give it a hex. Double tap it. Whoop, whoop. Dolo. Dolo. Luck of the Far Realms. Good shit, chat. Chat talked to you out of hunger of the Hadar? That hurts. It, they did. Here was the reasoning. They said because we have two melee classes, that hunger of Hadar would just end up hurting them. Um, chat's not wrong about that. Um, but I do think that we would just we would just have to learn to deal with that. You know what I'm saying? Taking position. You missed. You missed. You hit. You missed. None of resources. Next turn. Next turn. Now we could do action surge right now. Let's do it. Rescue this woman. So now we have another party member. I think that was worth doing as soon as possible. Fresh orders. A bold. And now we can use a sick crossbow, bro. Not enough movement. Not enough movement. Shit. Uh. So a little more. Shit. Do you see this distance? If you're my DM and you say, look at the inches. <laughs> I'm mad. I'm mad. Uh, we can do some of our support shit, though. So here's what we do. We do soul branding to our friend Gale. And then maybe we do like. Uh, five temporary hit points each turn. That's so nice. Here you go, Gordius. Not of movement. I'll give it to yourself. Great. Gaze of the dead! Call of the dead! Boom! Chilled! Now you were a face to match your soul, Lothbreaker. These all died? Good miss. Good miss. Whatever this bad boy did, he killed his own little brain babies. The Mind Flayer can mind control enemies. He controlled Dame Aelin in my game several times before I realized I should focus on him first. Sure. He pulled everyone in and damaged them. Damn. Even his own little brain babies. So, it was good and important that we ignored the brain babies first. Um... That's right, Lazel used to be up here, and now has no line of sight on this egg. Uh, it's Gale's turn, bro. Oh, Gale's even. Gale, you're in a weird spot, brother. Gale, do you have a shot on this guy? He's got to go upstairs to get a shot on that guy. No way. How about this shit? Yeah, I'd have to go upstairs first. How you feeling, Gailey boy? How you feeling, Gailey boy? You ready to do this shit? You ready to get up there? Suddenly. Gale is ready to blow up, bro. Yeah, all right. Fair enough. Big damage from Gale. Good. And then shove him? <laughs> Can't shove. Actually, and then jump down. Oh, attack of opportunity. Shit, I'm sorry, Gale. And now jump. 
No longer bone chill. Reach from beyond! Do not react. Take the damage. Alright, alright. Uh, can you get a good shot in from here? Give me a little wisdom hex. Tathings. Got a shot. 50% chance, but I got two shots on this. I'd almost prefer to start attacking these necromites. Oh, shit. Dullo! Good shots, Gordius. Um, yeah, you can hack the eggs. Good. Good. Ready for battle. Ready for battle. Uh, unfortunately, I'm gonna ask you to fucking heal, Dale. I'm so sorry. I know you. I know you can do better, Minthara. Your flesh shall mend. I know. I know what you're capable of. Invalid target. All right. Case of the dead. Shit. Twenty-seven damage. Oh, fuck. Hey, she hit! And for quite a bit of damage, Aelin. Oh, that's good shit. I don't know what she did after that, though. She took, like, a bunch of attacks she did not need to take. Alright, so Gale is looking good. Gale, I'm gonna have you come back up here. Let's light them up. Give him a big fire. I mean, Gale could like fucking kill this guy right now. You wouldn't have to worry about it. Sure. You and your egg. Can't for some reason. I mean, you just can't see that high. Path is interrupted. Got it. So, unfortunately, Gale is just gonna do his cantrip fire. The eggs have hatched. Okay. How you feeling, good old Gordius? He can't move. He's frightened. Okay. Uh, he could certainly drink a potion. He could certainly. Okay. And he could certainly. Twenty-five percent chance of hitting that shot. Take it. Dolo. Dolo. Hey, nice. I am fury. I am death. All right, can you get up here? She would need to dash to get up. There. Oh, she can get up her up here. Okay, cool. Make it bleed. Make the skeleton bleed. Yeah. Oh, immune to bleeding. Okay. High defense. And then another. Yeah. Oh, critical miss. We rolled a one. You want to heal up a little bit? She's... What happened? Did she heal for zero? What happened? That was crazy. Let me strike. She can jump. Uh, when she like last time I did a Gale thing. Bone chilled means you can't heal. Got it. Got it. Got it. Um, last time I ju jumped away at the end of hitting somebody, he got an attack of opportunity on me. It was not worth it. Um, but I think now you're saying she could jump before I realized there was a ladder here. Um, okay. Minthara, I kind of want you up there. Let's do uh, let's do some damage, Minthara. I seek an advantage. I seek an advantage. Bone chilled, can't be healed. Yeah. Oh, good damage. Yeah. 
Soul branding. Critical miss. We rolled another one. Who did that? Who did that? Ah, shit. Her turn. Let's see what she does. Big miss. Big hit. This thing's fucking dead. Watch this shit. Oop. Bad god. Before it consumes any necromites was the achievement there. Apparently it would have eaten the little robed skellies. Impossible. Death cannot take me. I am its master. <laughs> My lord, hear me. Oh, it would have healed itself if it did that. Got it. Chat, I like playing on easy, bro. That's nice. <laughs> I am forsaken. That was nice. You... You have no idea what you've done. Uh, Isabel. Oh, shit. <laughs> I think it's too late to recruit him, chat. Why is she talking Don't to Gale? <laughs> and we fly this foul place. You must be the leader of this team. <laughs> Fitting end to the chosen of Merkel. Ketherick's Netherstone. It's in his armor. Take it. Uh before even any of that, Netherstone nabbing. I'm going to level up. Your hat is the biggest. <laughs> he did get the last hit. Fair enough. Gail got the kill. Uh, gained a passive. We love gaining passives. These are sweet. When a, you hit a creature with Eldritch Blast, you can push the creature up to 4.5 meters away from you. Now, we, we're so dependent upon Eldritch Blast. Anything that modifies that is really nice. Beast Spruce. Still couldn't talk to rats. That's kind of cool. Without expending a spell slot is always nice. Polymorph. Book of ancient secrets. You can inscribe magical rituals into your book of shadows. Chromatic orb. Uh, honestly, I'm going to go for this shit. Mage armor is only one AC above light armor. Got it. So it's not even worth it. And chat actually likes this too. Okay. All right, we got a new spell. Ooh, level four spells now. Temporarily banish your target to another plane of existence for two turns. That's kind of nice. Blight. Um, it could go up to 64, dude. Eight D8s. That's nice, dude. Dimensional door. Teleport yourself and up to one adjacent ally to a place you can see. The ally cannot be larger than the medium. Than medium. Yeah, right. Dominate beast. Nah. 
Evans black tentacles. Excuse me, tentacles sprout from the ground, turning the area into difficult terrain. Attacking and smothering creatures within. Now, that's extremely close to the hunger spell. I think we like that shit. Yeah, I think that it's like Hunger of Hadar. Dude, Hunger of Hadar is fucking nasty, dude. Has Gale leveled up? Yes, Gale's leveled up too. Yeah, I think we're doing it. I really regretted not having Hunger of Hadar. Let's get that shit. What is crazy is we could get a level 4 spell, but we're getting a level 3 instead. Alright. Replace spells? Uh, out? Gaseous form we barely ever use. We barely ever use Tasha's hideous laughter. Damn. I gotta use this shit. Never getting rid of Hex. Gaseous form sucks. Okay. And then in. Oh, and then I can. Okay, okay. Let's get these fucking tentacles in. Cool. Great. Now we can be truly nasty. Subclass features, what'd you learn? Remarkable athlete, proficiency to any strength, dexterity, and constitution check. Very nice, Lizelle. Staying in shape. Remarkable athlete, jump. Your jump distance is increased by three meters. She's been working out, dude. That feels nice. This fucking Gale. Got a level four spell slot. Let's learn him. Uh, Gale's got pretty much the same shit. Conjure Minor Elemental sounds fun. Confusion's cool. Causing them to attack at random. Wander around aimlessly and occasionally skip turns in their stupor. Firewall for sure. Wall of fire. Five to 40 damage. Anyone who dares stand too close. Yeah, I like that shit, Chad. I like anything that we can, like, manipulate the floor. Ice Storm we've, it was used against us. I've seen how that can be nasty, too. Uh, we can learn both. Ice and fire. Like Chad's favorite, uh, my hero character. So give me this and this. I will get rid of... Ah, uh, shit. I'm never getting rid of Grease. Sleep's so nice. Charm person we don't need. Deactivate. There we go. And then... What is that? Dark Vision? I didn't realize I had that, dude. Witch Bolt we never use. And then you can put this one in there. Animate dead. Very cool. Haste. I kind of like having, um, see invisibility in my back pocket at all times, you know? I've seen mirror image be very good. Old person, everyone says, is really good. No, Kyle, we like the belly button laser guy. Okay, my bad. Wall of Fire won't hurt team members because of Gale's Wizard School. How about the, um, Ice? Haste on Lazelle would rock? Haste is good in any video game, right? Gain an action. Oh my god, yeah. Having an extra action is so sick. And then you're right, for Lazelle or, honestly, um, uh, Minthara, that means two, two more attacks. Shit. All right, so we're never going to do this defensive shit. This is a team of dragon smackers. And we are going to get rid of counter spells way too clutch, bro. I guess dark vision, dude. Sure. Because I want to animate the dead so bad. All right. 
So be it. All right, good work, team. Let's steal this little charm out of his pocket. Why is Gale doing this? <laughs> the body is cooling. It's because he was the last the character selected. Damn it. From the stone. Oh, fuck. What happened there? All's well that ends. No, 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 no. Not as bad as it could have. I feel like something it's bad happened here. there. Gale's getting his moment. <laughs> uh, how about this Warhammer? Nice. It's a cooler shield than the one that Minthar currently has. Get that shield. I definitely want to see the crumpled note. Supply pack? We love them. Equip. There you go. That's it. Click back on Gale. He's in a conversation right now. Shit. And now the picture comes <laughs> together. The Fuck. absolute is neither God nor man. It is the elder brain you saw, <laughs> held here by those three. Meanwhile, <laughs> the crown it wears controls it, and these stones control the crown. Fuck, we really are stuck. Gail's the only one who can have that conversation right now. To master an elder brain, <laughs> subdue it. Our enemies are formidable. Okay. A temporary reprieve, but a welcome one. With a brain on its way to the city, its influence here is weakened. No, we have not saved yet. Hey, what do you know about that crown the brain was wearing? The crown's markings suggest it was forged in Netheril, an ancient empire whose mastery over magic rivaled that of the gods. She was watching the whole thing. It is a crown of domination. The stones were taken from its crest. They are nether stones. Imbued with the ability to control the wearer of the crown. The crown's netherese magic must be the true source of the parasite's abilities. This must be what elevates their potential. And it must be the reason nobody could heal you. If the crown can do this to the parasite, I dare not imagine what it is doing to the brain. Do you know who our enemies are? One of them I know. Lord Enver Gortash, an arms dealer and a slaver, a worshipper of Bane, the god of tyranny. The other is a mystery to me, but the way she spoke, it is most likely she follows Baal, god of murder. Ketherick was a follower of Merkel, which means the absolute is a front for the gods of death, and our enemies are the chosen of the dead three. So, what do we do now? The army of the Absolute is marching on Baldur's Gate. Within the city, an elder brain, brimming with power, ready to turn everyone within its reach into mind flayers. All it needs is an order, an order the Death Gods chosen are on the cusp of giving. We must wrest control of the brain from the chosen before that happens. We must take their stones. Our chances of success. Two more boss slim, fights is what she's we saying. We must not fail. If we fail, everything ends. I will be your shield, but you must be the sword. And when the chance comes to strike, you must take it, for there may only be one chance. Um, chat. I know you all love where the MCU is right now. But like, sorry, just talking about swords and shields reminded me of like how much I hate how fucking dumb Nick Fury is these days. He's just stupid. They've just turned him into a stupid guy. <laughs> Everything that was cool about that character is no longer cool. Ooh, uh, all right, who wears the armor? Minthara or, or Lazel? 
I think Lazel gets first dibs on that shit. She's just been on the team longer. It fits her well. Switch to Guardius. Let's get going. I couldn't during that conversation, unfortunately. Oh, we really did just like take the armor off his body. Look at this naked man. Like, I love the idea of this character who is, is always thinking ahead, always scheming, will do absolutely what is best to protect the planet. Planet first, bro. Eager for battle. Lazelle's gonna be able to make that jump. Watch this shit. Easy jump for Lizelle. Whoop! <laughs> yeah, get those spars. Get those spars. Polished ring. Chat loves those. Um, Minthara made the jump too. <laughs> Minthara's like, I can do that as well. <laughs> Okay, fine. All right, you two. Throw the body in the hole. Throw the body in the hole. All right. All right, let's try that. Pick up. Securing. Heavily encumbered. Uh, throw. Where is he? I don't think you can throw a body in the hole. Might be too heavy to throw, okay? So let's go here. Let's go to her inventory. I've never picked up a dead body this whole playthrough. He's gone. Like, what did, What happened to him? <laughs> He's not here, chat. I don't know. Do you see him in my inventory? You, you gotta, you gotta insight into that. Search. What's his name? Ketherick. We got a shield and Warhammer and Netherstone, but we do not have the man. <laughs> and she's not encumbered anymore. That's right. When she picked him up, it said Lizelle is encumbered. Shit. And she is no longer encumbered. That man is gone. Uh, I do want to see what this Netherstone is. Oh, it's one of the three controllers of the Crown of Karsis. If you toss that in the hole? Oh, there he is. Nope. Pick him up. Okay. And then... Throw... Oh, there he is. Too heavy to throw. Okay. Pick him up. Get over here. Oh, there he is again. Shit. <laughs> Just hold and drag him to the hole. What are you talking about? Drag him to the hole. <laughs> I can't drag him to the hole, chat. Our enemies still draw breath. Here we go. Click and hold. What are you talking about? Click and hold. Shit. Hold left click and hold the body. 
You can't do that. You can't, you can't pick up, that's not a function of this game. All right, I'm afraid we gotta let the body stay behind. Just, just click and drag? Okay, I'm not, chat? You used the wrong word. Okay, your character needs 20 strength to throw medium humanoids. Lazel and Minthara are unfortunately... 18. They're not strong enough to throw that body in the hole. My apologies, chat. The grand design! <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Which some people think is even harder to find. The grand design is the Mind Flayer's species-wide ambition to return to the days of their conquering greatness through an act of sudden mass ceremorphosis, giving the Elder Brain an overall command of implacable, implacable army of illithid slave warriors with which to defeat all their old enemies, human and humanoid, give Yankee and the Eulithardid. Of course, this is delusional madness, megalomania on a cosmic scale, and I know just how to turn it to our purposes. We're going to help the Mind Flayers enact the grand design, but only in the way that suits us. The Lithids shall have their crusade to enslave, but they will be acting in this turn as our slaves, and we shall determine the how, when, and where of their great illicit outbreak. To be precise, I, Gortash, will determine these things as commanding the grand design is clearly a by night task. Okay. Bro, what are they gonna do if I got that book? What are you gonna do if I have that book? Is scrolled in the response to this text. This hastily written dribble is admittedly well intentioned. Its author is clearly busy with fear of the absolute. The problem is that they conflate the rise of the cult with other things like the heat death of the universe, the resurrection of the one eyed Fekna the Lich, the proliferation of the necromantic excess, and even the withering of some imported fruits from the tomb. This person needs a glass of water and a lie down. Eat death of the universe, bro. They understand more about space than you give them credit for. Do I have gear that could boost my strength to 20? Chai, you see my gear. You see it. I'm gonna say no. A map of the sword coast. Alright, let's uh let's let's teleport out of here. We don't need any severed heads. Amulet of the absolute though, dude. Invitation to Lord Gartash. The Committee of Concerned Patriarchs would like to extend an invitation to a formal meeting at the High Hall to discuss plans, short and long term, for the economic livelihood of Baldur's Gate. Tuesday the 12th, noon, a luncheon will be served. May we presume your attendance? Lord Heer Ryland, Committee Chair. Add to wares makes things easier to sell to a merchant. You can click sell all wares in the merchant menu. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Good to know. We did do add to wares for those two objects. So I'll just get in the habit of doing that more often. Uh-oh. Somebody wants to say something. We should not linger here. <laughs> the cult's army is on the march. <laughs> you took you fucking took the seat, Minthara. <laughs> She's actually not in our party right now. What's up for discussion? I will never tire 
of sitting on dead men's thrones. Hell yeah. It suits you, my queen. Though I think chat's gonna want we make a good team. I guess it suits you, though. Power. Oh, she approved that. Oh, yeah. But I shall not get too comfortable here. We must be free if we are to rule. And to be free, we must destroy this cult. And Catherick's co-conspirators along with it. I know one of them all too well. Baal's blood letter. Orin, to think. I thought her to be speaking for the absolute. I worshipped that woman. Let's take her down. You make it sound so simple. She is the chosen of Baal, lord of murder, and one of the cult's founders. Lord Indeed, of murder. She is the one who indoctrinated me with the absolute lies. Um, Gordius is like, uh, first four hours of Witcher 3 armor. We are going to have to do something about Gordius's armor. He looks like a chump. Obviously, you know, from the shoulders up, not a chump. But, uh, yeah, we gotta, we gotta work on this. Act 3 has a lot of good shit, okay. It's why they were... Yeah, exactly. You look at our party, right? You're like, oh, Gale's got this nice orange outfit and a wizard's hat. He's probably the guy I should talk to. <laughs> okay. No, I'm ready. I'm like, I'm good. Happy with this conversation. Oh, shit. Not the right thing to ask. visited Moonrise... I stood before the Absolute in awe. It was more of an idea than an entity. Pure love. Total power. Oren was by my side. She told me that God had chosen me to be a true soul. Blessed and adored. Now I know that those memories are lies. There was no God. Orin held me down in a cocoon of flesh, while a mind flayer forced a parasite into my brain. And she laughed at my fear. I will find her. I will murder her. And I will smile. Minthar is such a freak, bro. We will be heroes. Um, we though? Come on, Gordius. I kind of like two. Brad Grenz likes me a four monther. Bezos bucks. Bezos out, man. Bezos is in the spending phase of his life. Two is for dorks? Okay. I I kind of like the delusion of two, but you're right. We're n neither of these characters aspire to be heroes. Then why are we not considering three? Is vengeance the limit of your ambitions? I feel like three is egging her on a little bit. But it does sound critical. Oh, Mimi, playing this game on easy today has been a treat. I mean, hey, why do why don't I asking chat when I could just ask chat? It's such a cool feature, bro. 
I would really like some more games coming out this year to uh, be so well ingrained with Twitch. This shit's so cool. All right, we're doing three. I'm curious how she'll respond. I think it, I think it's an interesting thing. Two almost has it. No, there are not a lot of <laughs> there are not a lot of twos in chat today. <laughs> It's Brandon Jones just tossing in his vote. All right. There is no limit to my ambition. There we go. Yeah, yeah, that's what we wanted to hear. I will enjoy killing Orin, but unlike her, I do not kill for pleasure alone. I kill to gain advantage, and we have the chance to seize the greatest advantage of all. Surely you see it in killing Catherine. We fractured the cult's leadership. When we break the other Chosen and claim their Netherstones, we can take control. Yes! She wants the fucking crown! Yes! Yes! <laughs> I would have thought this entire conspiracy of gods and monsters to be impossible if I had not seen it for myself. Yes, Minthara. We may fail. But we must try. She, we have the to try. Of the enslaved elder brain could reshape the world. We could reshape the world. Yeah, easy. It's going to be glorious. Patience. If we do not prepare, Baldur's Gate will be our tomb. But if we are wise, it will be our dominion. <laughs> He's such a freak, dude. First, I love it. We take the nether stones, then the brain, then the world. And then we will need no gods. We will be their equal. We will be absolute. We have a purpose and a bond. By my oath, I will fight with you while that purpose holds. There is yet one thing about you that troubles me, though. Something I need you to explain. Oh, shit. When we killed the tieflings at the Grove, uh -huh. I was not in control of my actions. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. You She's calling us out. Excuse <laughs> so I ask you, why? Shit. <laughs> why kill? Shit, 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 shit. <laughs> Shit, 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 shit. I don't know. These are really inter these are all interesting options. Doesn't matter they were nobody. To impress you, I was hoping to earn your trust so that I could learn more about the tadpoles. I ask myself the same question and I don't have an answer. To watch them suffer, I'd need no other reason than that. Chat two is funny. Two is funny, but I'm scared she's not going to like that at all. She's going to call us the word that's banned on Twitch. Okay. Save? No, no, no. You don't you don't save for simple options like this. That makes the game less fun, I think. I think that makes it less fun. All right. We're doing two. Shit. And honestly, I would have picked five, chat. I was going to try to be a bigger freak than she is. But Chad has spoken. Yep. <laughs> I'm flattered. Gail Will you be bringing dead Fuck rats off, and birds to my tent now that we share a camp? I jest, but it is as good a reason as any. I have done much more foolish things to win the respect of far inferior people. I am satisfied now. I am ready to leave this damned place whenever you give the word. The city awaits. Yeah, she called us a stupid little pet. Whoa, look at that XP though, damn. 
She does not consider us an equal at all, chat. Uh, all right, so we should take a quick break. We'll cover this thing, because Gail's going to be like, bro, you told me not to blow up back there. Let's talk about that. I think that's what this is about. And then definitely I do want to talk to our evil uh, angel. We'll definitely save. <laughs> yeah, I would have, uh, I would have chat. I really would have liked to have, uh, I think I, I think we should have been an absolute murder freak. Though I, I got a feeling like she also, she's, she, you know what I mean? Like she's about power, but not just about like reckless murder. And I think that's what she was scared of. She's like, are you just like some sort of murderous freak? That's not you, right? Like you, you got schemes and plans like me. So honestly, I do think three was the best answer. That was just like, no, I was just trying to use you to do this, to do that. I think that's the answer she would have liked the most. Make haste. He's a Sith, not a psycho. Yeah, so we should have gone with the manipulation path. Anyway, uh, quick break chat. When we get back, um, I, I got a feeling we're going to main path our way to act three who's sleeping Lazelle, are you sleeping right now can't see your eyes no way no one i got a feeling we're about to like at least go in the direction of act three there's not going to be too much that i want to do here in act two now that you know the main event is over Heavy armor? I think we can get better armor in Act 3 is the thing. You know what I mean? Chat's saying, like, there's some good shit in the towns and stuff. Oh, yeah, look at this. This right here. Suspicious sounds. This is the crazy large tentacle. Quest to the left is... Get out of here. Head west on the road to Baldur's Gate. That means get out. Yeah, if there's anything really worth visiting, maybe. Maybe we check it out. If there's some, like, life we can ruin. There's, like, some NPC who's like, help me find my daughter! And we can just, like, lead him to, like, a pig hound. Maybe that. But yeah, otherwise, no, we're good. All right. Uh, quick break, chat. See you on the other side. Boys like you every dinner, I don't believe what you preach. You're just a rookie beginner, hang out with boys on the street. Like that will make you a winner, I don't believe what I see. Are you wearing gold? You're nothing more than silverware. Thinking you're so bold, but are you always unaware? Walk up, brother.
We're back, baby. Who would win at Mahjong? Gail's the only one who would play. None of those other characters are playing Mahjong. Um, chat. I gotta make something. I gotta make something really clear. <laughs> Cause I feel I feel really really bad. So the artist who sent in. Uh, this piece. Sent me an apology email. <laughs> it was just like, I'm so sorry. I like, I wasn't even thinking. I just said, oh, I just, I just hit export. I sent it in and I feel, I feel really bad. I was mocking this because of a long running bit where, well, it's half a bit that I have no respect for Monkey Island. <laughs> you were doing a bit, but still being rude. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, 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 yeah. So to be clear, I recognize this as content from Monkey Island, a series I have no respect for. So to be clear, that was all, that was all in jest. 100% you can take Monkey Island clips and replace one word in them and submit that to the art show. That is 100% allowed. <laughs> allowed and encouraged, even. You have to email them back now. All right, chat. You know I'm not an emailer. You already know I'm not an emailer. Kyle loves Monkey Island almost as much as Princess Bride. Okay, now chat, that's your bit. That's not even like I do genuinely dislike both of those things. Apologize. All right, I do apologize. Here's the thing. Anyone creating art for the art show, even if they send it in very late, it's still like a fun thing that you're doing for the entertainment and everybody watching these streams. So thank you for that. And I apologize for shitting on it immediately. I was listening audio only. It sounded genuine at first. <laughs> Shit. All right. You're going to have to start every stream with an apology section. P9's still waiting. <laughs> I'm going to get Rise of the Ronin. I actually, when I was uh, looking at the schedule, uh, removed it. It was, it was actually on the docket, and I took it off this weekend because I think there's just not going to be time. Um, basically, because it's coming out the same week as Princess Peach's Showdown, it's like I got it. I'm probably like the thing is like I would prefer to do multiple days of Princess Peach to actually like really get into that game than one day of Princess Peach, one day of a huge open world game, and another day of a huge open world game, you know? Dragon's Dogma, same same day. Yep. So yeah. That's currently what the plan is. We'll see. We'll see, chat. If if Ronin like reviews really well, our hand will be forced. 
We'll be forced to do it. What game? What's like a recent release? There was like a surprise 88, excuse me, on Open Critic recently. That I was like, damn. Oh, Overlord. Unicorn Overlord's that's sitting at an 88 right now. It's like, whoa. That game is reviewing very well. What should I use my two vouchers on? Thousand Year Door Remake and Luigi's Mansion 2 HD or Thousand Year Door Remake and Princess Peach? Uh, I kind of like the idea of having Princess Peach in there as one new game, right? Otherwise, you're, you're spending both your vouchers on remasters. Will I take a break from RPGs when I finish this and Rebirth? Probably not. I mean, stream-wise, yeah. We'll put in a different Monday game in between for variety. But, uh... I did not take a break between Infinite Wealth and FF7. I'm I'm just an RPG guy, I guess. Um, Chad, I realized one other thing we did not talk about is the big multiverses announcement happened today. The thing they've been teasing, it happened today. And the announcement is that the game's coming out May 28th. <laughs> I was shocked. I was so shocked. I was so prepared for them to say like, and it's out this Friday. Uh, honestly, if we get no other game news this week, I'm going to spend like a whole delayed input trashing that fucking game. I'm so upset with their marketing team. You're one of the 12 people excited for that to return. I played, I played, I played multiverses a lot. I put a ton of hours into that. I had a high-level Wonder Woman. Um, I think what they, like, the way that they revoked their game from the world, step one, was absolute shit. And then the way that they're coming back and acting like everything's cool is absolute shit. <laughs> I can't believe their messaging. I really can't believe it. It's, a, it's like unprecedented on this scale of like a mistreatment of a community. Is Multiverses better than Suicide Squad? I think it's actually a fun game. I, I think a smash as a service can work. Uh... And they got really close to doing it. But man, I don't know. That's the thing, is they did change the engine. That was one of the announcements that actually happened today, is that, um... S Sass Bros. <laughs> Smash is a service, brothers. It's called Sass Bros. Um, Unreal Engine 5. So, like, the game did have some fucking ultra wonky hitboxes before. And apparently that was an engine issue. They're like, sorry, we can't fix our bad hitboxes. We got to we got to spend a year working on that shit. Uh, net code as well. Yeah. So that it won't be as laggy fighting. Uh, there will be new characters and there will be new maps. But like they did not announce any new characters. Should I play intermission before rebirth? Depends on how close Rebirth is to you. If you can start Rebirth this week, I would say just do it. Uh, but here, chat, I'm genuinely concerned about like burnout. You know what I mean? If you're doing intermission today and then you're going to start Rebirth in, like next week, like, I, I, like I, I get concerned you'll have too much of that thing, you know? Did I see the new Digivice thing? I didn't see the video of that or the new TCG stuff, unfortunately. Intermission is only four hours? Yeah, right, chat. The box challenge is four hours. <laughs> Intermissions, intermission has co two cool uh, uh, mini games. Yes or no, they add Lola Bunny to multiverses in the first year. No. No, they, they still haven't actually brought Daffy Duck into the game. Like, they're gonna be like, Daffy Duck is... I, I fucking... You know what? I think I love that game and hate that game. 
Because, like, multiverses is, right? It is Looney Tunes. It is DC Comics characters. It is Cartoon Network characters. That's enough of a game. You got it. Hanna-Barbera as well. You got Scooby-Doo in there. But then also, like, it's, like, Game of Thrones characters. Also, we got Rick in here. So it's, like, is this goofy kid shit or not? And it's, like, no, it's not. I'm, like, okay, all right. Do those are those characters in the Happy Meals? No. Too adult for the Happy Meals. <laughs> fine, fine, fine. Like, why include them then? Why pretend you're a Happy Meal game? You're not a Happy Meal game. You can't have it both. And I'm so, I'm so upset about those Happy Meal toys. But like, you know what I mean? I can't make a delayed input where I'm complaining about Happy Meal toys. That's just degenerate behavior. I'm too I'm above that. I can't help but feel. Like I've been fumbling in the dark for too long, and I've just had a lit torch thrust into my hands. Give him a chance? What do you think give him a chance means? Typically, if something is in italics like this, it means, um... See what happens. Let, let this play out. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? The crown! The one the Elder Brain was wearing. The one I very nearly destroyed. Netherese magic. So pure, so complete. I didn't even recognize it at first. Most Netherese artifacts contain only the faintest amount of their former power. The ghost of an echo of a memory. That crown was different. I can't fathom how such a wonder survived. Surely everything of its ilk was destroyed along with Netheril itself, but no matter, it exists. I must learn more of it. Yeah, Gail's talking a little evil right now. He's got Minthara interested. Look at that. She's like, what the fuck? Are you, what are you talking about, bro? <laughs> Look at her expression. <laughs> God, that's funny. Uh, yes, I will equip the proper armor, the breastplate. Remind me after this conversation. Gale is stashing better armor for Gordius and not telling Gordius about it. I'm not so sure you're owed any favors just now. Oh, I love being mean to Gale. Likely not. If I've done damage to your opinion of me, then I'm truly sorry. Thank you. If this crown That's big of I you, Gail. It is, then your faith will soon be restored, and then some. It's clear crown and brain are intrinsically connected. Given the pressing urgency of us smiting the latter, understanding the former could make all the difference. We need to learn more about what we saw. An artifact as powerful as that crown must have been documented somewhere. As luck would have it, we'll soon find ourselves near one of the finest book collections this side of Candlekeep, Sorcerer's Sundries. I need to go there and learn all I can. I love this shit. I love this shit. This is this is what I want to believe in, like a fantasy RPG. You know what I mean? Uh, in an upcoming town, you're gonna find a cool bookstore, and in there is like maybe a book that might tell you about this. Like, love that shit. I love that shit. <laughs> No, Gale. <laughs> Fucking no, Gale. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, honestly, sounds like an excellent the idea. The only kind I have, their collection of rare tomes is un- <laughs> Nether -y sex are hardly common. These are really good voice actors, by the way. Certain they'll have one or two stashed away. You'll have to forgive my eagerness, but if my suspicions prove to hold water, this could be the answer to all our problems. I like truly believed in his enthusiasm there, you know? I would have words with you. Dame Aylin. Talk to me. Aylin. Sister. Isabel. Isabel lives? I thought she died. Oh, fuck. She actually came back to life. My love. You were dead. Oh, that's I not a sister, bro. Body. 
I'm here. And... and so are you. And my father, he... He can't hurt us any longer. I dreamt every night that you'd come back to me. But somehow it was all a nightmare Dawn would undo. I had no dreams at all. Nothing but darkness. And when I woke, my father said you were dead. His soul was poisoned by the god of death. His sick devotion ruined him. But for all his sins, he brought you back to me. Are you all right? Yeah, it means he won. This is this is all he wanted. I will be. And you? In this moment, I want for nothing. Now, there's a big patch to enhance the kissing lips. And I have to say, I wasn't inc incredibly impressed there. It's you, isn't it? You're the talk of this place, you know? I'm Isabel. And this is... Oh, but we have met. This is the soldier that freed me most valiantly from the Shadowfell. They watched my boot crush the very brain of villainy and fought well against your changed father. May change he it. rest in peace at last, now that he's dead. I have more to thank you for than I knew. And we have much to discuss. Perhaps we could join you in your camp later? Well, sure. You'd be most welcome. <laughs> um, it's a little cr There's actually nobody in this world who clicked three. <laughs> yeah, so what I say when, he's, when I say he won, right? That man said, I will do anything. I'll, I'll kill everyone in this planet to bring my daughter back to life. That's the deal I made with this god. That's who I am. And his daughter is here back to life. He won. He got everything he wanted. The game says it was worth it. Kind of was. He didn't give a shit about his own life. Have we been voting on choices? Surprisingly a lot tonight, yeah. Oh! Fuck. Alright, chat. Here's a choice you can't vote on. Am I about to buy this shit? 95 for the basic version. And then toss in an extra 25 if you want it to be see-through plastic. Look at what the DX includes. Okay. Oh my god, it is so nice looking, bro. Oh, they even connect to the classics? That's awesome. That's really cool. Deluxe item. Movie. Both playing and main body. Ultimately evolved. Four color LED. Bro, what do you mean four colors? I see many more right here. What are they talking about four color LED? Is this like a Tamagotchi? It's like a premier premium Tamagotchi. Comes with Digimon card game with new artwork commemorating the 25th anniversary of Digimon Adventure. So this is why chat's buying it. Got it. You're buying it for this shit. That's all you want. Oh, the four LED colors are cyan, magenta, yellow, and... What what the fuck is K? <laughs> what chat, what is K? <laughs> K is black. Okay, cool. I learned something today. And black. Got it. So with those four colors, you can make any color you can imagine. Got it. Here's the thing, chat, I don't wanna like I don't wanna fucking do this. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't actually, like, want to feed a Digimon. But it is so cool. Oh, you get to pick. 
Obviously, I would pick Palmon. This is my favorite of the first eight. Close second is, um... I forget the red thing's name. Evolves into Kabuteri, but Tentomon. Tentomon close second. Absolute last place is this one. <laughs> uh, second to last is poor Gomamon. Even though, actually, Gomamon's got some sick evolutions. So probably Bird Beomon. You gotta go. Then Agumon, because it's too basic. Then Gatomon. Then, uh, Gomamon. No, that's Gomamon. Garurumon is what it evolves into. Gabumon is its actual first name. Yep. Then Tentomon. Then Palmon. This looks so cool, dude. Man, I love the, like, the early depictions of the digital world, man. It's kind of like fun imagery, you know what I mean? Super evolution points. BGM and voices make the adventure more realistic. Butterfly TV size played just during the adventure. By button input, you can also hear the newly recorded voice of Partner Digimon. Witness that moving ending scene with your own eyes. <laughs> Make full use of evolution to win battles. Three battle actions for a one-on-one -on -one battle, sure. Key to Digivolution is bond level. Bro, so sick. So sick. Gripping Digivolution rendering. Whoa. Okay, so I do get the impression, though, there are not trees of evolution. It seems like you have to stick with canon. Or, I mean, look, during a certain rendering, abnormal state happening may be played, which is probably where you become Skull Greymon. And then chats talk about the LEDs. These are the color LEDs. Got it. <laughs> so they're saying like the actual outside of the shell lights up. Four as in the amount. Yeah, that's crazy, dude. With buddies! With partner Digimon! Deep in the bond! <laughs> They're f chat. They're really fucking selling me with this shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? The cost of one hundred twenty dollars becomes less and less with each exclamation point. You can always interact with partner Digimon on the camping screen. Various buddies you encounter during the adventure. That's very sweet. Encountered buddies will appear to help you. Great. Yeah, I mean, it just looks like a nice fucking product, bro. Voice recorded characters. Recorded music. Expanding play. Oh! I think, actually, chat, I think you showed me this one before. It's like, it is the original shell of the original Digivice, but the screen is actually super nice there, too. Yeah, you did show that to me before. Art memorial book. Does this come with the, the $120 package? I would love this art book. I think that's a separate product, bro. Okay. Oh, chat says it comes with it. Oh, shit. That is so nice. All right. Let's see if I can go seven days without buying this thing. <laughs> There's no fucking way, right? Do I have the willpower? Will this sell out? So it's in pre-order mode. I, they typically don't sell out of pre-orders, but um, I bought some Gundams from Premium Bandai before, and they do sell out. How many layers of dust will be on that within a month? I mean, with my dandruff? You wouldn't be able to see the screen anymore. Yeah, that thing looks nice, dude. Shit. OK, 
okay. Yeah, actually, I'm sorry. When does that ship? When does the pre-order end? Pre-orders are not even open. Oh, they open today. They open today at 3 a.m. and they close April 3rd. So you got some time to get your pre-order in. I would go blue. Orange orange is way too Agumani. And honestly, chat, honestly, I would maybe consider doing the version that is not $120. And then it no it it the pre -order, the pre order is closed in April, and then it doesn't deliver until September of this year. Honestly, I do think after April you'll have a hard time getting a hold of one of those. All right, we got some people in chat going with the original. I like that. Um, the art book is really nice though. I would pay $25 for that art book. You just let me buy that instead. Happy Monday, Colin Chat. Love to get home from work and stretch out with some BG3. It's been a good day of BG3 today, too. It's been, it's been a stark difference from last week, and the only difference was switching to easy mode. You could fight back against Dan and his Pokemon bracelet. Yeah. Have I seen Dune Part 2? Hell yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love Dune 2. As somebody who did not have any positive feelings really about Dune 1. Dune 2, I was having a great time. I was having a blast. Breezy three hours. I dig it. I dig that whole world. I, uh... I'm kind of into, like, the whole sci-fi fantasy thing they set up. Seriously, seriously, yeah. No positive feelings about Dune 1? No. Like, what, chat, what, hap what happens in Dune 1? What even happens in that movie? And then Dune 2 is constant happenings, which I really like. We got a better art book on other sites pretty cheap. Alright, let's look at the other. I don't, there's not enough details about this art book for me to take the plunge. Schedule to ship early March. I got, I got a Gundam coming this week, actually, from Premium Bandai. Stoked about it. New Gundam to put together? Hell yeah. Taco. This book is entirely written in a language I can't read. <laughs> The pictures are nice, though. The pictures are nice. Skill issue. I mean, chat, truly. Truly. What kind of did I get? I'll show you. I'll put it together. I'll put it together. I'll show you. Here's what I'll say. Like. Oh, shit. Well, it'll look nice on my shelf. It'll look nice on my shelf. This guy looks nice on my shelf. This guy looks great. He kind of disappears. You know what I mean? You, you kind of see him, but you kind of don't see him. He doesn't pop like the Hakushiki pops. Okay. Um, hey, I hardly know you. <laughs> so chat was telling me that Isabel is like... You, you get a lot of Isabel lore if you actually pay attention to... The other parts of the map leading up to the twin towers that's a very good question i know some parts some i haven't quite figured out but i'd like to tell you everything i know if you'll have us at your camp later
Okie dokie. Sorry, I had to blow my nose a lot today. Just producing, dude. Um. Alright, here's the thing. I don't understand why she wants to say, like, let's talk at your camp. But I will humor her today. We look forward to it. Today I'll humor you. Now you will leave us. We must take succor in one another's bodies and words. Aelin! We'll see you later. The coolest part about Dune 1 for me was when they found a Harko or a Harakonin. Harakonanon. Harokanon. Harokanon. That hid in the walls for two months just to take one shot to assassinate Paul. I think about that a lot. That's funny. Um, so chat says the reason that they didn't want to talk now is that they have some catching up to do. You Intimate catching up. This flaming fist is like, talk to me. I'm not going to talk to you, flaming fist. I have no idea who you are. This guy will talk to you. My mom lives in the lower city. If those freaks hurt. Talk to skeleton guy? I'll oh, I really, I thought he's always just like begging me to add more party members from the netherverse. What is it, Withers? The shadows yet fester. The dead three united under cover of darkness. The balance shifts. There are depths to this alliance yet unplumbed. Consider, mortal. Do illithids possess souls? I don't give a shit. Forget that. What are you doing here, Withers? Where matters of balance are concerned, I am eternally called. I shall ask yet again. Do illithids possess souls? And I'll tell you again, I don't give a shit. Thou shalt think about it now, and I shall give the answer. Yet, the three amass an illithid army void of apostolic souls that could imbue them with power. A flock without souls, yet to what end, mortal? This is the question thou must come to answer. Until such time, be availed of my services. Thank you, buddy. Yes, Bane, Lord of Darkness, Baal, Lord of Murder, Merkel, Lord of Bones. Once judged, ascended, then vanquished as one and as three. The Alliance is reforged, mortal. The planes thus quake. And the gods shudder. Okay. Bye bye. Um, what are you doing there, Gordy? Oh, just getting into his pose. So I think we should probably take a rest. Time to press ahead. Is there an inn where I could take a free rest? You know what I'm saying, chat? Bloodless pig. Maybe I need more pockets. <clears throat> There's a goth murder man and a drinking game. Nah, I'm. I feel compelled to move forward. Living flesh, or some residue of it. Perhaps something nests in the rafters above. And then that's where the tentacle comes from. Yeah, no doubt. Open up. No way. Okay. Let's uh 
let's just do a little rest for ourselves here. Oh, actually, we're pretty rested up, aren't we? No, clearly not. Oh, right. I, I love that this fucking giant beholder. I mean, like, it's still there. What are you going to do with it? We leave the heart of the Absolute alive. Thanks to you. You did well to defeat Catherick. But Catherick was only the first to fall. There are many more battles ahead, and they will not be so easily won. You will need allies. Yeah, Jahiro was an absolute chump. Like a low-level chump who like had no actual battle strategy. She had one really good spell. But instead of using that spell, she turned into a panther and just, like, tanked a bunch of hits for no dumb reason. I already have allies. You have the makings of a leader. Your actions have already inspired those around you. But if we are to succeed, we will need others. She's weirdly underpowered in that fight. I was so mad about it. Yeah. They were fucking hyping her up. She's like, I'm ready to go in there. And so, like, we let her, right? We, like, let her go in, enjoy yourself. And she, like, died in two turns. You have to control her to keep her alive. Yeah, I think that's messed up. She doesn't actually lose HP in that form, though. Right, because we had to fight a, a animal person before. It's basically, like, a uh, substitute in Pokemon. Um, but... She, like, didn't get, like, another turn after her panther form died. <laughs> it's like, they killed panther form. She's upstanding, right? And it's, like, waiting for her turn to come back around. And she, like, died before it came back around. I'm sure she got some attacks. But, uh... Yeah, it was a poor ally. Baldur's Gate may not know it yet, but its fate is bound to ours. Seek on its streets those whose purpose aligns with our own, and invite them to our cause. Together, we will put an end to the Absolute, the Chosen, all. Together, you say. The road to Baldur's Gate is west of the town. If we hurry... Unlocked. We used one of our little bone keys, dude. What's in here? Hello? It's nothing? <laughs> it's nothing. No, there's a box. Check this shit. Sausages, baby. And then Gale, can we talk? Gale's got some good armor. We're looking for something that's better than 15. There it is. Breastplate plus two. Looking good, Gordius. There you go. Very nice. That suits him, dude. Ooh. The brambles on this thing. A tiny cape? Catherick may be gone, but the shadows remain. On our guard. Shadows remain. On guard. So we still take damage without a lamp out, I guess, huh? Oh, perfect, dude. Looks great. I guess I have to light the fire for the angelic lovers to appear, right? Just a short rest would work. Uh, th this is uh, after a boss fight. We want to get our spell slots back, too. Where are the angels? 
Where are they? <laughs> it's kind of funny these campsites have so many spots, right? Presuming you have a much larger party. Oh, there's a, one of these crazy mirrors back here. Crazy. Dude, check it out up here. A whole bed? Oh! Nice! They are down the path from the fireplace. Oh, okay. I was about to use that bed, dude. Oh, there they are. There you are. No, there I you are. I awaited your arrival with great anticipation. Come closer. Can I get no yeah? Cleaning out some boxes while watching the stream and found the first Sega game I ever owned. Green Dog the Beached Surfer Dude. I've never heard of that game before. Oh, yeah. Come closer. What is it? What is it? Nah, you don't- I don't fuck with Dame Aelin. Feel my voice rattle your bones as I proclaim our victory. Moon Maiden Saluna, hear me. Ketherick Thorn, traitor, apostle of Merkel, is dead at last. My mate, Most High. Darling Isabel is safe and well. Safe and well, and return to my embrace. Blessings upon the slayer of the wicked one. Couldn't done it without you. Where's the silver light? The moon magic? I'm actually just gonna be nice, I think. We are a powerful party indeed. Faerun itself trembles at our touch. My darling Isabel says we will stay allied at your side. I am pleased to hear it. All right, appreciate the cover art, but what does this game actually look like? I need a screenshot too. Appreciate this. What does the game look like, chat? What does Green Dog look like? I am free from my bonds, but not my duty. The dead three are risen. The dead two remain. Mm -hmm. You must face them. I will help. Yeah, chat. Gordius doesn't say no to a powerful ally. He never has. I can't believe it. I can't believe Aelin is here. And my father. I heard what happened. What he become. By killing him, you set him free. You set Aelin free. And me. Yeah, this actually looks really good. This is These are impressive visuals. Now, what I fear looking at this screenshot is that it's not a platformer. What I fear is that it's kind of like, um, a Prince of Persia style, like, overly animated, like, you have to like press forward and jump, you know what I mean? What do I mean by press forward and jump? Yeah, of course you gotta press forward and jump. Basically like uh, just like those fucking stilted like controls where it's like, I need, all I need to do is jump, right? And it's just like, bloop. Like there's crazy lag between your input and waiting for the animation to end. 
An odd world like, yeah. It feels like an it looks like an odd world like. It's a platform with sloppy controls, damn. Um, I feel like there's a great deal you haven't told me. Not on purpose. Or not with the intent to deceive. I've been trying to make sense of it all. Catherick Thorn is was my father. He raised me to serve Saluna as my mother rest her soul had wished. He was everything to me all my life. When an emissary of Saruna came to our little town, we were elated. Dame Aelin, daughter of the Moon Maiden herself. Tell me, do you believe in love at first sight? Fuck no. Guilty. The moment I looked at Aelin, I just knew I had to be with her. I was hers. That was it. Lucky for me, she felt the same way. But my father was skeptical. Aelin is immortal, after all. I understand it's strange. There's an imbalance between us, certainly. But I suppose loving Aelin felt the same as loving myself. It was natural. Then... And this is where I still need answers. I died. I'm not sure how, why, but all was... <laughs> Only black. chat knows how she died. Black. Next I knew I was being jolted awake. I smelled musty air. I saw shadows. Like if we investigated more, we'd be able to tell her. Like, oh, I know how you died. Changed. I saw that so part. Hideously warped. Did he shout boo? Have I ever played an odd world stranger's wrath? Yes. The odd, and I stand by this. The odd world franchise can eat shit. There's no such thing as a good odd world game. So, uh, he became a chosen of Merkel. You know that part, right? I didn't know that then. Yeah, he did. But I could see the change in him. He told me we'd be together now. Said that Aelin was dead i couldn't speak could only run i found last light within the shadows made a shelter there prayed my father wouldn't find me by the time jahira came i'd pieced together just enough to know i'd been dead a hundred years that my father was the source of the horrors plaguing this land my home i couldn't tell her who i was i had to protect them and myself no matter what no matter what. So you can meet Isabel, but she doesn't tell you she's Isabel? Is that the idea? Is Oddworld better than Monkey Island? No, unfortunately. Oddworld can eat shit. Monkey Island is just irrelevant. You know what I mean? So you lied about who you were. It's all out in the open now. And with my father dead, I have nothing to fear. Except for Aelin. She needs healing. Rest. I'm grateful for your help, your friendship. I hope we won't intrude on your hospitality too long, but I'm grateful for a safe place to, well, just to be. Great. Chat, I have to be honest, I didn't care for any of that. I'll give it a shot. Go to bed. We're running low on supplies again. <laughs> Shit. Well, you got another one. Okay. They're more important to Stormbringer. Got it. You're so sad you don't get to see Asterion in this playthrough? Shouldn't tell him not to fucking bite my neck. I wasn't going to be polite about that. 
All right, looks like we go. We just go uh, like left here. Like I can't quite go left there. All right, come on up. Nobody step in the blue flame. The Amaterasu. Kyle plays like Ubisoft think all players do. No, that's not right. You're wrong about that. The road to Baldur's Gate is up ahead. No turning back. Once I play like how pedestrian game designers would not even conceive someone would play. <laughs> if you played as Dark Urge, would I embrace or resist the urge? I would. I would resist the urge. Of course I would. Blackets warriors are upon us. Psionic detector. What are you? What are you feeling? What are you vibing with right now? I'm gonna keep like the game is telling you not to keep going forward, but we're gonna. Shit. It's um. Other um. Gith Yankees. You fucking Gith Yankees. What are you doing? Too close. So who? Where are the other three? There they are. Give him, give me the people that's free my soul. Uh huh. Give him the little heartbeat. There it is. Pockets out of sight. First step is the hardest. Entropic Ward. This is bullshit, by the way. My DM is like, okay, for you to do that hex. For some reason, you have to walk backward three steps, and that's going to give the opponent an attack of opportunity. Why? Why? Oh, I see. There's for some reason I can't hex this person without running up directly next to them. Fine. Fine. <laughs> Fuck. If you insist. Dala. Dala. Oop. <laughs> the fall damage, bro. That was crazy. That was crazy. Dala. Victory awaits. It has it. So it seemed like the first hit was just to like um break their guard. Unleash me. We didn't do a lot of damage on that first hit. Okay. Soul of Branding. Unleash me. Unleash me. Uh, what a strange spell. I don't target it? What does it mean, invalid target? Minthara can soul brand herself. Good to know. You make a wall. Yeah, I wish I wish they visualized the wall, right? Like here, this is visualizing this shit. Entrusted by the cross. You draw it. Oh, that's cool. Charm ya. Charmed, I'm sure. Critical hit. All right. Damn, they're doing some crazy damage with that stuff. On normal difficulty, I'd be swearing. I will take the artifact for 
my queen. Come on over here. Eldritch Blast on two targets? Yeah, right. Counter spell. Nope. Try some other shit. <laughs> you fucking fell over, bro. Dolo. Dolo. <laughs> fucking fall damage, bro. I should hit them both to get them both to fall. God, that's so messed up. That's so messed up. Hold on. Triple check I'm hitting the right target here. <laughs> Great. I thirst for combat. Target outside normal range. Can you hit this one? Got a shot at that guy? Yep. Nice shot. Four damage. That's a miss. Let's get you. Yes. Alright, what do I do with my main man? Are you frightened? Dumb. Counter spell. Fuck you. <laughs> I love that shit, bro. Dumb. Shoulda hexed. That's a miss. How about this one. That's a miss. Yes. Let's get you up there. A wise move. Good. Any chance you got line of sight? Yeah, nice. Good. Another. Uh, did the ice melt? Kind of, yeah, it's water now. Okay. Take this. Take this. Good shit. Big miss, bro. How the fuck, bro? How can you? Okay, all right, all right. We'll kill you. Counter spell. Get right. Right, I'll just blast me too. That's my thing. You can take me on. Night night. <laughs> Why not the Eldritch Blast that I clicked on? Don't worry about it. Fine. Oh, they're dead. They're dead. Victory awaits. Let's see if you can get a shot over take here. Position. No shot. My victims await. Eight. Understood. Good. Another. Bad. I speak, they burn. Gail, you got a shot? No shot for you. Okay. Our flank. Our this fight's fucking over, right? But it's like you gotta like take turns getting into position so you can handle one fucking archer guy. I'm sure. I'm sure you got that range. Uh huh. Take two shots, in fact. Okay. Path is interrupted. Uh huh. Chat saying jump. No. I disagree. I simply disagree. Aim for the head. Aim for the head. There you go. Dola, miss both. Time to strike. 
Make way. This is chat's favorite part of the game. <laughs> On your command. Chat's like, this is where combat really gets good. Not off movement, great. So I mean, just just get close. I get. Yes, just get close. Taking uh -huh. a position. Can't reach. You can reach. Stretch your arms a little. Reach. Reach for me. 36. This one can't always be a gentleman. Step by step. I got her too close to use the arrow. Stop saying jump like that makes sense. Quit that shit. Holy fuck. You have to be shitting me, bro. You have to be shitting me. Gordius, end this. Just end it. Just end it. Oh my god. Congrats, player. You did six damage. Uh huh. Another. Congrats. You did seven damage. Let me strike. Okay. I will not fail. Another. Psionic detector alerted us to the Githyanki attack. <laughs> Looks like Voss was good for his word. Lazelle can jump directly to them. I don't. Well, firstly, I don't believe you. Still Secondly, that shit doesn't Perhaps make sense. We could have lifted it had we tried. When they're like, "This is this is your circle of movement, right? This is all this character could endure in two seconds of real time, or whatever, right?" But also, they could jump way further than that, and that would require less physical exertion. You're just like, okay. It is as we knew. Easy mode's been great. People have turned their blades against us. They have. They will emerge from the shadows and descend from the skies, and we will grant them their only just fate. Death. Whoa. Everyone but Gale is so cool. I feel like one of them had a name. That's the one I would like to loot. Let's What's behind see. these shabby wooden doors, bro? Hello? Blush cap mushrooms. That's it. DM, I ignore the blush cap mushrooms. Oh. Are you sure? They have value. No, I'm not going to fucking crap. I hope. Okay. Weapon enchantment plus one. Some nice Gith Yankee armor. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. We need that shit. Thank you. Pork loin, the bread, the onion. Oh my gosh, so nice. Thank you. Oh, the cheese. Yes, yes, yes. The Ithbonk. Great. Yes, thank you. The Rocknear Bracers gives you telekinesis, strength saving throws plus one. Um, somebody in this party would definitely like those. Plays out madness. She's thirsty for some shit like that. God, the gloves of power are so nice, though. Minthar, are you interested in this shit? Yes, she is. All right, congrats. Chat, what kind of bone is that? Oh, you're right. That's that is extremely valuable. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. You're right, Dad. I should pick that up.
what's inside. Chat, what were they thinking? <laughs> what was that illustrator thinking when they drew that bone? Oh, I see. Not all of them are 1,180. I think that person just had some really good armor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Searching. Arrow of many targets. Oh, that's what they hit us with. That was very confused by that. Yeah, we got we got crushed by that thing. Um, so we handled that fight pretty well, I would say. But uh, Gale's out of level three spell slots again. Directly. Stupid Gale. No one stopped me yet. Another step forward. Looks like an army marched through here. Here we go to Baldur's Gate, dude. Repelling Eldritch Blast is clutch. It, and honestly, it was though. Make sure to tie up any loose ends before advancing. Warning, the area you are about to enter will be bitterly difficult for a party of your level. Not an easy, bro. Catherick is defeated. The path ahead clear. You should be elated. The sight of the land you leave behind does nothing to alleviate your sorrow. Wow. Uh, no, the reason I didn't want that arrow is because I would never feel tempted to use it. Single use arrows, I never want to see them, you know? I don't even want it in my inventory. It just causes me anxiety. Sergeant, if you are here, I presume Worm's Rock is secure. Preparations for my inauguration are complete. No, Lord Gortash. We were interrupted. Another quake in the lower city. More severe this time. So you came cowering to my chambers? I'm flattered, Sergeant. But even I cannot command natural phenomena to cease. Forgive me, my lord. But there is panic in the streets. The people are afraid. Perhaps the people would be calm if you kept your nerve. I expect better from the flaming fist than to run scared from a slight tremor in the earth. Get back to your duties. Duties, duties, duties. Oh, you're about to die. Patrolling and saluting and I'm, We're about to watch you die. Scraping, yes, sir, no, sir. Rip and cut your throat, sir. Your oh. plan is falling apart, lordly. You're not who I thought you were. Give me a reason not to cut you to ribbons. Control yourself, Orin. We need to focus on reuniting the stones or the brain will break free. These quakes are just the stones. <laughs> this guy's like, what the fuck? Neither of us expected the prison bearers to kill Catherick. They'll be traveling to the city. Let's make sure we give them a Baldurian welcome. I itch to be you. To split your skin. To see your skull shine in the light. Little tyrant <sighs> lucky for you i harvested a whole family of living flesh in rivington at high sun they will sate my blade thirst tonight oh but tomorrow she probably smells tomorrow, so bad <laughs> tomorrow and tomorrow my blades will thirst what's the glowing again. above him what is that meant to mean What is that meant to mean? What does that signify? You're still camping with us? It's an effect on him they forgot to make invisible. Oh, that's funny.
She hid as a servant for five months just to do that. <laughs> Beyond the campsite, the city waits in uneasy silence, one sleep away. One sleep away. Bird? Bird, do you call? Yeah, these two are still like hanging out for some reason. Are they like unofficial party members? I think so, dude. Cool. You wish to consult me? I take no pleasure in his passing. Whatever faults he may have had, Ketherick was a great leader. Of course. He ruled Moonrise for centuries. That in itself deserves respect. I believe he was an honorable man, but the gods used him as their plaything. First, Shah and her sister, then the three behind Shah. the Absolute. I sympathize. You're surprisingly soft-hearted sometimes. Or, he doesn't deserve sympathy. He was responsible for his own actions. Or, do you think he could have been redeemed? A meaningless question. If he had killed us and conquered the Sword Coast, I would envy him. <laughs> As it is, he lost, and I pity him. But I will never forgive him for handing me to Orin. For that. <laughs> I hope Merkel hollows out his bones and lets them be dust. Good. That will be all, Minthara. How do I leave this place? How do I... There we go. Better not be cursed. You tried so hard to redeem him and it didn't work. Yeah, I tried. He was too long gone. The events of the last days weigh heavily upon you. Do they? Sleep's rest is slow to come to one whose mind is so full. The Absolute is not a god. But an elder brain controlled by the chosen of the dead three. They mean to use it to take control of the Sword Coast. All who carry the tadpole are governed by the brain and by extension the chosen. It will take but one order to transform them into an army of mind flayers. This would have been your fate too were it not for the astral prison and the mysterious visitor inside of it. With her help, you have uncovered the cult for what it really is. A plan of conquest orchestrated by the gods of death themselves. Together, you have the power to thwart the dead three. If you follow this path to its end, the Elder Brain will not answer to the Chosen. It will answer to you. Will you liberate them from their parasites and their religious delusions? Will you use the power you gain for your own purposes? This is this is maybe the first time in this game where the narrator is just asking me a question. <laughs> the narrator is asking Gordius, "Hey, what are you what are you thinking right now?" I will dominate this world. I will dominate the world. A thrill courses through you at the thought. 
You will not have long to wait. All you need to do now is sleep. But sleep is not for you. Hear me. Gather. Get the fuck out. The fuck. Uh oh. Hello? Commence battle. Well, all right. It's funny, they're all hurt. They're unarmed even. I don't think we should kill them. Here we go, this is new. Shield blow. <laughs> Get fucked, bro. That's awesome. Um, but we do have some negative status condition. Her voice commanding. One to six damage per turn. Got it. They won't last that long, bro. Critical miss? Come on now. Good. Take your surge. Clicked on the bed, but we're okay. Critical miss! Quit that shit. <laughs> Another fight. Let's go. Alright. Not enough movement. You gotta be shitting me, bro. That person is so close to you. What do you mean, not enough movement? Dolo. Luck of the far realms. Are you frightened? Tadpole scum. Tadpole scum. Entropic ward. Alright, so we're going to give ourselves the blast of heat. Do I not have that anymore? We had like a cool heat boost. Left side. This shit. No survivors. And stay. Um, not that. Good work, Gail. That's the coolest thing you ever did. Protection. Stop hurting Gail. Oh, there's another one. Fuck. It's one of those fights. Oh, I see. Escape to the portal before the absolute takes control. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. All right. Well, one of us shall survive. At the very least, one shall live. This is your end. Time to push my luck again. Shouldn't have made me your enemy. God damn it. <laughs> Ready for battle. How come everybody's got this sick move, dude? It's just gonna be fucking Gale abandoned. Yeah, we're about to abandon Gale. You better explode, bro. Nice shot. 
All right, Skellington. Uh, I would like for you to attack that person. Good job. The last board is set. Okay, Gale. Dash. Dash to here. Indeed. Jump. Continue. Chad, thanks for looking out. I would not have freed everyone in time. Step of the wind. Oh no, that skeleton should have had attack of opportunity. That's fucked. You can't even remember your own stupid rules, you dumb game. More are coming. Hurry, or we will all become thralls. I don't give a shit, bro. Keep trying to punch my back. Gotta get Yankee in here. They're up to something. Hey, quit that. Hey. <laughs> Stop punching that! There's no way they just punched this thing open. I'm here. Help me. I'm under attack. Uh okay. We're kind of fucking hurt. It's right? not over. Come to the skull. I'm not coming to the skull. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. I can't handle this shit right now. There can be no respite. There can be. You're the one who has to heal Gale every time. Gale, come over here, bro. You good? Hurry. I can't hold them back alone. Friend. Armor. I will not be so easily charmed. Fuck. How many times do you get to move? I'm telling you, chat, this game cannot keep track of its own damn rules. Is that blood? Everyone else, try to catch up. Get, in, get involved with this fight. Oh, see, Rio. Let me know if I'm pronouncing that completely wrong. Thanks for being a 25 month. Can I get an oh no for losing my chance at grabbing Shadow the Hedgehog at the mall's claw machines? No, no. Now, here's the thing. I would just advise waiting. I crave blood. buying a Shadow the Hedgehog thing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, claw machines are typically fools games. Okay. So, Minthar. Unleash me. Fucking kill these guys. They think they're hot shit? That's ridiculous. Give them the old bonk on the head. Bonk? Days now. You get this shit. Chop, chop. Give yourself this shit. Good. Survival is all that matters. Cordius? First? Second? With a this? Soul is in no, 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 fuck! I swear I clicked on Eldritch Blast. The game just doesn't care sometimes. Good, though. Not 
come to the skull. All right, chat. Now we can take a little short rest. Get some HP. Forward. Nothing on him. The skull. Come to the skull. Save. Sure. I'm uh to be quite frank with you, not, okay. not intimidated. Come to the skull. With the current scenario. What path lies before me? Well, we do have an emperor ahead. <laughs> nah, dude, fuck that emperor. What the hell is happening here? <laughs> I'm kind of rooting for this Give Yankee squad. Nice move. Yeah. Yeah, this team always needed a monk. Question. The Githyanki is the source of our protection against the Absolute. I must subdue him, or everything we've worked towards is lost. Don't let my form deceive you. I am the one that's been protecting you. I am the one. I dream of you. Um. Uh, prove to me that you are who you say. You slept with the drow and Dara. You pleased her. Okay, okay, bro. You okay, bro. <laughs> Thing the emperor brings up all right no. help me <laughs> you slept with minthara she came like okay bro okay bro <laughs> detect thoughts i mean you should try right Thirteen, we can hit that. We can hit that. Shit. Let me do one more. Let me do one. Ah, we only have two points left. Despite your best attempts to be subtle, the mind flares awareness is. We save those for the ones that matter. This won't matter. You blunder in its presence like a walk pup learning to walk. You must be joking. Look around you. We are at war. Okay, sorry. I'm sorry. Fight with me. Okay. Your future depends on it. I'm sorry. Aid an illicit against Githyanki. We cannot. We must not. Your blind loyalty will be your undoing, Lazel. Fight with me for your own survival. We got a... Uh... Oh, shit. Do you remember when I said that glowing thing? I think it was the same glow, right? that appeared in that other cutscene. I wonder if they actually like lo load the player behind the curtain or something. All right, here's the thing. I actually trust this bad boy with all my heart, but I feel like I got to put on a show for Lazelle. She'll never forgive me.
save first then? No, no, no. That's cheap shit. I already saved. I saved in the jumping sequence. You just killed some... I mean, we've been, we've been fucking killing Gith Yankee this entire game. There hasn't been a single Gith Yankee that's been cool with us this entire playthrough. I'm joining the fight. Together, we can turn. Here goes nothing, bro. A fucking the emperor I've just allied myself with. I'm gonna be paying for this the rest of the game. The emperor. You've always been kind to emperors. Alakazam. Oh, they got some HP, too. Damn. Where are the others? So there's two here. There's this fucking guy, Orpheus. Clearly a bad guy. Oh, I see. Somebody up here, and then somebody up here. Got it. And they're all doing the Gordius pose. Where are you going? <laughs> the fucking skeleton, hell yeah. <laughs> the skeleton is a former Gith Yankee. Nice try. Do I not recognize the name Orpheus? Absolutely not. Leave the brains alone! Shit, this is multi-attack, that's crazy. Critical miss, bad rolls. Dominated. Now we get all those turns. If you click on their portraits, it shows you where they are. Copy that. Come on down. Come on down. All right. Yeah, I honestly, I think you should just bash. Let's just get you bashing. Mm-hmm. Another. Great. Excellent turn. Get you up here. Take position. Swords meet sorcery. All right. So with my sweet, sweet sorcery, I would like to like, uh, I want to like lay a cool trap, but it doesn't seem necessary, really. So we'll get you a little bit up in this goo. Just do some of the, do some of your simple shit, bro. Okay. Good turn. On your command. Um... Help out. Okay, I'll struggle to do damage. Okay. Um, we shall have you kill this person once and for all. Yeah. Great. And then one more. And yeah. Critical hit. Divine smite. Dead. Good shit, Menthar. Gordius. Surprise, it'd be your turn so soon. All right. So let's uh. Hex. You. Can't reach the destination. I'm not trying to reach it. I'm trying to hex you. Okay. Oh, that fall damage. So tasty. Dalla. Oh, could have knocked him off. Okay. Congrats. <laughs> My skeleton. So nice. All right. Get you up here. You can high jump here. Oh, you're right. This area has low gravity. Heck yeah, I could have. Oh, you got a crit. Congrats, my skeleton. You fool. I missed the flurry of blows. Damn. The brains are doing damage. Mind blast. Saved, though. Scott! The flames of the phoenix! Ooh, you wanted to jump down here? Sure. Old person. Good spell. Yeah, come on over, bro. 
Okay, but watch this shit. Yeah. Bro. Congrats. You did nominal damage. Ooh. Okay. I am of the mind to try to attack you again. Good kill. Enough left over for perhaps you? Taste my fury. Taste my fury! And now Gale can move. I think. Yeah. On the move. Which you know. You're just like in path interruption. Step to it. You want to use some cool shit, Gail? Great. Yeah, where's the break? Your command. Okay, Minthara. Lila Lel. Yeah. Again. Soul branding. Yeah. Good. Oh, so close, so close. Good. Breathe no longer. All right, Skellington, end this fight. Big miss. What are you doing to us? <laughs> I have granted you levitation. My path be true. Path be true. You bow or you break. Try again. Okay. I think she actually hit the first time for zero damage. That'll melt the ice. Oh, okay. Good. Good. Yes. Yes. Someone up here. Good. Good. Again. Oh, there was healing to that too? Nice. Thank you. That was too close. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> I am a mind flayer. Yes. Without me, you would be a slave to the absolute. It's obscene to owe my life to a damned gay. No more lies. No more tricks. I will have answers. She's she deserves that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She needs that. So somebody in chat said this was the hardest fight in the game for them. I'm presuming you went the other way. I'm presuming you allied yourself with these Githyanki monks and tried to kill the Mind Flayer. Yeah, let's say this shit. Let's put no. I want to put on a show for Lazel here. I want to put on a show. I get. I get that. I prefer the other version of you. I get it, chat. But like, we need to match her furor right now. You know what I mean? You may call me the Emperor. An adventurer. I came from Baldur's Gate, though I was never one to be constrained by circumstance. I longed for more. That longing brought me to Moonrise Towers on a search for treasure to a colony of mind slayers who called me, changed me into what I am now. No. For years, 
I serve the Elder Brain. The one you know as the Absolute. Chat. I was a thrall like any other, but I was fortunate. I broke free and started a new life in my old city. I sustained myself on criminals. Unglamorous, but there are plenty of them. Rarely missed. And they fueled me while I did my work. I had the good fortune to meet Duke Stillman. We formed a partnership, and through her, I became the governing force behind the Knights of the Shield. The largest mercantile operation in Baldur's Gate. People refer to me as the Emperor. Such was my influence. Though of course they had no idea what I really was. <laughs> my needs were sated. No idea? I was happy for a while. Until my true nature was discovered by the tyrant himself. No. Lord Gortash. He tore me from my home. And brought me back to the brain, where I became a slave once again. A slave he continued to call the Emperor. The name was intended as a slight, to remind me of the heights from which I fell. But I have grown fond of it. It encapsulates well who I've become. So what made him special in the first place? Why was he able to branch off? Yeah, I should ask this because I do not remember who Orpheus is. Prince Orpheus, son of the first leader of the Githyanki. Orpheus? Impossible. He was slain by Shistil Kithrak himself. Quite possible, I assure you. His power has been the source of your continued protection against the voice of the Absolute. The power to disrupt hive mind communication. It is the same power that enabled his mother, Gith, to bring about the fall of the Illithid Empire eons ago. Yeah. A power she passed on to him, and that I leveraged for you. When Orpheus' mother left, a usurper took her place. Blackith declared herself queen of your people. We've Blackith met Blackith. wanted his power, but Orpheus rose against her, and so she sealed him and his honor guard within this prison. Bound by infernal chains, Orpheus could never leave. Bound by duty, his guard never would. They were close to breaking my hold on that prince, and if they had succeeded, we would be lost. I am relieved. You have embraced your potential enough that you could help me eliminate them. Alone, Orpheus will be much easier to control. So hold on, Orpheus there, red-eyed and shackled, is the reason that our brain worms have not taken over. You kind of lost interest in the plot after all these revelations. Yeah, I mean, like, the truth is, chat, when I'm playing a game like this, when I'm playing Dungeons and Dragons, I just want to be an adventurer going to towns. You know what I mean? <laughs> Typically, I don't want to be only you can prevent the world from being taken over by the mind flayers. But at least we're not like a chosen one. We just got lucky. Emperor uses Orpheus anti lithid powers to stop you from getting elithid. Yeah. Most certainly Orpheus. He is a threat to her reign. Some of your people still revere him in defiance of their teachings. Blackith was safe as long as you believed him dead. But as you can see, he is very much alive. I don't understand. The histories claim the prince was burned to ash in the skies. Your histories are fabrications. The prince was not killed. As you can very well see, he was in prison. She kept him this way because she was reluctant to eradicate such power. Power that she might one day wish to take from him. 
If the rest of your people ever find out what she's done, there will be civil war. Your queen will be finished. We kind of hate that queen anyway. Weren't you basically chosen by the artifact? No, the person who was chosen by the artifact uh, was forced into Mortal Kombat with us. And then we took it. <laughs> Were you imprisoned here too? No question. How did Gortash, the other Chosen, find out about the Astral Prism? A very good question. One that I have been unable to answer. That Orpheus lives at all is ruinous to Blackith. She has done everything in her power to keep his existence a secret. That Gortash and the Chosen found out about it. This is impossible to explain. Impossible. But it was important enough to them that Gortash sent me to retrieve it. The moment I found it, I felt a change. My free will returning. I followed the feeling inside. And found Orpheus. I realized what the prison was for. Containment. While my body was within the prison's bounds, my mind was free. I could resist the Elder Brain, the Chosen. Better yet, I could plan to overthrow them. All I needed to do was subdue Orpheus and find allies in the outer world. You. Alright, buddy. But you have to realize, Gordius is the boss. There may come a time when that is necessary, but there is no guarantee that his power would survive his passing. There will be baseball. The yeah, I've already promised there will be baseball tonight. The moment his protection is gone, you would become enthralled to the Elder Brain, just as I would. We may look different, but to the Elder Brain, we are already the same. Thrones in its design. We're like in other ways, too. I want to rule the world. I'm glad you think so. I agree. But there is one thing that you have that I do not. My Wait. original body was destroyed when I transformed. Yours continues to limit you. Limit me? As an Alithid, I have far surpassed who I ever was before. You, too, should embrace this change. Ooh, Gordius Makeover. Alright, so here's what I think we're going to have to do. We're going to have to become a Mind Flayer. And then whenever we visit a town, Gordius is going to have to hang outside the town. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're just going to have to like put him in a little box. And then these three can go buy loot and shit and then meet up with him outside. I am pleased to hear that. You will do very well as an Alithid. I've been studying you for a while now. I believe I can trigger the next stage of your tadpole's life cycle while continuing to preserve your independence. The transformation will not be complete. The physical alteration in particular will only be partial. But your potential will certainly be amplified. Oh my god. Would you like to do it? Would you like to evolve? Are you kidding me? Of course. Evolve me, bro. <laughs> what do you mean, please don't evolve me? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's digivolve, bro. Like, do you, Chad, do you think we'll get, like, some tentacles? It's so funny. It's like, look, the physical thing is not going to be all the way there. Evolve me. Whatever this gig offers is no gift to you. You continue to surprise me. Even as you are, you have shown rationality that puts you far above your kind. Oh my god. You will do well as an Alithid. Now, hold out your hand. Oh shit. Oh shit, here we go. It 
It wants to evolve, but it cannot do so alone. It must commune with another. Wisdom. No, I don't do. I won't do it. That seems pointed, right? Probe at the tadpole's intentions. Fuck. Uno mas. Uno mas. Uno mas. Uno mas. Uno mas. Success. The tadpole screams for growth with painful intensity. It has been starved of life, of purpose. It welcomes your probing like a void waiting to be filled. If you let it, it will evolve you. Just as the Emperor said. Huh? All right. Eat it is very funny, chat. I don't think you eat it. A coldness seeps through your veins as the tadpole awakens. It's yearning almost unbearable. Your mind is a veritable feast. The tadpole's essence courses through you. Where it touches, your flesh, glands, organs contract and flood with pure thought. You feel different. Your body has never felt more connected. Your Wait, the Haggai is gone? In every flex of a joint or muscle. You are exquisite. Did we lose the Haggai? While I see what you can do, I hope you encourage them to try it for themselves. We mustn't lose focus. We need to resume our journey. You heard the Chosen. The Brain has gone to the city, and the army marches to follow. We must not let them reach it. We must find the Brain, and bring it under our control. Uh, if you eat it, the Emperor goes, why the fuck did you do that? Also, it sounds like you could stamp, stomp on it, too. You have embraced Ceramorphosis and become half a lithid. You can now unlock even more powerful psionics. Oh, we've seen that part of the skill tree. Check this shit out. My brain expands. No, give me some of this shit, dude. Luck of the Far Realms. Once per long rest, you can change a successful attack roll against a foe to a critical hit. I think we already have that, dude. You do. Okay. Yeah, we use that all the time. You're on Minthara. Got it. Let's move. Oh, that's a big brain, baby. That's a big brain. Gobble up a foe's intellect, lowering their intelligence by one per turn and healing your wounds for five turns. That's so cool. Uh, displacer beast shape? Transform into a displacer beast that can displace itself and enemies and has 85 hit points. God, that's so cool. All right. All right. Fracture Psyche. I like the passive ones the most. Armor class reduced by one for five turns. Who gives a shit? Illithid expertise. You've deepened your sense of self, gaining expertise in persuasion, deception, and intimidation checks. Afraid we have to do that. We're min-maxing that shit. No question. Okay. Psionic dominance. When an enemy within 18 meters targets you with a spell of a level that is lower than or equal to your proficiency bonus, you can use your reaction to nullify the spell. Shit. So it's pretty... I can't go plug it in now, I think. Yep. So we're going to have to get this one to get that. But that nullification sounds awesome, dude. Psyche Fracture is pure Sith, chat says. Okay, I'll look at it again. 
Oh, this is awesome. Displace is really good because our current um, Eldritch Blast makes people fall now. Creatures suffering falling damage because of your actions take an additional 1 to 8 psychic damage. <laughs> Black Hole. Create a point of intense gravity that pulls in all enemies and possibly slows them. I think um, Merkel did that. Fly? No, fly is for dorks. Mind Sanctuary! Sculpt the magical nexus that allows those within it to take actions and bonus actions interchangeably. Eh. I think it's actually probably super good. Free cast. You have discovered a marvelous adaptability within yourself. Spell slots, charges, and similar resource costs for your next action or spell are removed. What? Next action for one action. Got it. So it's like one free turn, basically. You already have fly. Oh my gosh, you're right. That's unlocked. Mind Sanctuary can make your bonus action be more Eldritch Blasts. Sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think I think this could really stack and be overpowered. I get that. Um, chat's really into fractured psyche, which I don't like. Yeah, mowing armor class. If the target dies while its psyche is fractured, you can cast shatter psyche on another target. That's kind of good. Um, but I'm really into the nullifying shit. And that seems unlimited. It seems like you can do that as your as your reaction every turn, and it, it's not like ooh that refills. You you need a long rest to refill that. Black hole is what the orc lady used, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 Chad is loving black hole right now. That one you can only use every short rest. You know what I mean? This is fucking infinite. Yeah, I'm doing this shit. Hey, we'll get more brain worms. We'll find more brain worms. We'll get the other stuff. But psionic dominance sounds awesome to me. Black hole would have taken two as well. Actually, look. Now we actually have a connection straight to black hole. All right, cool. Uh, the problem is we have maybe made allies with a bad guy. Oh, we still got our hat guy. We still got it. Oh, we should take a short break. Thank you for the reminder, Mucho. <laughs> We're going to take a quick break right here. Uh, when we get back, we'll go through that portal, and then I think we get to go uh, to the town. I think we go to the town next day. You are sweet. You're a sweet cat. Thank you, buddy. Break for me. All right, we're taking a quick chat. When we get back, I feel like I feel like we're gonna run them up for the rest of the stream. You know what I mean? This party in town, like we're gonna we're gonna really fuck that up. Um, good question about when we switch to baseball. We'll probably go overtime. But you're right in that I would like to start at least before midnight. So we'll wait for a natural stopping point. You can use the evolution worm on party members too if you want, but some of them will need convincing first. Shit, I mean, uh, Minthara might be interested. Lazelle is a hard sell. We have incredible powers of persuasion that have only improved now that we are half illicit. Excuse me, illithid. Eat the worm, Gale. All right, we'll try. Let's try that when we get back. Let's see who we can talk into it. You are full illicit. <laughs> If you eat it, you can't use it on your party. That's such like a funny thing. 
It's basically that's just asking the player if you're paying attention to how this shit works, you know? <laughs> I love that. That's funny. If you eat it, it just, yeah, it just dies. All right, anyway, see you on the other side, chat. I wanna say something, but you are all that I see. You got dynamite, and that smile's gonna be the end of me. I bet you taste like chocolate. Can I have it for free? I'm an explosion, that smile's gonna be the end of me. I wanna say something, but you are all that I see. You got dynamite, that smile's gonna be the end of me. I bet you taste like chocolate. Can I have it for free? explosion that smile's gonna be the end of me that smiles that smiles that smiles that smiles gonna be gonna be the end of me i wanna say something but you are all that i see you got dynamite that smile's gonna be the end of me i bet you taste like chocolate can i have it for free i'm an explosion and that smile's gonna be the end of me you cannot lie over a my tie you cannot lie over a my tie you cannot lie over a my tie Let's take each other out. You cannot lie over a my tie. You cannot lie over a my tie. You cannot lie over a my tie. Let's take each other out. something but you are all that i see you got dynamite oh my tie was playing all right i honestly i would still take i would take gail having done many escape rooms in my life gail's your guy gail's your guy
It takes a strong communicator. There is a music Easter egg at the current camp if you want to know. The current camp? Oh, once we go through this portal. Okay. Astral Globe of Domination. All right, so here's what I was honestly Let's thinking inside. during that break. Me, as a player, I am nervous to infect everyone in the party. You know what I mean? I kind of want to, like, uh... Sorry, the phrase escapes me. Superior healing, yeah. Um... When you're making when you're making a gamble and you're trying to spread uh, the odds across, you know what I'm talking about? Hedge my bets. I'm trying to hedge my bets, chat. That's the phrase I was looking for. Me as a player, I want to hedge my bets. Yankee prince is as silent as a corpse. Let's say this bad boy absolutely just becomes a nasty mind flayer at the end of this game. Uh, if that happens, we at least have enough to hold him down. <laughs> so, I wonder really if we should infect the others. And maybe canonically Gordius would save it for himself. Like a good oh, she's busy right now, bro. All right. Harlack would have held you down, no doubt. No doubt. That was kind of cool. They attacked our base. All right, where is the musical Easter egg? And by the way, there's no way I will possibly recognize it. Take a knee at the cliff. Chat, there are many cliffs. Is that what you're listening to now? I heard a little piano there. You can't get that. Uh, that's not the one overlooking the city, though. The cliff overlooking the city, you say? It's a pretty big campsite, dude. This one's huge. Behind the portal, you say. Okay. okay. We'll go back in here. For brownies, am I an edge or middle person? Oh, my God. Come on. These are foolish questions. Oh, a skeleton's there. No, that's our skeleton, right? This guy is so cool. Gal, yeah, actually. Chat hears it. Okay. So I'm guessing that's a song from a previous uh, Baldur's Gate game. If that's the case, neat. There's no way that would never be picked up by me. All right, Lizelle, we're gonna have to do some talking. To. I'm a little nervous about this. 
Gith's only son. She's so bloody. He lives. It is not the Gaith visitor that Vlakith would destroy and Voss would set free. It is Orpheus. The blood of the mother. The prince of the comet. Grandia PS1 BC just got trophies. That's such an interesting thing to have suddenly happened. That's awesome. I hope their sales go up. I like to carve out the middle of a brownie sheet and then throw it out. And then I'm left with one big edge donut, like the opposite of an uncrustable. I don't even, come on. That's disgusting. And even more powerful still. It said he could bring a thousand Githyanki to their knees with one command. Listen close. The Emperor spoke only in half-truths. Let us remember our history together. Long ago, when we rose up against our Gith slavers, Mother Gith made for the Hells to secure an alliance with the Archdevil Tiamat. Tiamat gifted the Githyanki our red dragons. Tiamat is Gith a dragon. Remained in the Hells, and Tiamat's envoy proclaimed Vlakith our ruler. The first Vlakith of many. It is Vlakith 157 whom our people now call Queen. 157 whom our people now call Queen. Okay. <laughs> I fucking love any chance I get to go, go on. Our current Vlakith has claimed undeath and reigned for a thousand years. But it was the first whom Orpheus tried to slay. Orpheus was, is, Gith's only son. He led his mother's own honor guard in a coup against Vlakith I. It was Kithrak Voss himself who slayed the prince in vicious battle. Or so the Varshas teach us. Yet the prince of the comet's been with us. Subdued by that repugnant illithid. Should Orpheus go free, he would tear Vlakith's empire to pieces and build new glory from the scraps. She's making a fine case. It might be fun to let Orpheus free. Like, we will die. We will become mind flayers. But, like, you know, think of the chaos Orpheus will cause. We meet Voss in the city, and we obtain the key to freeing Orpheus from his prison. Every word Voss spoke, he spoke true. Orpheus is the living proof of the Queen's lies, and the living weapon that conquered our Gaith slavers. One word from his lips, and the people would doubt. Two words, and they would rage. Three words, and they would bow to the true heir. <laughs> if the Githyank here to be free, the Prince of the Comet must lead the way. Shit. She's really making this about Githyanki business. You thought about making use of the tadpole's power? You been thinking about that? Mark my words. This power would be no blessing, but a curse. Yeah, I kind of believe you. Ask me to gouge out my eyes for the promise of sight, or slice off my tongue for the promise of taste. Consume all the gate tadpoles you wish. I'm not so craven. I'm going to respect that shit. Oh, but we could win this. <laughs> But, I mean, we could win that shit. I want to respect her wishes, but also, like, hey, like a persuasion check? It's hard not to do. Gladly. Let's make Gale eat it, though. Gale? You want super worm powers? Mintharo's got some weird combat buffs on her still.
Yeah, here's the thing. If any of the party members are like, hey, give me some of that, I'm probably going to let them get, get some of that, you know? We cannot allow Gale to go through with Elminster's ludicrous plan. Destroying the Absolute before we fully understand it would be madness. Oh, I'm with you on that, Minthara. Trust you wish me. to consult me? We will need every advantage to survive the battles that are to come. And my illithid parasite has already shown its worth. If this superior tadpole is capable of unlocking my mind's full potential, it is a tempting proposition. Its influence on you is plain to see. You are sublime. Oh, she gets one. Uh, can I get an oh yeah, I just woke up from a nap to find my rental application has approved, was approved, officially have a spot to move into soon. Oh, hell yeah. Probably. I'm skipping the probably. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come get some of this. I will be unstoppable. I believe you. Life. Pulses from within. The parasite's thoughts whisper at the edge of your mind. It wants to share itself with you. It wants to be let in. Go on. Don't be afraid. It only wants to help you evolve. <laughs> she could eat it though. <laughs> Coldness seeps through your veins as the tadpole awakens. It's yearning almost unbearable. Your mind. Yeah, we should make Gale eat it. I agree with that. Feast. First, we're going to use our powers of persuasion against Gale. Through you, where it touches your flesh, glands, organs contract and flood Oh no! It's not going as good for her. You feel. Your body has never felt more connected. Your mind present in every flex of a joint or muscle. Perhaps, once the others see what you can do, they will consider trying it for themselves. It fucks with her eyes. Minthar, are you okay? You wish to consult me? Yeah, are your eyes okay? I wonder if our eyes look like that. It's just been too dark to see. Gale. <laughs> I should speak up. Whoa, quite the rug pull, eh? A mind flayer manipulating us this whole time. Such creatures are not to be trusted as a general rule, though this one does appear to have had a significant hand in our survival up to this point. Mm -hmm. At best, an ally whose motivations remain shrouded in deceit. We should be wary of what such an alliance may cost us. I'm glad you opened up to me the night under the stars. Do you want to talk about it further? Uh... Yeah, let's talk about it. I can only perhaps. imagine what I could do were I to adopt the biology of a mind flayer. Certainly doesn't seem to have done you any harm. Or rather, you've not yet done me any harm. Still, there are undoubtedly risks to such a transformation. To be coy, Gale, you want this power. You know you do. We're at a disadvantage because we're partial illithid ourselves. That is so funny. So we got a roll two die and we take the lowest roll. But we're friends, so now we just roll one. Fuck. Oh, shit. Our bonus is fucking nuts, bro. <laughs> Easy persuasion. <laughs> All right. Here we go, Gail. If this is what the fates have offered to aid our cause, 
Then who am I to refuse? I'll take your tadpole. Let's see what it has to offer. Life pulses from within. The parasite's thoughts whisper at the edge of your mind. It wants to share itself with you. It wants to be let in. Go on. Don't be afraid. It only wants to help you evolve. Uh, here, I do wonder this, though. If Gale eats it, will it take the powers away from the other people? Guess we'll find out. What are you? Fucking <laughs> Gale. The tadpole's essence courses through you. Where it touches your flesh, glands, organs, Oh, it still does it! Oh no, he's losing teeth! Blood with pure thought. You feel different. Your body has never felt more connected. Your mind present in every flesh. Oh shit. I didn't think it worked like that. I suppose if it works. Oh, god damn it, Gail. If you had opened your mind to it rather than consuming it, your allies could have taken advantage of its power as well. All right. Well, we're officially a party of mostly bad boys now. The last fight is going to be like Lazelle versus everybody else. <sighs> if only Gale weren't so easily persuaded. Have a look. A bunch of guts, dude. See, like, she's still got some buff on her. Yeah, and that's the thing. Now, if Lazelle wants it, we can't share it. Gail fucking ate the worm. <laughs> We gotta cut him open to get that parasite. Pretty sure you can sleep from the same button you used to go to camp. Got it. Leave Act 2. The city awaits. Here we go. To the city! We must find where Gortash and Orin have established themselves and take their nether stones. But first, hats. All right, the city proper is pretty far away, dude. It's Chad and Leo. We, we might not get there this stream. Look at all the other nonsense we got to do first. Wait, we have two bonus worms right now. All right. At least things have stayed interesting. Let's get uh, the black hole that chat's been wanting. Got your black hole, chat. Black hole! Waiting. I crave blood. Of course. Oh, I have the magic touch. Oh, so he even like he even gets a lot of good shit even without one worm, dude. Nice. Call of the reporting. Call of the Week is really good. Yeah, I wonder if we should just make everybody learn Call of the Week. When you bring a creature down to fewer hit points than your number of evolved Illithid powers, it dies and all nearby creatures take one for psychic damage. So any enemy that's got seven or fewer HP right there. But then look at fucking Gordius here, who's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen? Oh. Honestly, you know I like to min-max. I know it. So let me get that, uh, the fall damage one. Hell yeah.
Here we are, Should a I normal understand. party of adventurers. <laughs> We're all very normal. Hey, link up. Come on, everybody. Link up. Link up. Group up. I mean, we can just My take the backpack, please. dude. Nobody's here. Task me like you killed them earlier. Nice potion, hell yeah. Great. Thanks. Um, excuse me. I can't find my mum. I don't give a shit. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. That's your problem, kid. Get lost. But, um, I'm... Minthara approves and Lazelle approves. I don't know where to go. Fuck yeah. A tad harsh, don't you think? Our fire will be no cooler <laughs> just for sharing it with a child in need. I wanted to get an OYA for my roommate Jojo, who just found out earlier today she got promoted to full-time librarian. She was one of over 65 applicants who applied. That's actually, fuck, that's actually huge. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I know that's no joke. Obviously, we're picking not my problem. Gail has no sway over this party. All right. Sorry. <laughs> Bye, Yenna. Oh, my God. Minthara, you want to talk about Yenna? I do not understand why the matrons, sorry, patriarchs of the city do not open their gates to the refugees. I'm surprised to hear you suggesting aid for those in need. You not understand the way of the closed fist. I was not suggesting they be allowed to roam free. They should be put to work. The city needs laborers and fodder to protect it. It's only fair they should earn their keep. Yes. And if they work hard enough for long enough, the city might allow them to earn their freedom one day. To get Minthara to like you, just agree with whatever she says. <laughs> You know what I mean? It's, you know, just agree with Minthara. Easy. I left for an hour and now Gail and Minthara look like Siths. I know. I've really fucked up this party. What's up for discussion? The place was empty. Keep those thugs away from my family. Denuvia! Get these squatters out of my house now! Arthur, sweetheart, you paid me and my boys to be caravan guards, not cattle wranglers. If you want us to get our hands dirty, it'd be our pleasure. But that'll be extra. The army of the Absolute is mere days away, and you're bickering over property ownership. This is my home. I may pride myself on my philanthropy, but I draw the line at being a halfway house. This man's indignant demeanor barely masks a seething anxiety. There's more to this situation than he's letting on. Zenobia and I are just navigating a slight Good insight disagreement. Check. Not that it's any of your concern. I can make these quarters disappear for half as much as this lot is asking. Oh my god, yes. Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Add him up. Add him up. Rack him up. Yeah, BG3's been going great today. Desperate for gold? But I can't help but admire such solid business acumen. Very well. Get the job done, and you'll be paid 
and be in my good graces. Do you think you're clever coming in and undercutting us, sweetheart? We were about to make a bit of extra cash before you butted in. You owe the guild a cut. Is the little dog trying to intimidate us? If it continues to bark, I will snap its neck. History. Knock some sense into this upstart. I could give you that gold, but then I'd just take it back after I killed you. Don't worry about it. Add him up. Add him up. Add him up. He does look concerned. So easy mode makes the fights easier or null and voids a majority of fights. It makes them easier. It just makes them easier. It gives you more HP. It makes you do more damage. I think you're overestimating your abilities somewhat. But I haven't got time for this. Come on, boys. We've got places to be. All right, get out of here, Ben. You see, those animals are out of the picture. Can we stay now? Or are you going to turn us next? Are oh, you? Yeah. Hate to make you leave. You'd be much better off in an inn than waiting to get chased out of here. Oh, shit. Now, I actually really like this solution. Just to be clear. I think this is a creative, nice solution more RPGs should have. It's like, man, I've got money. All right, get out of here. Go, go out of here. Here's some money. But this is a private property you need to leave or I'll make you. It's so crazy. <laughs> it was seven difficulty class. This man is weak-willed. You're seriously gonna throw us out? Throw my child out? You're just as bad as the rest of them. Don't worry, we'll go. May Torm split open that hard, blackened heart of yours someday. Bye bye. Did you see that shit? Well, that ends well, hey? I'm sure the guild will be in touch with any concerns. At long last, here's your payment, as we agreed. I've got so much to do now, I'd really better get on with it. Excuse me, would you? Exerting judgment, Minthara is inspired. What an absolute freak she is. Look, I really don't have time to chat. I'm sure you can find someone this busy to listen to somewhere. I thank you so much for your interest, but it's really none of your concern, is it? Hmm? Excuse me. I think we're about to get a house. <laughs> Where is my candelabra? Did they take my grandma's <laughs> candelabra? I think we're about to get ourselves a house, bro. Dolo! Dolo! <laughs> Wait, what did it say? He won't talk to me? What's he won't here? talk to me. All right. Ooh, 550 gold. There we go. Good camping supplies. Hell yeah. Don't care for the dagger. Arc 
Archducal Archducal Coronation Admission Pass. Ooh, we just got a ticket. Signed by Gortash himself. We'll get you into the coronation ceremony. Oh my God. <laughs> we got a ticket of approval, baby. And a house. Okay. Um. Yeah, this is my house now. There's gonna be, so there's gonna be a coronation, and we just get free entry, even with our dark eyes. A couple turns should do it. Hey, hey. Oh, what a nice bedroom. Rest well, everyone. Splendid purple outfit. Oh, this is for when you're hanging out at the camp. Fuck. Chat, I did not realize this entire playthrough that our camp outfit has been Shadow Hearts clothes. That is so funny. No, 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 I'm sorry. I was not fully appreciating how funny that is. You wore all her stuff for a while. All right. Backless extravaganza. Ooh. All right, we might finally have a nice hat for Minthara. I think Gordius should get the backless extravaganza. So that maybe Minthara can have that fancy shit. Ooh, that's a nice hat. And then, yeah, get those shoes on. Oh, those are those are for camp clothes too. Silver necklace, is barely worth barely worth the coin. Rose of book. Man, I got so many keys. You don't have the toy maker's basement key. Yeah, that's bro. The toy maker's basement sounds suspicious. Lessons of sensible living. Twelve. Zariel's fool. Not reading that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Camp supplies. Ooh, and what's this? A letter to Mamzelle Amira. Madame Amira, thank you for the invitation. You know how much I love Charesse's caress, but I still haven't lived down my last experience with the drow twins, and I fear they won't have forgotten my little mishap. So, that was probably my last visit. I hope you'll understand. Awful. Never sent it. And he's dead now. Interesting. He's just a dead man. Sorry, what'd you find? An Archduke's leadership. Cool. The gate is closed. Baldur's Gate, a bastion of commerce and culture, rewarded only with corruption and catastrophe. Crime, poverty, taxation, burdens unfairly heaped upon the soldiers of the common citizenry. Thieves and outriders, excuse me, outsiders, grow fat on the teat. Whilst native Baldurians starve in the street. For too long, the Grand Duke and his Parliament of Peers have left our gate unguarded. If you, like us, stand ready to defend it, then join like-minded individuals for a frank exchange of ideas. 
join the keepers of the gate. Enough is enough. The gate is closed. All right. Moving out. Moving out. <laughs> yeah, let's get some campus. Let's get some watermelons. Hell yeah. This is my kind of shit, chat. Uh, killing a rich man and then taking his house is like fun video game shit. If you are sure. We haven't seen the bathroom yet. We're looking for it. Got to be here somewhere. What is that? Fire amber. Ooh, here's their bathroom. Nasty surprise. Caution is warranted here. Okay. So it's trapped. There are booby trap. Oh, toy maker's basement key. Hell yeah. All right. All right. What now? Stuffed bear toy block. How funny. Something is fucking up in here, dude. Alright, somebody had a good check there. Appreciate that. Good looking out. Taking heed. Save? Okay, good call, chat. You're right, we could die in a second. Never wanted the easy path. Okay, all right. Can anyone uh, disarm that? Easy disarm. Four G six success. Get out of here. Okay. Stuff bath. Oh, bother. Rolling forward. A trap. Let us send forth our least favorite. What is that shit? Rigged fireworks. Oh my god. You're right. We could like we could die in a second down here. Nobody touched the rigged fireworks. As if we are a horde of dumb footed dwergs. Oh, this is trapped, huh? Okay. Why is this place so rigged? This is the core of the basement. Everything leads to this corner. So perhaps it is that chest that has the good shit in it. Or perhaps this genie lamp? All right, so let's uh let's disarm this shit. Good luck, Gordius. Shit. Never mind. <laughs> Good hands, Gordius. Don't fuck around with Gordius's hands. All right. Now what is in there? I bet I can crack that open. 20. All right, so now we actually do have to roll a 10 or above. Not this time. Failure. Try again with thieves tools. There we go. There's a letter on the desk, you say. Okay. Yeah, I do see it. 
260 gold, we'll take it. And then a blackmail letter, here we go. Arthur, package still waiting for you at Philurgian. You'd better not be late again, or we'll start to wonder if you're really as committed as you claim to be. Pick it up, put it in the teddy bears, make the donation. It couldn't be simpler, really. If it's still here this time tomorrow, we'll stuff you with it. As you well know, we've plenty to spare. Whoa. Might be worth checking off his donations. Looks like his generosity is compromised. He was stuffing the fireworks into the bears. I'm sure this toy will be finished soon. If they bear with it. Gordius, no. Gifts for refugees only. Please distribute. That is so fucked. That is so fucked. We gotta tell somebody. <laughs> this is cute. We gotta tell somebody. Don't, don't touch the bears. Don't touch the bears. Do you think we get out of here alive? Or do you think I'll set off a trap on the way out? Open up. Can I pet the big stuffed bear? All right. Let's see. Use. A young cave bear. Killed and stuffed before its teeth were fully grown. You said young cave bear? <laughs> All right. Good work, team. Doing great. Oh, it sucks. So, uh, this guy was stuffing fireworks into bears that they were going to give to the refugees and then light them up. Even this vile, corrupted, megalomaniac... megalomaniac... Le megalomaniacal... megalomaniacal alien Grinch doesn't want to harm refugee kids. It's true. Gordius would never. Gameaholic, thanks for being a 12 month. Or congrats on the year. Megalomaniacal. That's a nice word. Okay, we'll just uh, walk in here. We can't carry the body because none of us are strong enough. <laughs> Take a cabbage on our way out. Great. Here we go. And then close the door. Great. <laughs> That's my house. Okay. Um. So much to do out here. Let's go solve this problem. We're just out here solving problems, making allies, making friends. with me against this tide that threatens to overwhelm us please just go home you're ruining a perfectly uneventful posting with this nonsense the flaming fists are supposed to protect this good city but they allow trash and vermin to take our homes and goods oh another visitor i see listen Gordius's hair looks so you. nice in this Soon, daylight. There'll be no room left for any of us true Baldarians. We haven't seen a sunny sky in ages, bro. Like all of Act Two is so dark. How dare you? I'm a bored and bred Baldurian. <laughs> no reason to pick that other than we get to put our deception check on top of this shit.
There we go. Easy, bro. We're going to stop Baldur's Gate 3 a little early. Uh, but we're going to vibe it out. We're going to we're going to know when the My time apologies. is right. Now I hear you speak. I, of course, realize you're a local. <laughs> I like this. Well, I was lying. <laughs> um, here's the thing, though. I actually don't know why Gordius would get involved with this shit at all. Chat wants it. Okay, all right. Let's just fucking lie to him. Or, well, I'm sorry. Let's admit that we were lying. Oh, now I've heard you speak. That's very apparent. Please stop wasting my time. Okay. Refugees can't stay here in Rivington. I should speak up. Speak up. I lied again. I am Baldurian. That'd be so funny if the check gets slightly harder to do every time. But you could legit, if you were powerful enough at persuasion, you could keep it going back and forth. Donations for what? Do you know our voice? The refugees. If you don't have anything to donate, you can get going. I'd like to take the donation into the barn myself is so funny. We're not going to fail this. We're not going to fail this shit, bro. <laughs> All right. We could easily afford 500 gold right now. Oh. No, you still got it. You're right. Well, if you must, I suppose it saves me the walk. But if you're going to do it, hurry up. Do it. Hurry up, would you? Oh, this is actually, uh, investigate the suspicious toys. Oh, how would I report that? I gotta, hold on, I gotta tell you about some toys, bro. What are you still flapping your lips at me for? Get on with it. No, you gotta hear about these fucking toys. Oh, shit. You wanna hear about these toys? Nesta let you in. Good. Means you'll be further away from me. Shit. It was the first dialogue option, and you know I skipped it because I saw a deception check. Alright, so let's go in, make our donation. And then hopefully we can tell him about the explosive teddy bears. I hear you've been given permission to be here. Don't disappoint me. If only had Kyle had speak with animals. To talk to that pig? Yeah, I wonder if we started stealing shit if they would attack us. You best not piss away Manip Nestor's good graces. The uh, Worms Rock Prison is rather cold this time of year. Okay, everybody. You realize who I am. Do you know the power I contain? Oh, fuck. Hey, man. You, uh, come and look at these fucking bears. God damn it. <laughs> how do I... How do I... That's what's so funny is using that power persuasion. It seems like they assume that I'm only coming in here to steal shit. What are you still flapping your lips at me for? Get on okay. with it. Okay. 
go to it. I mean, I did. I tried to examine it. You can remove the bears yourself. It looks like if I do, it will make everybody upset. Stay oh, alert. there we go. That's a trap. It's a trap. All right, let me try to talk to him now. I might have to just disarm it myself. That's a trap. Back again, are you? If you don't have anything to donate, you can get going. Donate, donate. Hi, right, did you know someone donated a load of toys filled with explosives? What? What? Who'd put explosives in toys? Very well. Show me these explosive toys then. Hell yeah. Over here. What if he gives us the pig as a reward? You were right. Explosives. You were right. Now, give me some room. I need to make sure the rest of these donations are safe. You try and find whoever is responsible for this. Okay. <laughs> That's funny, bro. Gods, any one of us could have been blown to smithereens. Yeah, I'll, I'll try to figure that out. <laughs> All right. Hey, we completed that quest. The big pig, bro. Glad Nesta sorted out those trap toys. Nasty business, that. Great. No credit to us. actually got here safely, towing along my wife, sister, and mother. Or maybe they towed me along, eh? What? God, camping with the mother-in-law has been utter hell. Maybe utter. I should just go on ahead into the city without her. Scouting, like. Now this seems like a family whose lives we can absolutely ruin. Where's the mother-in-law? Is it you? Her, can't stand her. My sister-in-law, all law, and no sister. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna fuck this family up. My son Garen is pleased we got this far together, but his wife's bitching is making me old before my time. Why can't he tell her to put a sock in it? Okay. Magically change all aspects of your appearance. Mutatis, mutatis. My son Garen is pleased we got this far together. But his wife's bitching. Is making me old before my time. <laughs> Cordy's, what are you up to, bro? Again. Garen, you know the room. We he gave himself such an attractive haircut. <laughs> washing my pits, washing my pits. This is the song when I. The blood not get any bleeding <laughs> around here. Bunch of perverts, the lot of you. Yeah, he's scheming, bro. I hate this place. I can't even soak my forearms in peace. I can't believe that they'd have this many NPCs here without some sort of like 
nasty quest binding them, you know? Don't know how we're gonna get Grunch into the city. Wounded as he is. But we have to. Here we go. Who's Grunch? We've got to get Grunch into the city. But he's in no shape to travel. I wonder, what if we hit him in a big barrel and nailed it shut? Nah. Is that a Hobbit reference? Oh, whatever you need, I can't help you. Even talking is painful right now. Let me take a look at that wound with my zero medicine check. Hey, we can we can do better than that. Look at that astral knowledge. I got some of this shit. Here we go. Easy. After a quick examination, you conclude that your patient is pretending to be wounded. Oh, you wonder why? That was a good medicine hey, check, bro. Necessary. I'm sure there are other people that need your help more urgently. Grunch, we're about to torch you, bro. Shh, not so loud. If those lads find out I'm faking, they might go off on their own. They're not ready for that. And frankly, I'd miss them. I don't really have any other friends, and I like those lads. So I think I'll stick around a while more. Crunch, you gotta tell them the truth, bro. Just between you and me, this pretending to be wounded thing is getting old. When Nilos and me were hiding, and hungry, and scared, it was Grunch who got us through. I'm not letting him down now. I'm gonna tell these guys the truth. You gotta hear the truth, Buster. I don't know. Maybe Greg has some ideas about how we can help Grunch get inside the walls. I can't think straight anymore. The game will not allow us to tell them the truth. Wake up, Toad Breath. One of the tents would include tieflings. Wow. Is Toad Breath in a tiefling? I ran for days. Oh, no, you're a hobgoblin. Cool. Safe, and then found out I'm last in line to get in. Because I'm a hobgoblin. As if I could change that. You want to join our party? Let me be. It seems my only friend asleep. Okay. Damn, some weird NPCs out here. I want to get into the shabby wooden doors. Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. What is happening here? There we go. Hello? Oh no, oh no, oh no. Save and reload. Okay, I was wor I was worried saving and reloading would break it actually. Hail, friend. Hail. Fine day, isn't it? Forgive me, you're in no mood to talk about the weather. Your journey here was a hard one, no doubt. Is this your first time in Baldur's Gate? My path is none of your concern. No offense intended, just being friendly. You won't find many others making the effort. Used to be you'd arrive knowing you had a full belly and a warm bed waiting for you. Not anymore. These days, there's barely enough to go around. Add the refugees on top and well. Folk aren't feeling too generous.
I've got ways of making people share. The way things are going, it might well come to that. Some well-to-dos in the city donated enough to see the newcomers right for the time being. Only they didn't bother helping everyone else. Locals going Mooch, out while what are you doing, feast. bro? It stoked the fire, all right. Some Baldarians are kicking up a fuss round the front of the barn as we speak. If I wasn't wearing this uniform, I'd walk round there and teach him a lesson they'd never forget. This is interesting. <laughs> I'd think your uniform would be enough to make them quiet down. The flaming fist isn't what it used to be. It's grown weak, corruptible, soft. It's down to honest citizens like me to stand up for what's right, uniform or no. That lot round the front, they've got it coming to them. The people in the city have grown selfish. Oh my god. All right. I knew you'd feel the same way. <laughs> People here have gone soft, living behind the city walls, forgotten what it's like to live one day from destruction. I say we march round there and slit a few bellies, remind them how much worse things could be. What do you say? Yeah. Both sides need teaching a lesson. Let's kill them all. Yes, yes, yes! Slit and These slice freaks. and chop and bleed them! Not a soul left alive. So... You're the lick spittle who crushed the bone <laughs> lord's throne. Have you come begging, sniffing for our stones? Gortash won't like that. A throat his black hand can't choke the spit from. Mm. He will tremble at your slaughter. So eager to spill the guts from this city. When you find the Lordling, tell him Oren is watching. Well, that was cool as hell. Oren shows herself at last. She will have been watching us since we entered the city, and she can hide in any form. I mean, who's not gonna, who's gonna object to me getting in these shabby wooden doors? Who would object? Can't keep me out. You can't keep me out. Is Gordius now a short queen? <laughs> Yeah, I was trying to get some rabble rousing going on over there. Oh, okay, I see, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Inconceivable that we would seek release from one tadpole only for you to commune with another. I chide you if my mind were not consumed by the sight of Orpheus within his domed prison. The prince of the comet lives, but make no mistake. Because uh, we've actually been through this. Change in you. Feel the parasite worming its way through you even further. We've been through this. You have invited your own misery. I will not break our alliance for it, but I will not condone it. Okay. Ah. Uh. Okay. These boots have seen everything. So we actually opened the back door to the donation spot. Yeah, there's like so many like potential side quests here. Oh, 
None of which are side quests. What in the hells was that? What in the Earth, hell? perhaps. Strong enough to rouse the dead, too. Dead chicken. What's up for discussion? Look at that! Fortnite. We got here first, friend. You're welcome to whatever scraps we leave behind. What happened here? Slarmy? If you're here to fill an empty stomach, look elsewhere. Folks swarmed what little was odd, stuff in their pockets. Bloody animals. Tina, two thumbs? Take the wood from the Back off! I found these apples first. It's crazy they had a character whose name is as good as Tina Two Thumbs, and all she says is Fighters keepers, buddy. Tina Two Thumbs could have been like a major NPC. Okay, that's just a weird alleyway. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to turn um, Gordius back. But I'm honestly not too concerned about it. We transformed him once before when there was there was the party member named Michael or something, right? Look, there's a zoo happening out here. And I thought maybe if, um, maybe if I disguised myself, Michael wouldn't recognize me for the crimes that I've committed. Hero, portrait of Gortash. That is her. Lord Enver Gortash. The people's man, the gate's protector. What do you mean, um, broken mask tile on the right? Oh, broken mask, got it. You mean like a 3D modeling thing? Or do you mean like there's like an, that's an actual thing in the game? You could talk to the guy you killed now? No, we found out what he did. The circus of the last days has returned. See Dryad's gin and dribbles the clown back with a new act. Don't listen to the gin. Um, all right, here's what's weird though, is that's not a red lock. It seems like I could open this door and nobody would be mad. Easy pick, bro. Oh, you're just saying click this. Broken mask tile. Oh, there we go. That might be worth a look. What might be worth a look? What did you see? Disarm it. I think we still got that. Kind of thought you'd be coming into baseball so soon before the stream ends. You can't chat. I can't do baseball for one hour. I can't do one hour baseball. Ooh, this is difficulty class 20. Ah! Critical failure. Ah, uh, give me these things. How did Orin recognize us with the disguise? She was watching us for a while. It is 1130. You're right. Let's, uh... Let's do a bit more funny business. Man, why was that 20? That wasn't that good. 
I guess it was a lot of gold. And then when we walked in here, Minthara said we should definitely check that thing out. Was she just talking about that chest? I'll take that. Oh. <laughs> Alright, get the fucking cauldron out of your inventory, bro. You can't just walk around with a cauldron. <laughs> that was a really good throw. Alt to highlight the things around you. Yeah, but typically when a party member rolls a perception check, it'll glow gold. You know what I mean? Like, oh, abandoned house chest key. What? Oh, wow. And then we could have, okay, we would have opened that. Got it. Got it. If you did not have the hands of Gordius, that would have been harder to open. All right, let's uh, at least let me look at the little circus cart and then we can end for the night. There's uh, there's too much to do in this little outside of town town. We have we have not even actually gone to town yet. Oh, this is good. This is bad news. We don't take kindly to parasites. Precisely. How many red cats? What's that monster? That's just a man in a costume. Boss, what are you doing here, bro? Costumes don't draw, Dad. Stinks of cheese. Between his piggy toes. How dare you! What in the hell is all of this? What in necessity. the hell is all of this? Good sir. The Steel Watch loves pretending sweet Rivington doesn't exist. So we have decided to protect you, dear patrons. <laughs> no need to thank us. You'll be allowed in once I've done this batch. Next. Hello, hello, and welcome to the Circus of the Last Days. The finest extra planar circus there is. I want to fuck this guy up. Not a problem, dear patron. Benji just has to check if you're a vicious murderer. Benji? Oh, yeah, right, Benji. <laughs> ah! Brain juice smells like piss and iron. No like. Oh, well, that's a first. Usually I'd allow you in, but in these times, I can take no chances. Move along. No circus for you. Oh, boy. Yeah, right, dude. You don't know what I'm capable of. All right, so we got the plus 19 on persuasion. Same with deception. I do like saying I'm a, fr a friend of Lord Gortash. I do a magic show is so funny. And intimidation is plus 15. Um, the opportunity to perform is pretty funny, bro. The cowgirl witch hat is pretty slick. Yeah, I do. Yeah, Minthara looks nice in that. Well, it's about time. I told Lucretius forever ago that we needed some more razzmatazz on the big stage, you know? Glad she listened. Welcome to the circus. A motley crew of misfits and morons. <laughs> We're happy to have you. I'm going, I'm about to ruin your lives. <laughs> I'm, I'm about to ruin your circus. Oh my God. Gordius inspired himself. 
Player, you get a point of inspiration. Okay. Wow, the circus is fucking huge, bro. You see what I see? Oh, there's a fucking genie over here. Level 8 genie. Approach! Ugly one! A genie. Must have been a long trek from the elemental plane of air. Yes! Behold! <laughs> Akabi's wheel of wonders! Spin! To win prizes beyond your tiny imagination and make your miserable life more bearable. 500 to play? Akabi has traveled across the plains, burning and conquering all. Win the spoils of such conquest. Or, if luck smiles upon you, win the grand prize. The jackpot. Oh, baby. Ah, uh, fuck. Let us see if you have luck's favor. Alas. No jackpot for you, ugly one. But you may have this. What'd it give me? Can I spin again? Yes! Drown me in coin. And perhaps you shall win the ultimate prize. Alas, no jackpot for you, ugly one. But you may have this. Can I spin again? Yes! Drown me in coin. And perhaps you shall win the <laughs> ultimate prize. Impression, no bro. jackpot for you, ugly one. But you may have this. You are welcome, putrid one. Return again to try and you. Oh boy, we just wasted so much money. Hey, we got a Shares's caress voucher. Hell yeah. Eternal carafe of wine or sometimes acid. Very funny. Yeah, for sure it's rigged and for sure he's not a real genie. I'm like... Worthless treasure crates. Very funny. I'm like trying to figure out what we can investigate to get this shit to... Reveal itself, you know? Read the descriptions of those items. Oh, no. Oh, chat. Say it ain't so. Come back, Hand Axe. This loyal axe always returns to its owner even after being thrown. However, it has no eyes and therefore dreadful aim, inevitably returning to its thrower blade end first. So cool. The holder of this voucher can exchange it for a free drink at Shares's Caress. Expired a year ago. Each morning, this carafe refills with wine. Sometimes, however, instead of wine, it refills with indigestible acid. This shit's awesome. So chat's saying that it's a perception check is what we're failing. You do hear the you hear the dice roll, right? 
I wonder who among us has the highest perception. We're all such dumb dumbs. I I think it's what it's it's uh, Lazelle with her twelve wisdom, or it's perception intelligence. In which case, we'd have to make Gale do it. I can pickpocket the genie? Yeah, right, chat. I'm not that. Not even an option. No, you can't pickpocket that genie. Perception is wisdom, you say. Okay, okay, okay. So Lazel, Lazel should handle it. You have to crouch first, got it. Okay. Alright, I'll save. I'll save. It means we lost that fifteen hundred dollars, but I'll save. Alright, um to crouch. Here you go. Undetected. Not you. Shouldn't have wished to live in more this interesting bad. times. Okay. Here? Here we go. Ginny ring. The ring from the Ginny who worked in the circus. Its wearer can cast Mage Hand. This subtle magical ability explains how the Ginny cheats at the wheel. He's also got a lot of gold. All the gold you gave him. And some cheese. Roll target six. That's easy, bro. We can do that. Can I not do both? You can only do one thing at a time, it looks like. What the fuck? Did you give up? Gordis, did you give up? Get your money back. With your hand in a pocket. Embarrassing. And possibly dangerous. I never fail a sleight of hand check. in the act your touch isn't as light as you'd hoped i never fail this shit good the target was 21 for the gold got it got it got it got it now play again. Okay, let's try it. You failed to win the grand prize, but fear not, grotesque one. Try again. Be victorious. Yes! You will win the jackpot this time. I am sure of it. Possible. You thief! You cheated! So did you. I just even the odds. I kind of like I have no idea what you're talking about. And I also like how does it feel, sucker? Chat, last choice of the night. You're in. Step in there, chat. Step in there. And to be clear to everybody in chat, uh, doing the number won't add to the vote here. That You need to do the uh, Twitch overlay to add to that. But it's pretty clear what we're picking here. You dare enjoy the jackpot, muling cut. <laughs> you muling cut. Oh, shit. What the fuck? He took us to Dinosaur World. <laughs> he 
isekai arc. Oh my god. All right, let's save there. Um, we'll pick we'll pick up here. Yeah, the teleporter is not too far away. It's like down. It's like down there. There's our way out. We'll save here. We'll explore Jurassic Park when we get back here on Monday. That's a good cliffhanger. Yeah, that's exactly that's right. God, that's funny. You mewling curd. Lore wise, you are continents away. That is so funny. That's a jackpot. <laughs> That's a jackpot, all right. Okay, it does seem like maybe this map will be small, though. I, I bet I bet this is like the entirety of it. We'll find out next Monday. Um, For now, let's switch to... Uh, let's switch to baseball. Welcome to my trick. Sorry, Chad. I used that opportunity to take a quick break. Uh, okay, let me do that. Let me do this. Let me do this. Close this. Thank you very much. Good shit from BG3 today, man. Really, really fun stuff today. I feel like, I feel like, I mean, you know, obviously I didn't get to see a lot of Act 2. It wasn't as, it was not as, like, fun as the other stuff, you know? We're, at, we're back to the fun shit again. It's okay to have a fun game sometimes, you know? It's okay to let your game be fun. Act 2, definitely not as goofy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Severely lacking in goofiness. Been a while. Can FedEx get a no no? They added some creepy art to their homepage. You'll have to show it to me. No, oh no, till you show me. Uh, and then let me tell Twitch you're switching games. By the way, we're emulating the game tonight, Super Ultra Baseball 2. We do own the cartridge. This is a fan translation. There's just some Super Ultra Baseball fans who, on their own, um... All right, I'm searching for another word. It's like ends with uishin, right? On their own blank ishin.
they decided volition, thank you, chat, on their own volition, went through this whole game and translated them themselves. <laughs> Appreciate that, chat. All right, what were, I mean, it's been so long. What were the standings, man? Glimmers number one, of course. No, I like this art. If you've got a problem with this art, you've got a problem with me. I like it. Um, Tanuki's second place. And then a little bit of a, another two game gap, right? This is where we have baddies and the Richards and the firm. And then in last place is the beef studs. Damn. Wow, beef studs, get your shit together. I hope we got a beef studs game tonight. Here we go. Richards versus beef studs. Okay. Now the beef studs have had a buff recently. They lost Evan Ball, the undercover police officer who was trying to solve the case of the disappearance of Beef and Stud. <laughs> uh, and that player was replaced with um, Folly, a rookie who has really great stats but has maturity issues. Um, they should be better than they are. They're still a, they're still a team that loses games. We'll just say they have been buffed, but so far the buffs have not paid out. You're never betting on the Richards again? Okay. Yeah, the Richards, I mean, the Richards are a good team that doesn't always win, right? Here we go, polls open. I rarely get to this part of the stream. It means you've been around late. It's late night. And also, no, we typically do not play baseball on Monday. This is highly unconventional. Is this shit in the game for real, or is it all headcanon? Great question. Now, what we can do as players is we can control a lot. So there was somebody on the team main, named Evan Ball who had very terrible stats, and we added the rule where if he was the worst player on the team halfway through the season, we would cut him. All of that did happen. But... That was none of that was the game itself telling us to do that. <laughs> the Richards is a team that used to be called the Ballhawks. <laughs> and they were super good. Then one day their manager, Richard, said, I'm on the team, I'm in the lineup, and also we're gonna be called the Richards from now on. And also everybody wears denim. <laughs> Also, denim jeans are now officially part of our uniform. Um, so the Richards are like a pretty good team, except for one player named Richard. And so far, Richard isn't enough to just trash the team, you know what I mean? They had a fine record. They do okay with him, despite him. Uh, marbles are in. Let's see how this goes. Isn't the denim thing literally a Seinfeld bit? Honestly, I wouldn't know. As someone who literally has not seen many episodes of Seinfeld. Holy shit. Snyder just hits an opening homer? That was crazy. Oh no. Beef studs. Oh shit. But you can clearly see they're wearing denim. Oh, oh fuck! <laughs> Richard's about to get a walk, dude! I don't even know about that strike. I don't know about that! Come on, man! That's bullshit, ref. Richard got a base hit. I don't- this is- this is really bad. This is really, really bad. <laughs> I 
Richard got a legit base hit. I thought like, oh man, he's gonna get a walk. He's gonna like, he's gonna be feel so good about himself. All right. Well, they might strike strike lane out, which be would oh, fuck. This is gonna be close. Fuck. <laughs> it's fucking huge. Yeah, I would take Silk out too, bro. Damn. I don't know what happened there. That's the danger. Like, like Richard getting a hit like that. You're so, you're so done. Guzman's good. Guzman's good. And he's really fucking around with his powers, which I love to see. <laughs> he swung! <laughs> Come on, man! He's swinging at these! Oh, this is horse shit. There you go. All right, end the inning. Ooh. Are the gloves denim as well? They are, yes. <laughs> but like, obviously, like when the Richards have a game like this, it just makes Richard feel like he's making all the right decisions. He says, I knew the leather gloves would be a hit. Ooh, Dole, that was almost, that was almost nice. That was almost nice. Ooh. Stick with the meat, the rocket. There you go, there you go, Dole. Huge. Very big, very big. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Get your plate. Yes, yes. All right, runner on second and third here. Mad at bat. With the bomb, hell yeah, Matt, swing at this shit. Oh, bummer. Sorry to the crowd. No, okay. Lands before the crowd. All right, that's a few strikes. Matt, stick with the bomb. We love that. Oh, did you see the curve? That was actually a nasty pitch from Sharp. Oh, you got to swing at the... Oh, okay. I love how dedicated Matt- No! No! Okay. Matt was very dedicated to the bomb. There you go, Taz. There you go, Taz. Huge hit. Big. You can't catch that. Okay. All right. That's two, right? Yep. Lance at bat. Lance, Lance is good shit. Ooh, not that one, though. Not that. You hit that late, I think. Hey, there's two outs. Still have a runner on third. Oh, but it's Pit up next. Shit. Ooh, that's a good hit. That's a good hit. No, 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 no. Too easy, too easy. Shit. Okay, 4-2. Beef Stud's not out of it. Folly has yet to cut, hit the, uh... The batter's box. The plate. You all right? Do I support any of the teams, or am I an impartial commentator? Great question. Um, ooh, look at Sharp with that batting average. I have teams I dislike. But generally, I want them all to succeed. He's, he maintains the 1,000 batting average. That was crazy. That was crazy. Oh. <laughs> Guzman's being nasty, dude. Art can rip it, dude. Ooh, nasty. Okay. 
zero runs in that inning. That's the Guzman difference. Beef studs back in the bottom of the second inning. They, I mean, they got to get some runs here. Here's Folly. Come on, Folly. Smacked it. Oh, oh. Huge. Folly's a star. Folly's a star. I don't know about that, bro. It was right over the plate. <laughs> We needed that last inning would have been three runs. I know, I know. Oh, okay, come on, bro. Not even close to a strike. This ump isn't even watching the game, dude. This ump is checking his phone or something. I don't get it. This might be good. Let's see here. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, all right, dude. Shit. Okay, four, three. Richard at bat. <laughs> I can't believe he hit one today. That sucks. I don't know about that strike. Richard had no ch chance against Guzman, though. That was not going to happen. Guzman's way too good. That's going to hit the ground. It did. Nice. Elaine's been playing great today. Dugan at bat. Not a great average, but you, as you can see, he can hit a few homers. Not this one, though. Get back to first. Get back to first. Shit, 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 shit. Oh! <laughs> okay. So, Beef Studs need one run to tie. Two would win the game. Zero, they lose the game. Okay. Good hit. Wow. From Dole? He got the second off that. Huge. Matt with the bomb, perhaps? Oh, it's going to work this time. All right, Dole can get to third, but I think he's going to stay there. Oh, he's going home. He's going home. Tie game. Tie game. Sharp getting replaced. Benson in. A fresh Benson. Throwing lightning. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh, it went foul. That's two strikes. Taz sticking with his powers. That's three strikes. Taz out. Lance at bat. Could end the game here with a home run. Strike down the middle of the plate. Lance gets baited by the A-ball. Shit, he threw it to nobody. Oh, fuck, that's how the game is! Oh, Holy shit! That's how the game is! Oh. That's the... That's the game, bro! He says, oh wait, I'm third base. Oh my God. <laughs> Perfect Richards game, my God. Four runs in the first inning and then they just beefed it for the rest. Dang. Oh shit. That was good. Holy shit. Is, can we see who that player was? We definitely can look it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a way to look up who the third baseman is. See, screw me or not. Let's do a little chat. Let's do Uno Mas. Let's do one more game after this. Let me pay out firstly. Wow, that was a big beef studs win, man. Folly looks great, right? I think that was a good signing. Nerf Guzman? Guzman's got crazy stats, no doubt. I think we did nerf Guzman once. 
I think he's been a little nerfed. Well, uh, keep an eye on him. I'm not opposed. Guzman's stamina is crazy. All right, you want to take a peek at it? Because, you know, I don't, I don't like overpowered pi uh, pitchers who are impossible to hit. If they weren't in last, I would agree. And that's right, you know, East Dragon's got a really good point, Chad. It's like, uh, the beef studs need this. They need some. Let them have Guzman. His stamina isn't crazy. But I mean 50 nobody nobody pitches 50 anyway. So yeah, the beef studs are absolutely min-maxed towards Guzman is how it is right now. We need a dancing emote? I hear you. We're nerfing beef studs. Here's what I'll do. I'll share the wealth. There you go. That's the most I'm willing to do. But other than that, the beef studs lose unless Guzman is up. Okay. What's our next game? Baddies versus Tanukis. I like this. I like this. You know what I like about this? Like, you know when the baddies are losing to the Tanukis that they're fucking mad. Which one has Joner? No, no neither of these teams. Uh, Joner's on the Glimmers. You're a baddies hater, for sure. I mean, that's why they're designed to be hated. That's what they're there for. I don't have Mucho Cam set up. Yeah, unfortunately, it's not. <laughs> not properly. It's it's close. <laughs> but it's not quite set up. Would I watch a baseball game in Japan? Sure. When I went to... Um, Cuba. When I went to Cuba, going to see a baseball game was awesome. It was one of my favorite things we did. That was wild. You know what? Uh, we talked about how when I'm at a stadium, the only thing I want is popcorn or chicken fingers. I actually did have like barbecue chicken at the Cuban baseball stadium. And that was awesome. But I would not do barbecue chicken at a typical baseball stadium. How many Tanukis will get sick? I think, honestly, I think after this game, one of their pitchers is healthy again. No nachos or hot dog? I said no to both. No, I don't like having a plate of nachos. It's like, it's like two, like, here's the thing. I want to be able to have my hands all over the place if I'm at a stadium. Nachos is like, you are protecting your little dish of cheese. You know what I mean? You're a risk when you got nachos now. And then hot dogs, I genuinely just like, I don't want a hot dog. I don't want to eat that meat, you know? Hut, Hut is pitching. I think Hut is the guy who replaced the sick pitcher, right? What was the trick to handling the barbecue chicken in Cuba? It wasn't slimy barbecue chicken, you know what I mean? That was a that was a great hit. A lot of um a lot of barbecue chicken like here in the states would just be absolutely slimy. 
You're gonna you're gonna need five napkins at least, you know? Is this a good hit, chat? Is it out or no? No, it weighs short. I can't tell sometimes, man. Obviously the minimap shows you where it's gonna land. Sometimes it's like in the minimap and still out, and then sometimes it's like not even close, bro. That was a bad house. Slimy good, chat. Slimy, like, it, okay. Slimy good, but not at a baseball stadium. Okay, you know what's huge about that? Typically, the runner would go back to first base, right? But because there are two outs, he said, I'm do or die right now. I have to keep running. And uh, it was actually the right thing to do. Ooh, Axel, that's huge, dude. That's at least one run. He might get two off of that. No, he's staying on third. Okay. Good use of power. <laughs> Not a strike! Not a strike! Come on, man. That's so rude. Chat, I don't want to suggest anything, but I kind of feel like... The Illuminati is interfering with the umpires. That's another run, by the way. That's nice. I don't want to insinuate collusion, but I mean, some of these calls, man. Oh my gosh, Marlux! Yeah, I, so I think, I think Marlux has uh, Joner-like stats. Hut's out already, damn. Um, I think Marlux has that, like, high power, low accuracy. It just, you know, doesn't work as well for Marlux. <laughs> Not everybody can be Joner. That was huge, though. God, that was huge. You gotta swing, Graves. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> you got so baited, bro. <laughs> Alright, I think that's three outs, right? It is. Okay. Tanuki's made the most of that. They had two outs for most of that inning, and then they got five runs. That was crazy. I meant baddies, excuse me, I meant baddies. Yep, 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 yep. Baddies got five runs. Tanuki's out here hitting. Great use of the leaf, though. You can get to third, you can get to third. No, I was gonna say it's third, okay. Ooh! Smacked that skull! Here's the thing, I think, honestly, if he didn't put leaf on that, it would have been out. All these guys sticking to their leaves, I love to see it. Stick to who you are, Tanukis. Oh! Hi. Now here's the thing, he wasn't beamed with the skull, so he's okay. You only get sick if the skull beans you. Uh-oh, 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 <laughs> fuck. <laughs> they gotta run, they got one in. Ooh, Bonbon, bon, that might be out, bro. What a hit, what a hit. It's four or five now? Holy I shit. Graves out. Yeah, I don't know. These managers are being a little too finicky. The Leafs, dude. Wow, they're so into the Leaf power today. It's how you win. You gotta, you gotta do, if you wanna win, you gotta use your powers. Mystery ball. Oh. Good attempt though, Puff. That's caught. Oh shit. Okay. Well, what a first inning, dude. Dang. What a first inning, that was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> 
a powerful hit to midfield. Next up is Pierce. That's a ball. <laughs> Faded. Tanukis are the gotcha team, man. They love this shit. Pierce, you gotta, you gotta hit that. Nice pitch, though, Stacks. Easy out. This is a good matchup. It turns out these two teams are really good against each other. All right, Tanukis have a chance to take the lead here with two runs. One would tie it. Yowie's always been shit, though. Oh, good hit, Yowie! Hell yeah, that was a great hit. Stay on first. Stax is the pitcher. Now, Blondie, I think you're confusing uh, Kingdom Hearts lore with baseball lore. Uh, in baseball, you get a Z if you're toxic. Whereas in Kingdom Hearts, you get an X if you become a nobody. So the X in Stax's name. Over his head. Oh shit, the guy's on first. He went back to first. Okay, all right, just stay where you are. Oh, they did not play that well. The coaches were not helping. Normally, that would be death, but it turned into a leaf, so he gets to live for another pitch. That was good, Peach. Oh, he might get this out, bro. Peach hit a whore? Holy fuck. Okay. Tanuki's hit three with that one. And that's what's nice about the team, right? Is like the Leaf, I mean, they're typically like, you know, they're getting on one or two bases, but if they get that homer in, dude, rack them up. Not a ball. Hit the ground, damn. Okay. Bon Bon back at bat. We know Bon Bon can send him out. That's going to foul though. That was right down the middle, Bon Bon. Eyes up, brother. Shit. He didn't have it that time. Bon Bon's better than that. He's better than that. All right, baddies need two runs to tie the game. If they get anything less than two runs, game over. That's one out. Nice, Axel. That's a start, brother. <laughs> Take the pitcher out, bro. Keep going, Axel. Keep going. You can get to second. Fuck. He bailed. All right, talks at bat. Can't catch this. Okay, baddies. All right, baddies. No, no, no. Get back to second. Go to third. Go to third. Okay, 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 okay. Runner on second. Runner on third. One out. Oh, my God. The baddies are trying to put it together. Marlock's back at bat. He's just not Joner. He's just not Joner. Two outs. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Why? What? Why? <laughs> Why did he do that? Why did he do that? Why did he do that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that was good. No, no, no marble refunds. No marble refunds. Oh my god. Yeah, actually, I do want to see the replay because I want to know at what point he decided to, like, try to steal home. That's crazy. Damn, I really wanted the baddies to win that one. It was, most of the marbles were already on the Tanookis. But, I mean, obviously the baddies didn't deserve to win. Oh my gosh. That was funny shit. Alright, so... All right, so watch in the lower left-hand corner. That's going to be the important thing to watch here. At what point does the computer decide I should really go for it? Okay, so that's the foul ball. Marluk's at bat. Marluk's can hit homers. Fuck. Okay. So the runner's He's going just home. He's not Joner. He's just not Joner. Hits third. Ball's caught. Two outs. He's going what home. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Why? Why? <laughs> Do you know what sounds really funny? Is the um the ump here. The effect on the ump is so funny. The the final out. Dude, what are you doing? What is the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Why? Why? That's good. No, honestly, chat, the thing is, you can't blame that on the players. There are coaches here. On the, there's like a third base coach and a first base coach. The third base coach is set who told him to run. You cannot blame that on the player. Right here, he catches the ball and then the third base coach says run. Go, 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 go. Two outs. What are you this doing? This guy, right there. That It's that guy's what fault, right there. What are you doing? What are you doing? What is the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Blame the blue jacket. Blame the blue jacket. At least he didn't chase them all the way back to third. We have seen that before. And then, they, and then they're just good, and then they just go on to the next play. Yeah, we have seen that before. Damn, that was some good baseball. That was good shit. Standings update? Yeah, we can check that. I think it's going to be the same. I th Honestly, I think that it was a big win for Beef Studs, but I think they're in the same position. Well, I, okay, so the beef studs are tied until the firm loses one, right? So if the firm lose their next game, the beef studs will be tied for last instead of dead last. Uh, if the firm win, they're going to be up there with the Richards and the baddies. But I mean, all right, so yeah, that's the, the next game is Glimmers versus the firm. Don't get chat. Don't get your hopes up. Do not get your hopes about up about the firm beating the glimmers. It would it would really um change the whole dynamics of the league. Is Pappy stronger than Joner? I think Pappy technically has higher stats than Joner, but Joner is uh our anomaly. Nah, we'll pick it. We'll, we'll do that next next time we play baseball. And honestly, so Saturday's stream, uh, Friday is um, Llama Soft. 
the Jeff Minter story. And then Saturday is Grab Back Saturday. There's a couple of um uh games on the docket that are super short. I want to play those on Saturday, and then I definitely I got some grab back pickups hanging on the back end of my PlayStation 5 that we can put in there too. But also that Saturday would be a good chance for more baseball. So yeah, Saturday is a grab bag day. And then um, Friday is Llama Soft Day. And I've, I actually have no idea how that game is going to go. I, um... It could be, like, I could truly love it and, like, want to see every corner of it, or we could get tired of it in two hours. We'll see. Either way, we all know I do have backup games. So you don't have to be like, Oof, do you have a backup game? Oof. Please don't. <laughs> My least favorite comment. Oof. Do you have a backup game? Or are we going to watch this all night? And next week is Peach. Hell yeah. Yeah, so next Monday, uh, we'll be back to uh, Baldur's Gate 3. I don't, frankly, know if we're going to get to the city. Now that I see that there's, like, a long actual path to the city. Um. Uh, but I look forward to it all. That's that's the kind of hijinks I'm into, bro. Well, I mean, we haven't even survived Jurassic Park yet. <laughs> so we got to do that. Yeah. It's crazy Atari went from suing to stop him from releasing Tempest 2000 spiritual successor to a studio they own publishing a game celebrating him. You're already telling me more than I know. Yeah, so that's kind of what I'm into with the Llama Soft game, is like the educational aspect of it. I think that'll be cool. It, extremely different Atari, exactly. Atari by name only. Um, chat, thank you so much. Super fun stream today. Um, appreciate everyone who simply was advising me uh, to... Go to easy mode. You were right. You were right about that. I'm not going to press the do's again. I already pressed the do's. <laughs> but very, very fun. And also some very, very good baseball. Um, Really, really fun. One more for the road? No, that's it. <laughs> no more do's. Uh, yeah, and so Friday, Saturday, fun streams. Next week will be basically Peach Week. And then, yeah, we'll... uh. March is, we'll see how March ends. There's some good stuff coming up beyond that, too. So, yeah. Good shit ahead. Honestly, I thought part of us would be playing multiverses within the next couple of weeks. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I don't even, I don't, when it comes out in May, I don't even, I'm going to spitefully not play it when it comes out in May. You got to be shitting me. All right. Chat, see y'all soon. It's a robot party. Robot party. It's a robot party. It's a robot party. Tie your shoes. It's a robot party. Pet the dog. It's a robot